of the NFL, Aaron Dolan, ESPN Sports Betting Analyst with Kenny and Carlin on some popular prop bets you should focus on this weekend. I really do think he has a tremendously big game, and that's kind of the only weapon that Tom Brady can turn to right now. And the Green Bay Packers defense is just not great against the run, so I do think that he will go over 70 and a half rushing yards. Another one I like, Eagles first half spread minus three and a half. They were up by 10 points in the first half against the Lions and the Vikings already this season. The Commanders, I don't trust them. They're honestly, they're not good against the run. They're not good against the pass. I think the Eagles start off hot. I also like Detroit's Amon Ron St. Brown. Anytime touchdown score against the Vikings. So he scored three touchdowns so far this season. And the Vikings defense we saw Monday Night Football, they allowed the Phillies receivers to go off. I expect Detroit receivers to go off. And I know that sounds a little crazy to say on the airways, considering <laughs> Detroit has put up 71 <laughs> points in the first two games of the season, which was something we did not expect whatsoever. Dolan referring to Leonard Fournette on that first prop. You want more NFL talk? Keyshawn J. Will and Max has it for you this morning. Dan Graziano joins the show at 7.15 Eastern. Sam Acho follows at 7.30. Chris Candy at 8.10. Former tight end Vernon Davis on the show at 9.30 Eastern. And plenty of Aaron Judge talk. Yes, network analyst Cameron Maben at 8.30 Eastern. Again, Jacoby Brissett threw for two scores as the Browns beat the Steelers 29-17 on Thursday, bouncing back from that devastating loss to the Jets. Roger Federer and Rafa Nadal will team up in doubles at the Labor Cup today in what will be the final match of Federer's illustrious career and the Americans with a 4-1 to lead at the President's Cup. Thanks for staying up all night. For producers, Sam Pierce and Marvin Argetta and technical directors, Cam Ershry and Rachel Robinson. I'm Jim Baswell. Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max. Plenty of NFL talk. Talk is next. Coming up next, Keyshawn G. Will and Max on ESPN Radio and ESPN 2. Are you kidding me? Gas prices are up again? Somebody has to do something. Well, someone did. That's why I use Upside. Upside? What's that? It's a free app that pays you back real money for every gallon of gas or diesel you buy. I just earned 25 cents back on every gallon of this tank. So the Upside app is free and you actually get cash back every time you use it? No strings attached? Yep, it's awesome. Check it out. It only takes a couple of minutes to sign up. Instead of just watching your dollars go into your tank, start putting money back into your wallet with the free app from Upside. With the price of gas today, it's big news and big money. To cash out of your Upside cash, just transfer it to your bank account, PayPal, or a gift card. Upside users have already earned over $200 million. Now it's your turn. Download the free Upside app and get cash back on every gallon of gas. Use promo code ESPN22 for an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first fill-up. That's code ESPN22. Use code ESPN22 for an extra 25 cents per gallon back in your first fill-up. Cash back not available in gas in New Jersey and Wisconsin. Hellsberg Diamonds presents the guy who hit a home run with an engagement break. Andy was on a mission to find the perfect engagement ring. But where to start? He did research, went online, asked his best friend for advice. Hey, for engagement rings, where should I? Hellsburg. Andy went to Hellsburg Diamonds. At Hellsburg, Andy found an incredible selection of lab-grown and natural diamonds, certified and guaranteed to be of the highest quality. He also found help choosing a custom setting from Julie, a Hellsburg diamond expert. Don't worry, we got this. Plus, he learned about Hellsburg's special financing options. So Andy could get the perfect ring for her with a payment plan that was perfect for him. And when it was time to propose, he got the reaction he wanted. Wow, you really hit it out of the park, babe. Mission accomplished. Be like Andy. Find the ring of her dreams at a Hellsburg store near you or at Hellsburg.com. And right now, take advantage of special financing offers. Hurry, offer ends soon. 97.5 The Fanatic is an equal opportunity employer and is dedicated to performing broad outreach to fill job vacancies at the station. We seek the help of local community organizations in referring qualified applicants to our station. Community organizations that wish to receive our job posting should contact the Fanatic's business office by calling 610-771-9750. We also encourage listeners to visit bbgi.com where you'll find an online listing of job openings at Beasley Media Group L. LLC. One eight seven seven cards for kids. K A R S cards for kids. One eight seven seven cards for kids. Donate your car today. One eight seven seven cards for kids. 
KARS Cars for Kids. 1877 Cars for Kids. Donate your car today. Donate your car today at carsforkids.org. That's cars with a K. Your car, running or not, can be picked up as soon as the next day. You'll get a maximum tax deduction and a vacation voucher. 1877 Cars for Kids. K-A-R-S, Cars for Kids. 1877 Cars for Kids. Donate your car today. Now accepting donations of land, homes, buildings, or any kind of real estate. Hellsberg Diamonds presents The Guy Who Got It Right. Tim needed an engagement ring. He did research, listened to hints from his fiance's friends. She wants a lab-grown, oval-cut, and white gold with a halo. And he went to Hellsberg Diamonds. At Hellsberg, Tim found an incredible selection of high-quality, lab-grown, and natural diamonds. He also found the ring she really wanted. Nailed it. She is got a freak. Be like Tim. Find the ring of her dreams at a Hellsberg near you or at Hellsberg.com. Ask now about special financing offers. WPEN Burlington, Philadelphia. A Beasley Media Group station. Home of the most entertaining sports talk in Philadelphia. 97.5 The Fanatic. Philadelphia. Good morning. Thought I'd help you wake up. It's 6 a.m. and you're listening to The John Kincaid Show on 97.5 The Fanatic. Philadelphia. Let the party begin! The show starts now. And it does. Your Friday's gotten here. It's finally gotten here. John Kincaid Show on 97.5 The Fanatic. Bob's bouncing. Pat's ready to go. Jamie's excited because it's a... uh, Philly Pretzel Factory takeover today. Oh, hell yes. The official, so- the official soft pretzel of the Philly sports fan. And now the official soft pretzel of the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But you demanded, Jamie literally demanded, he goes, if you want that to be, if you want us to talk about it, then need, there better some be rivets. some product. Yeah. So there's going to be rivets. Pat, there's going to be dips. So excited for the dips. They're going to be dips. Very excited for the dips. Pat's going to lather himself in brownie and... Yep. We're going to start this weekend off right, Johnny. Just this do it, is the way do we it do it. Do it in the privacy of uh, somewhere else. It's going to be great. It's going to be good, good online digital content. Pew, pew, pew. Pat covered in uh, Philly Pretzel Factory dip. Yeah, the Eagles and pretzels. It what goes else? together. What, what else could you ask for? That is a great deal, and uh, we appreciate Philly Pretzel Factory. We love them, and uh, that's going to be a fun day today as uh, we enjoy our Friday together. We enjoyed our Thursday night together, and those of you who came out, we got to meet some of our great listeners last night uh, at the uh, P.J. Wellahans in Haddonfield, New Jersey. That is an interesting building. That's one of the that – It's you know what's something that's really good about the P.J.'s? Each of them have their own sort of, like, character, their own sort of quirks. That is an interesting building. That place, when I pulled up to it, I'm thinking, man, this is really small. And then it just keeps going and going. And then they've got the outdoor area, too, which is nice. So a great crew. Nice to meet some of our listeners last night. Quite a few of uh, the people who came out last night are YouTubers. And uh, a few couples that watch on YouTube every day. Yeah, the one couple just moved into Barrington the other night and uh, we're happy that we were in their neighborhood now. Yeah, Lindsay and her husband, right? Yeah. Barrington yeah. sounds rich. Mm. You live in Barrington. <laughs> Barrington sounds to me rich. Lord Barrington. Like Barrington. That's sounds a, like it's something a like... cute little town. I mean, Pat, doesn't the Barrington sound like they'd live next to the lynches of Montgomery yes, County? Yes, they do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jamie, Master Jamie, see if the Barringtons want to come over <laughs> for tea on Saturday. Yeah. I think Chuck's Barrington, right? Is he Barrington he is, yeah, also? Yeah. Yep. Chuck, but we don't want to have those D'Amico's. <laughs> What's wrong with the D'Amico's? Let's not have the D'Amico's over. I, I don't know if they have the same ca- the sort of cash. Hey, they showed up last that night. That the Barringtons have. Yeah, the D'Amico's they're, they're did. Uh-huh. They're allowed to. They're allowed to stop by. The better half showed up last night too. Oh, Leanne's a lot of fun. Yeah, it was after a uh, big OT soccer game. It seems like that game went on a long time. And though, it, according and it to was Chuck. something that Chuck had complained about earlier in the day too. Yeah, that it was going to go time. long. Yeah. yeah, and it went to overtime, right? Yeah, and then they had to go through all that. So got it was win. great. Way Thanks, to go, Spencer. It was a great, great time last night at PJ Wellahans, and uh, we appreciate it very, very much. And uh, the countdown is on. For the PJs in Broomall, Pennsylvania, in my hometown of 19008. Uh, it is on, Pat. It's right around the corner. The uh, countdown is on. We're, we're probably looking around Thanksgiving. That Broomall will you know, have its I, own. But it will be the PJ Wellahans Lawrence Park. 
And it would have been probably open by now if it wasn't for Bob's stupid wings. I think, it, Bob, it slowed it, down production. Bob, they said that they weren't able to buy drywall and hire enough construction workers at the Lawrence Park location. No, they didn't. You're because absolutely of the, lying. Because of the, the bacon. The fallacy. We and Jim, Jim last night. Jim, Jim said came it. up and shook my hand last night and said, thank you for the most successful summer we've ever had in a special wing. It never happened. I'm Absolutely. telling you. You want to call him? Yes. I'm telling you. You no, want to call get him? Get him on the Wait line right Get now. him on Pat, the line. Pat, Jim always has Bob's back. Don't do this. Because for some reason, Cooney and Jim have this, like, synergy. It's the hair. He always has it. He has he, they have the or, similar hair. Or lack thereof. thereof yes. yes. He always has his back. <clears throat> like, you say anything about Bob, we pick on Bob. We pick, It's like Jim's going to, like, swing in like Batman through a window. <laughs> He's a smart man. And defend Bob Cooney. So uh, we want to thank our uh, Bradford White water heaters. Always uh, starting our day. Bradford White is here for the pro. And, Coach, I'm going to save the morning mind bender this morning. Because I was asked last night by not one but two people. Saying they enjoy the morning mind better and say, why do you always do it at the beginning of the show? Why wouldn't you wait? Sometimes do it like later when more people could participate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, set it aside, and we'll do the morning mind bender a little bit later on today just to, like, change things up a little bit. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll have a good time. We uh, get rolling today with the uh, what we always do on the show. We don't make you wait three hours. Hey, stick around. We'll have our picks in the 1 o'clock hour, when the 5 o'clock hour. No, we're not doing that to you. We're not making you wait. The Eagles and the Commanders meet on Sunday. And we always go on the record early and tell you exactly how we think it's going to go. And then you have a chance to react to us. Uh, Monday night was easy. Monday night was a domination. Monday night was a neighborhood sort of beatdown. I do not expect that Sunday afternoon will be anything of the sort. I believe the Eagles will trail at least once, maybe twice. I think this one's going to cause you to chew your nails a little bit if you have that habit. I think Carson Wentz is going to be able to have a nice day passing the football against the Eagles. And I know that Kirk Cousin just got owned I'm expecting Wentz to have more success than Kirk Cousins did with less mistakes. The Eagles offense should be able to roll. I believe they're going to lean on the running game to set up the passing game, and I think it's going to be a big day on the ground against a porous Washington defense. And my guess is this is a four-quarter game that leaves you absolutely in angst almost to the end. I'll take the Eagles in victory 27-23 on Sunday afternoon in Landover, Maryland. Robert Cooney. Yeah, a lot of what you said is what I have to say also. I think this Eagles can run all day long on the Washington Commanders. I, I don't like their defense against the run. They haven't proven anything. Their defense is, has been crap all year in the first two games. So... The Eagles should be able to do that. And it'll be interesting because if you look at the Eagles game plan offensively, the first game, RPOs. If you look at the Eagles offense, the second game going against a softer zone, you're looking at Jalen Hurts in the passing game was, was what really stood out. This game, I think there might be another difference. I do think they might lean heavily, as you said, John, on the run to set up the pass. Uh, I think you'll get a heavy mix of Miles Sanders. But knowing that they want to have a run-heavy offense, I think we will see the substitutions of Kenny Gainwell and Boston Scott in there at times. Um, it'll be a slower game, I think, because the Eagles will be concentrating on running the ball. So I don't believe they're going to put up the high numbers of scoring that they have before. I agree with you with the 27 points, but since you took it, I'll take it 30. I think Carson Wentz throws a couple of picks. I think we see Woogie start coming out in the third quarter. <laughs> I go 30 to 20 Eagles. Uh, yeah, Washington, uh, their defense sucks. It sucks real bad. They're near the bottom of the league in pretty much every category right now. They're getting Cam Curl back, a safety, uh, which should help him out a little bit. But I expect Miles Sanders to have a big day. Uh, Carson Wentz melts in big game environments to, the, to date, and I think this is a big game for him. I think Jalen Hurts has had this one scheduled and is highly motivated to kick some ass on Sunday. I think the Eagles are going to handle them. I think it's going to be tough because it's a divisional game. Uh, but I like the Eagles 34 to 24. I think they cover the number. Okay. Well, you Bob, guys, so Bob and Jamie both have the number being covered. I do not. What was your you number, guys, Jamie? 34-24. Uh, 
I'm going by a 10 spot. Okay. And Carson Wentz definitely has a turnover at some point. Yeah, you, Patrick, Patrick, yeah, you guys stole a lot of the good points. We stole, stole like, your I thunder? Can't. Yeah, I, I mean, like, all the good points are taken. Um, I don't really think this game's going to be too close. I do think that uh, Carson will look the part for a little bit there, and then he'll have the turnover problems that we're kind of grown accustomed to. Uh, I do think the playing his old team will play uh, an effect into this. Like, the mental game with him is so real. Uh, and I think that Jalen Hurts is really going to use this as motivation to kind of up his game coming off of the strong game on Monday. So I have them winning 35-20. to 20. You, you, You're the one who picks the most lopsided game then of all Just of barely. Us. I mean, I got 10. Oh, he's no, got but he 15, doesn't think it's yeah. going to be close. I mean, you, Pat, you don't think we're going to have a nervous no. afternoon. You don't think Chunas is going to be passing me a gummy. No. <laughs> like at any point during the Be game. careful with his no, gummies. Pro- probably not a good sign for the birds that I'm picking such a blowout because, you know, my football takes are. Uh... <laughs> but anyway, but I mean. In, Questionable? But uh, to, to devil's advocate, though, you know, Jamie over here, 34 24, he was the best at predicting scores last year. So. Jamie was. I'm coming off a loss, though. Uh, who, yes. I could be scrambling. Pat, how many of us are 2 and 0, by the way? Uh, I'd have to look. I, I mean, is it? Much, well, I think much, it's I you it's, it's and did the whole did the whole everybody but Jamie, Bob, and Tyler. Okay. Oh, 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 whole station. I thought you meant in this. Yeah, I want. No, I meant on the station. Like who, who, who did? Because I know that the best show ever had some people who thought Monday night was going to be a, a good night for the Eagles. We'll see what yeah, happens Jen, on Sunday. Jen was uh, comes to mind immediately. She had a big big win for the birds. I'm nervous. Uh, I, I'm a, I'm not I'm not nervous of the outcome. But I do believe it's going to be a, uh, a not a not a. Uh, it's going to be an angst-filled afternoon. Yeah, you know, they're they're calling for some rain in the afternoon. Maybe some showers going on. So Carson Wentz you know, isn't a mutter. No, he's not a mutter. Jay, and, Jalen Hurts is a mutter. Yeah, and and the running game is is mutters. And Eagles offensive line are mutters. So you know it could be a mutter fodder game that where you just <laughs> you know they roll it up on the on the ground if they have to if rain comes into play yeah look washington's strength is their wide receiver room i think it's a really good wide receiver room uh one of the eagles strengths is the secondary uh their defensive line is beat the hell up one of the, our strengths is our offensive line and run game whether it be hurts or sanders so i just think their strengths go up against our strengths and their weaknesses are exploited by our strengths so i think it's advantage eagles it is a – the divisional games, for some reason, with Washington always – They're always positive. tight. Even last year when Washington was just atrocious with backup quarterbacks and – I mean, everything. Daniel we Jones trailed beat them. the we Eagles last them. year. Yeah, You know, it's the division games are always tough for whatever reason. It's just the way it is. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, it is, it is. It's a fight. But I have a segment coming up a little bit later talking about why I think – this type of game won't really get to the Eagles as far as the tightness of a division, maybe overlooking an opponent after starting 2-0, and after playing Monday night. I just think they're going to go in there and pretty much roll. Here's one thing, though, about Nick Sirianni, and it might be one of the greatest compliments you can pay him, is that right now I have zero worry of his team at any time overlooking an opponent. Sirianni Doug, you're Doug, talking about? Doug, yeah, Doug Peterson... At times, I thought his team would sleepwalk some against a against an opponent, and I'd be like, "What? Well, what's going on today? They look like they're not even awake." I do believe Nick Sirianni has his team very well prepared in his in his short tenure. You know, we've only seen him coach twenty games as the Eagles head coach, but I, I don't see him like like they got their ass beat in Tampa last year. I don't believe it was because he didn't have them prepared to play. I just believe they were overmatched. Yeah. If that happened again this year, I'd be pissed off. I, I just sort of shrugged my well, shoulders. Well, his new slogan year. or the new team slogan that everybody seems bought into is uh, I am because we are. Uh, that's what Jalen wow. Hurts broke down the team with in the locker room Monday night. and they. Uh, I am because we are? Yeah. It's pretty cool. I do. I like that. I would buy that shirt, Pat. Okay, I'm, try- I'm trying to figure out what it means. I am successful I am su- because, because we, we are successful. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. A, a high tide okay. rises all boats. Yeah. Yes. Okay, well, team that's a good first, one. Then. Me second. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah, I like it. Better than the there is no I in team. Yes. But there is a me. Yes. But there is a me. Kobe Bryant. I swear to God, Kobe, I had a kid Kobe, say Kobe that to me years ago when I was coaching. I, I like pulled out the old, you know, let's not forget there's no I in team. This kid's lacing his shoes. He looks up at me and goes, Yeah, but there is a me. And I was like, You son of a bitch. <laughs> that was one of Kobe that was one of Kobe's was things. Was he good? Uh, I'll tell you off air who it was. Yes, he was very, very good. If we get when we get Shaquille on at the beginning of the NBA season, we'll uh, ask because I think that was one of the ones that pit, almost got him in a, and Kobe in a in a, 
in a fight. fist fight. <laughs> Same because there's well, there is a me. Yeah. And Shaq didn't like it. I'm like, you know, it's been that little brother thing. I'm going to push you down. Yeah, yeah. So they're getting into a battle. Why did Timmy Big say that? Hey, uh, does... Close, but it wasn't him. <laughs> Just a reminder that no one does happy hour any better than PJs. In fact, you can get the great drink specials and $5 wings. Five-piece wings, just 5 bucks every Monday through Friday from 4 to 6 p.m. at your local PJ Wellahans. So make sure that you uh, uh, check them all out. Phillies win. Phillies win. And that game had the feel of a postseason game because of the drama and the stress of waiting it out to see them win one to nothing. They dropped the magic number to 10 because the Brewers dominate the Reds and the, uh, the, the Padres lose to the Cardinals in the afternoon. So you're a half game out of the second wild card spot. You are two and a half up on the final wild card spot uh, for, uh, against Milwaukee. That game had the drama of being a tight playoff game, but it, I didn't see that game very, like, I don't know. I, the, the, the Phillies offense scares the hell out of me right now. I, just, I don't know what's going so, on. It's so inept. Yeah, and that, that's why I brought up yesterday. You know, it's it's been this way for about 10 days now. I mean, you did score 11 runs in that 18-11 to 11 crazy game, but it has been, for the most part, very, very stagnant. And it, it, it was the reason of my subject of, if you're Rob Thompson, do you look to change things up a and little he bit? he sort of did. Yeah. He sort of did. Well, we were at PJ's last night, and we look up, and uh, Kyle Schwarber starts the game out with a strikeout. And we just, I, I was just sitting there going, yeah, in the playoffs, that's going to hurt a lot more than it does right now. Especially like, on the road. Yeah. You know, you start a game with a swing-miss strikeout. How many times did Jimmy Rollins jump start a game in the playoffs? Absolutely. Oh, yes. Like, I, I just like traditional leadoff hitters that are going to – be a pain in the ass for the opposition. I do like last it's night. It's not anti Schwarber. It's just anti him in the leadoff. And I do like, Pat, the idea, though, that like last night, should the Braves, and right now, you beat the Braves again in this series, you might just be the reason they don't win the division because now they're one and a half behind the Mets, two games in hand. I got some right, Mets right, one game text hand, last night. Let's like, go, Phil. Yeah. Like, but they, 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 they don't own Max Freed. But the Phillies have – they're not – there's no intimidation factor with Max Fried at all. No, they don't have the intimidation factor with the Braves. So that's not at all. With the Mets. And even after the sweep down in Atlanta, it, it, they've – They've played them pretty tough this year, uh, so well they're seven and nine against. Yeah, them. I, I don't mean, think that's... you're playing the World Champs. You're seven and nine. That's not bad. Yeah, the World Champs that are still one of the top teams in all of baseball. That's that's pretty damn good. So, I mean, the fact you go out and you win a one nothing game the way they did, it's uh, yeah, it's. Well, I think it lets you a little chesty this morning. I think it lets you breathe a little bit too going into the weekend. Yeah, absolutely. That I... now you go okay. You you need one. You need one of the next two nights because you got. Gibby going on Sunday, and again, I've never thought he deserved a nickname in this town. He doesn't. Uh, Gibby goes Sunday, so you can't count on that one. So you have to hope that uh, Bailey Falter continues to do what he's done. Yeah. And we get a non-September Aaron Nola on Sunday. Uh, on Saturday. Uh, uh, Nola goes tonight, I believe. Oh, is it, I thought Nola I th- went uh, tonight. Is it what Nola I tonight? Whatever. It's N- Nola and Falter. I yeah. know in the next two. I, I had the order wrong. Yeah, you, you know, my favorite thing is you got to take something out of every game. I, Ranger Suarez was really good last night, and the bullpen was phenomenal. And watching the way Alvarado celebrated at the end, I love that. That's kind of the jump kick you need. Look, Eflin gave you good innings, a good, you know, one and, a, one and no, two that's thirds good last to see. night. It's great to see. It's something going into a playoff where you're like, all right, there's a little added thing. So those are what you kind of took out of last night's game. But, again, you didn't take much out of the offense. I mean, if you're going to say, oh, veerling has been hitting the ball well lately, and okay, that's good, that, that's good, bottom of the order. But I still have questions of the top of that order. You know, if Hoskins isn't hot, you're not getting much of anything. And we've talked endlessly about Schwar- Schwarber. And, you know, Bohm, I think, I, Bohm's, le- Bohm's legit. I'm fine with him. He's good, whatever. I'm very, I'm very yeah. excited. And I'm excited for the future with Bohm. Yeah, but and Stott, I got to tell you, your three biggest question marks of that lineup are probably your three three of your biggest players in Schwarber, Harper, and Castellanos. Harper. Once he comes back, Harper's killing him. He, he's, he's struggling, him and, he, and he's hurt. He's hurt. He's coming back off an injury. He's going to have surgery this off season, but he's killing them. Yeah, I it, mean, he he, he uh, he's he's completely lost. He doesn't have it, and I wonder, are you just? I know you have to play him. Yeah. But it's it's killing you. I mean, he could also in the next four games 
totally turn it around. Like, he's that it's been guy. A long time. I think he's, what, 10 for 64? Yeah. Or but, six in, 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 the, in the month? You know, the guy didn't do anything. For the time out, for the time he was out, he couldn't run, he couldn't exercise, he couldn't sweat. You know that that's a big thing, and we talked about it before he came back. He might come back and hit the ball, but there's going to be a low. Well, he's hitting the low. That's fine. It's expected. But I mean, to to not expect or or imagine that he could turn this around quickly, he's the reigning MVP. Well, the good thing about it is you got the Cubs and Washington for a long series right after this. So you hopefully seven games next week hopefully Cubs versus Washington. some triple A pitching for the most part. So you hope he can snap out of it before the playoffs with right. you know those seven or eight games right there. I'm I I will say though is that but uh, you, you need more. You can't change up you, you like you can't change it. You, Bryce Harper's got to be in the lineup. Yeah, absolutely. It's just he's he's literally killing them. Yeah, he's uh he's struggling since his, his return. What and, sucks is him not being able to play the field. It limits what Thompson can do as far as, you know, switching things up in the order a little bit because he is totally tied to that designated hitter spot. Yeah, Whereas because there's before, no there's no freedom, right? Exactly. Whereas before, if I uh, you know you wanted to take Hoskins out and put somebody else at first and have Hoskins DH and you know different things, you, you're stuck. It's almost like the, It's almost like you have a pitcher in the lineup. Because you're just stuck in what you have to do. Okay, do you do you guys see it, or am I reading too much into it? That uh, which I tend to do, uh, Pat. That that moving forward, that DH spot for this organization is sort of like I'm gonna I'm worried about Harper for the rest of his career now. That this could be something that is sort of chronic, where you can't play him in the outfield a ton, and maybe you have to lock down that that DH isn't as flexible as it should be. It's not the advantage that it should be. I'm not so worried about that. I haven't thought about it, to be honest with you. Next uh, year, it's a worry. I'm scared of like, I mean, I'm worried about things I should. I should just worry about yeah. the last 12 games. Yeah, you just got to worry about today. But I haven't thought about it too much. Uh, eventually, though, they're going to have to cut them open and see what's going on with the elbow. And yeah, he's I, go, And he's going to do that this offseason. I think, ideally, you want some flexibility in the DH spot. But if you don't have flexibility because you have a two-time MVP winner, I'm okay with that. And I admire, by the way, the fact that he wa- – like, I'm, when I say about he's killing them out there, I admire him wanting to be out there. And I admire him trying to fight through whatever he's fighting through. Yeah. There's an admiration sure. for that. I'm not – like, it's not like I, I want him to – No, uh, I mean, like, big-time players got to get big-time hits this time of year. It's the final two weeks of the season in a playoff series. It's completely fair. I mean, they struck out – the team struck out 12 times again last night. It's just too much. It's too much. And Castellanos isn't even in the lineup. It's too much of Schwarber first pitch swing. And it's too many low and outside strikeouts. And now you're seeing it also from Harper. It's – they got to have some kind of consistency in this coming week at the plate in order to carry that into the playoffs. Could JT Real Muto – is there any possibility he could, some keep dust it, on he could keep it going for another – like, how long can he continue to he just He seems be... pretty locked in. Yeah, but how, how long can that go? I mean, it's incredible. I don't know. The run he's been on. They need him. Yeah, they do. Imagine they if him. they weren't getting that. His shoulders are broad, and they need to be climbing on him because right now uh, they need to be carried a little bit. All right, it is an Eagles uh, Friday here uh, on the John Kincaid Show. We get you ready for the Eagles and the Commanders coming up this weekend. We'll talk to the play-by-play voice of the Commanders, Bram Weinstein, coming up at 8.30 today. Mark Schlereth does the game for Fox on Sunday. He joins us for a conversation that he uh, always tends to do when the Eagles are playing the uh, uh, and he's doing the game. He'll join us coming up today at 7, so don't miss it. But next up, something that was said. I, I said I would listen to a podcast, and I said I would listen to it with an open mind. I did, and didn't like what I heard. John Kincaid Show on The Fanatic. I know the Bet Park Sportsbook and Casino app is absolutely awesome, and they are ready for the weekend. A big weekend in college football. You know what you do every Saturday? Download the Bet Parks app in Pennsylvania or New Jersey. you got to be 21. Download the app, and you're going to find boosts every single week on three-leg parlays in college football. So you can get 33% odds boosts. And occasional, they'll throw another odd game at you there. There's always a Thursday night football boost, too. Last night, it didn't work out for me. But, hey, that's the way it goes. I know this. I'm not feeling good about laying the points with the Eagles. But I wouldn't take the commanders. I'm not betting on them. I'd stay away from that. I'm sticking on the money line. And I'm going to go money line and over the 47 and a half. What about you? 
Get on in with the Bet Parks app. You can get a $750 risk free bet when you use the promo code Kincaid. Your bet will be refunded in site credit should you lose, but you look pretty smart, so I think you're going to win. You're going to love it. Get the Bet Parks app today. Gambling problem? Call 1 800 Gambler. The John Kincaid Show. Say it. I'll say it. Loser, putz, dork, doof, dink, schmo, dingus, goober. On 97.5, The Fanatic. Philadelphia. Today's show is presented by Philly Pretzel Factory, the official soft pretzel of the Philly sports fan, and now the official soft pretzel of the Philadelphia Eagles. Hi guys, it's Andrew with Oak Hills Medical Clinic. Are you struggling with ED and sick of the pills? Well, we have a major medical breakthrough that has helped thousands of men. Our wave technology is backed by 50 clinical studies, including from Cambridge University. It's proven to increase blood flow by repairing blood vessels. No pills and no side effects. If you're ready to put a stop to your ED and turn back the clock in the bedroom, call us now. And not only will the assessment and blood flow ultrasound be free, we'll also include something unique that produces immediate results in the bedroom. I don't think I've ever heard of it failing. This offer is worth $600, but it's free to those that call in the next two minutes. 215-302-9999. That's 215-302-9999. Guys, put a stop to your ED and get your love life back. Call Oak Hills Medical Clinic now to qualify for this unprecedented offer. 215-302-9999. Just another day, that doesn't mean you deserve just another shower. Nebbia by Moen Quattro creates four unique shower experiences. Relieve, soothe, clarify, and cleanse to give you all the escape while using 50% less water than standard showers. Making your everyday routine an experience. Water designs our life. Who designs for water? Moen. You could save big when you bundle your home and auto with Progressive, but when we just come out and say it, it feels like it falls a bit flat. So instead, we're going to hire a professional voice actor and pay him absurd amounts of money to say, I like this product. Hmm, not sure why that was better. I mean, I'm a professional too. But we didn't pay him to say the business part, so back to me. Save big when you bundle your home and auto with Progressive. Sorry, I know hearing me say it was a bit of a letdown. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Discount not available in all states or situations. Hey, everybody. It's Pat, and tomorrow night I want to hang out with you at JJ's Cafe. It's going to be the first Bud Light Saturday game night series. We did these all last year. They were an absolute blast. I end up going around, thanks to our friends at Bud Light, to bars all throughout the area, and we give out some great Birds merchandise. And this year, we even have Birds tickets to give away. Tomorrow night at JJ's Cafe in Philly, uh, 1065 East Erie Ave, you can have a chance to win a pair of tickets to the October 2nd game. It's going to be the Birds versus the Jags. We're going to be welcoming back Dougie P. And we are also have an autographed Josh Job helmet, courtesy of our friends at Bud Light. So come on out to JJ's Cafe tomorrow night, 7 to 9 p.m., $13 Bud Light buckets, $2.50 bottles. It's going to be a great time. And if you can't make it, not to worry. We're doing these all throughout the football year. Just head to 97.5thefanatic.com, click the Events tab, and you'll see the Bud Light Saturday Game Night Series tab, and you're going to get all the locations. But tomorrow night, Bud Light Saturday Game Night Series, JJ's Cafe, 7 to 9 p.m. Stop on by. Grab your seat at the virtual table for the World Series of Poker Online 2022. From September 11th to October 16th, you can sign up and play on WSOP.com or the World Series of Poker Real Money Online Poker app. This is your shot at a gold bracelet and a seat at the 2023 Tournament of Champions. Sign up and deposit with World Series of Poker using promo code RADIO22, and you'll get $50 in free play, a deposit match of up to $1,000 and more. Must be 21. Visit WSOP.com slash promotions for full terms. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, call one 800 gambler mvp's bonus days are back at lowe's right now get a special bogo offer from bosch buy a select bosch 18 volt bear tool get a battery free shop savings on all of our top pro items plus mvps earn up to three times bonus points on select products join today and redeem points for products designed to level up your business don't miss mvp's bonus days happening now at lowe's pricing and offers subject to change at any time bonus points calculated before taxes and fees after applicable discounts if any vowed through 923 car shoppers with light inventories and 
and heavy markups, is it even possible to find a fair deal out there? To be sure, Faulkner Buick GMC in Westchester is the region's trusted name for selection and savings. With no markups and nothing priced above MSRP, fair, honest pricing has been our way for over 30 years. Find the perfect vehicle, whether you pre-order or drive it off the lot today at Faulkner Buick GMC in Westchester on Auto Park Boulevard and at FaulknerAuto.com. To be sure. Hi, I'm Patrick Fingles, owner of New Look Home Design. When you hire a roofer, you want an upfront estimate and an expert to get it done right the first time. At New Look, our roofing experts provide line-by-line -line estimates paired with the 3D rendering of your roofing project. Find out why over 40,000 homeowners have chosen New Look to do their roof. This fall, save 20% on all roofing projects and qualify for 12 months no payment, no interest financing. Call 800-279-5300. NewLookHomeDesign.com. DraftKings Sportsbook is an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app today and use code FANATIC for a special offer when you sign up. That's code FANATIC only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Duncan is ready for you to fall hard because fall starts whenever you say it starts, which means it's time for you to get your fall refresh. Grab a new Blood Orange Duncan Refresher. Blood Orange and Cranberry flavors mixed with fall spices. America runs on Duncan. Race and participation either. Limited time offer. Number five. Listen to 97.5 The Fanatic everywhere on Alexa at 975thefanatic.com, The Fanatic app, and now on Odyssey. Hey, it's Coach, and it feels pretty good waking up Friday morning after getting two big winners last night. I had the uh, Browns minus four and a half and took that West Virginia team given two last night. So I'm buying everybody here on the morning show today something nice. Not you, Pat. Uh, I did that using my Caesar Sportsbook app. Don't forget the Caesar Sportsbook app. Your first bet up to twelve hundred and fifty bucks. Just download the Caesar Sportsbook app. Use the promo code Radio Full. Then you just place your first bet. I am taking the Birds minus six and a half on Sunday. I know it's a big line, but I'm thinking there's going to be a fourth quarter touchdown that's going to cover that. Plus, college tonight going to take the Syracuse Orange giving. To Virginia. But here's the thing. If you don't win that first bet, you're going to get your money back as a free bet up to $1,250. Bucks. If you're looking for some rewards, the Caesars app rewards, they're incredible. Those who bet with Caesars, they earn towards stays at some of their iconic locations, as well as they have free dining, really great tickets, some really cool experiences, and a whole lot more. It's all presented by Caesars Sportsbook. You bet you get. Remember to use that promo code Radio Full. Caesar Sportsbook open to new users in New Jersey who are 21 and over. If qualifying bet loses, bet amount returned as a credit. Must use within 14 days. See Caesars.com backslash promo for full terms. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Now, back to the John Kincaid Show. It's spelled Kincaid, K-I-N-C-A-D-E. Just so you know when you're writing your complaint emails. On 97.5 The Fanatic. Philadelphia. <laughs> it's the John Kincaid Show. Here on 97.5 The Fanatic. You know, the Philly Pretzel Factory has always got you covered. The official soft pretzel of the Philly sports fan, and now the official soft pretzel of the Philadelphia Eagles. The commanders don't have anything like this. A bunch of idiots down there without soft pretzels. We got quality up here. We should ask Bram about that. Yeah. Like, what's the official, like, food of the Washington commanders? Yeah. They don't even play in their, in, in their jersey. Everything about their franchise sucks. I texted my buddy last week to show you how down they are. He's a season ticket holder still. Uh, in the Detroit game, I said, hey, Gordo, how uh, how are you feeling at halftime? He said, I'm too hungover to even care. He, does, he just doesn't. They don't have the passion to care that much anymore. And no that is passion. a And the thing is, though, is that especially Pat. Pat, you're too young mm -hmm. to remember when that franchise was a gold standard and yeah, with the hogs, they they were they were they were a team that literally just lined up and said, "Here's what we're going to do. We're going to beat your ass." And they were going to put up double digit wins every year, and they were going to be in the mix for eleven years under Joe Gibbs. They went to four Super Bowls, three different quarterbacks, I believe. Mark I mean, Rippin. I mean, it was unbelievable. I mean, he was he was that that franchise was so good and so dominant. And and then Daniel Snyder came in and uh, love you, Dan. Pretty much. Never yeah, sell. We do. we yeah, love don't them. leave. Best Never sell. Best no. Football. Yeah. Never 
force him to sell the team. <laughs> Even though he should be because he's a creep. Please, never force him to sell the team. That We, we can't have any of that. So, uh, I'm sorry, but I, uh, I objectively, and I not only listened to the, I was going to listen to the J.J. Reddick podcast, but then I decided to watch it. Because a couple people said you have to watch it. Because you have to watch how many times Ben Simmons does the eye roll and the smirk when he's making his commentary. So I had to watch it. So I watched it. And you can watch the entire thing on YouTube or whatever and go and go check it out for yourself if you're so engaged. The J.J. Reddick-Ben Simmons discussion completely turned me off. It was a completely unchallenged, blindly opinion-confirming, bobblehead performance by J.J. Reddick and his partner, and absolutely useless, I believe, if you want to try to understand the situation of uh, what went on with Ben Simmons and the Sixers. I want you to hear a couple bites, though, that were especially interesting to me. Ben Simmons talks about the mental health struggles that he was having and how they sort of were exasperated after the Hawks series. Listen to this. It didn't start, I assume, in the Hawks series. <laughs> But did the events of the Hawks series sort of trigger a, a deepening spiral or, or whatever was going on? Did it, did, it, did it exacerbate the problem? I think it was like, you know, you're, you're, I'm already dealing with a lot mentally just in life, as a lot of people do. But it got to a point where after that series, I'm getting the, it's like from the people that you're supposed to have the support from. Or, or that, you know, that comfort from. And I wasn't getting that either. So it was just a lot. It was a toll on me. And then mentally, I just, it killed me. I was like, no energy for anything. Like, I was in a dark place. Um, and it took me a long time. For, the first thing for me was, like, really identify, like, okay, I got to really, you know, I got to get right. And it's not a physical thing. It's mentally. Let's put it uh, first off here is I, I don't want to see Ben Simmons or any other human being in a dark place. But, Ben, we, are you freaking kidding me? You want comfort? You, 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 you're looking for comfort? And I guess it's Joel Embiid and Doc Rivers that are supposed to be offering you comfort? What kind of wording do you use? You're a grown man and this is your job. If you fail at your job and you're not doing your job and you purposely, in the course of games, didn't do your job, you didn't even attempt to do your job. You wouldn't shoot the damn basketball. And you're looking for Joel Embiid and Doc Rivers to go, oh, let us comfort you. These are the people that you're supposed to count on for comfort? No. You know who you count on for comfort? Your father, your mother, your brother, your sister, your best friends. You don't even have, from all due reports that I've read, you didn't even have a good relationship with Ben, uh, with uh, Doc Rivers or Joel Embiid. So why would you expect them to be offering you comfort when you absolutely harpooned their chances to win a playoff series and put a load of crap at their front door? What comfort? Are you kidding me in the workplace? This is a job. Yeah, it's look, uh, do I agree with the way he feels he was uh, done wrong by Doc Rivers and, and uh, Joel Embiid because after the game they kind of specifically pointed at him? JJ backed him up on that. Yeah, uh, well, like, we're look, hear that. As, yeah, as a sports guy and stuff like that. Yeah, that that wasn't the best choice of words for either one of them. For either Simmons, I mean for either Embiid or Doc Rivers. And if they could take it back, Maybe they would admit that they should. But the way you handle it is that, is that you say... I'm done. You, yeah, yeah. Now, look, him being in a dark place, did they know that? I mean, did They're they... They're not I even don't, I don't know, and it's an honest, um, I it's an honest some question. some of the reports at the time, they... A, we presumed that he did, they did know what was going on. Yeah, and then, you know, let, let's not forget... I mean, his family stuff was somewhat public. Oh, also. yeah. So they, they knew that stuff. Sure. Um, you know, most people going to work in the entire country have family stuff going on. Not like that. Have pressures. I have mean, everybody stuff. has Some their own stuff. Some people have pressures that, they're, that their house is going to be foreclosed on. Well, yeah, sure. That they're going to be fired tomorrow, I mean, that they can't feed their family. That was a I pretty mean, insane family issue. Yeah, there And is. it's out there. Yeah, and it's for out there. millions to see. So, I, I so mean, that keeps you from shooting a basketball. No, I'm not I saying think these that. are two. Well, that's separate. what I'm saying. But they, I'm he's just equating say the two. Though. But I'm saying his the, his teammates knew what was going on with him. So if they they probably had a pretty good idea if he was truly struggling. Yeah, and you know the one thing I take from that uh, particular segment, John, is also you know I was around when he was on the team. I I I, I saw a lot of it. I he he doesn't. He's the type of individual, and I don't say this in a mean way. Everybody's different. But he's the type of individual that I 
perceive, that I observe to be very inward and maybe very um, uh, someone that might be hard to grasp as a friend. And so if they are struggling, you know what it's like. If you're not that close to someone, maybe it's a little hard to help them. Or maybe he didn't even let them know all the problems he was going through. JJ, then JJ, affirms Ben Simmons on uh, his opinion about Doc Rivers and Joel Embiid. Everyone goes through different struggles, um, some bigger than others. But, you know, it's everyone you know has their own battles. And I think that was tough for me just knowing like i didn't really have that support either from teammates or whatever it was at that no time. call it like it is let's let's call it like it is yeah. and i you know that i love joel and you know that i love doc yeah. but like they they essentially threw you sure, under the bus after sure. game seven like that's that's yeah. that's indisputable yeah i didn't like joel and Bede's answer after game seven i had no problem with doc rivers because if you ask any great coach some of the greatest coaches you ask bill belichick could you win a championship with someone who's never won a championship before Bill Belichick would flat out tell you, how the hell would I know that? Dumb question. Stupid. A ask the greatest coaches of all time would roll their eyes at that question. Doc Rivers, I have no problem with his answer. I didn't like Joel Embiid's answer after game seven, and I said it here on the air. I thought, I don't think it was throwing under the bus, but I thought he could have thrown a little bit more of a lifeline. But support? Like, he expects Doc Rivers and, and Joel Embiid to have his back after that performance in that series? Well, the reason he I don't... He sunk their season. I don't have a problem with what they said at the time was because it was real. Um, it was real. And we want truth uh, when these guys sit behind a microphone. And, you know, Ben's trying to make this out to be the one moment of Game 7. Dude, no. I it's mean, from Game 3 on. This, this went on for four or five years where uh, your teammates... Joel Embiid talked about it. You know, other teammates talked about it. They wanted him to take shots. Uh, and in the biggest moment at home, when you had crawled back into Game 7, which you shouldn't even have gotten to, that happened. And, you know, it wasn't that. That was years of build-up pressure coming out of Joel Embiid and probably a little bit of Doc, not as long. I, I mean, he's not the right guy to, to handle that. And see ya. Last bit here, uh, his co-host, uh, JJ's co-host, says, uh, asks him a question. Well, I was going to say, you know, to both of you guys, doesn't it just objectively make sense that when you're in a work situation like that, no matter what it is, you would want to leave? Like, I don't know why, I don't know what job you're in where that kind of thing happens, where you would not want to look to do something different. And it's not going to happen overnight. I mean, you know that athletes aren't human beings, man. We, <laughs> we, don't, we don't operate the same way. <laughs> And I think they, that was a part of it, too. Like, people were like, well, let's take his money. And I'm like, I don't give a f about the money. Like, I don't care about the money. It's not about the money for me now. Like, I want peace and happiness. Like, I want to be in a good place. Um, and that, if that costs me whatever it's going to cost, it, that's what it costs. Like, my peace is more valuable than, you know, money. That is completely full of crap. And it was factually incorrect. And J.J. Reddick just sat there like a damn bobblehead uh, and yeah. accepted it. If, if Ben Simmons, if it was true that his mental health was more important than the money and he wasn't going to work, so he wasn't working, he didn't deserve his money, he would say, I didn't deserve the money because I wasn't working for it. Instead, he says one thing, Reddick sits there and bobbles his head and goes, yeah, Ben, yeah, 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 yeah. When in fact, he sued for the money. It's factually incorrect, and you sit there and bobble your head. All right, with and, the JJ Reddick stuff, you're looking for an, you're looking for him to be an interviewer to get answers. He's not that. He's he's having a conversation yeah, but why for entertainment. Are you affirming something that is completely false. He's not an interviewer, John. You, you're looking at it like in the a lot of the, all this, a lot of the stuff you say, I agree with. But to look at JJ Reddick to do an, we want answers from Ben Simmons. Right? J.J. Redick isn't the guy that we should be looking to to get answers from Ben Simmons. This is a conversation for entertainment. That's what his podcast is. So whether we agree, disagree with what Ben Simmons says, that's one thing. To get mad that J.J. Redick didn't further pursue a question... No, wait a minute. I, I, I like, you he know. He affirmed it, Bob. He sits and affirms it. J ben Simmons says he didn't care about the money. It wasn't about the money. F the money. I didn't care about the money. No, you did. You sued to get money you didn't work for. So you say you don't care about the money, but you sued to get it. Well, so also... you're full of crap. And instead, JJ's doing, uh-huh, uh-huh, I get you, bro. I get you. I understand. Well, right. They're also... full, you're full <laughs> of crap. They're also union members together. I mean, JJ was, I, I mean, look, what union guy is going to throw another union guy under the bus like that? Wow. It's probably not going to happen.
Yeah, it's so weird, like this whole Ben Simmons thing. It goes way further than just, you know, maybe where we're starting from. Uh, let's not forget, uh, Brett Brown called him out in public and said you need, he needs to shoot three-point. They went on break because of the pandemic. Uh, Jackie McMullen comes out with a piece saying that with Brett Brown saying, I tell him to shoot threes every day. They come back from that after that story was written, after Joel Embiid says the same thing, and Simmons goes out and takes a three and makes it kind of like a <laughs> F you guys, and then doesn't take, doesn't take another three for 38 games. And this that's guy, because of his mental health. Th- I guess. This guy, and uh, look, I, you, know, you guys know how much I enjoyed him as a player, and I tried to tell you, you know, I, I explained over and over what I thought he was as a player, and I was on the side of that. The mental aspect of, and I'm not talking about mental health here, I'm talking sure. about the mental playing of basketball. There's something that's wrong there. I mean, he has almost jokingly not done something that he's asked to do, and then he did it the one time just to say, like, ah, eh, screw you. He, he's he got something going on mentally with basketball that I've talked about before. I'm not sure how much he loves the game. Now, after watching the episode yesterday, he convinced me a little bit more that, okay, I, I think he does like the game. I think he does want to get back to it. There's different aspects here. Don't forget. I, I had a source call me, and I told you guys, and I didn't go on air with it because it wasn't one of my key sources, but later finding out that he, in fact, did walk into a Game 7 and say, can I get out of plane if I say I w- was with somebody that has the pandemic? That gets lost. And that yeah. does get lost. Yeah. The guy didn't want to play in a Game 7. But he said, no, he wanted the ball out. But Listen then- to him talk. He he now in his head is trying to convince people, no, I was balling out. I, I wanted to do my part. Yeah. I was doing everything. I, and they're getting on me about not shooting. And that's why Joel Embiid's comments have to be looked through that prism, too. Uh, I mean, prism. Uh, he's going into Game 7 at home. He needs his you know other max player to, to be his wingman there. That happens after he knows that he possibly tried to fake an exposure to COVID to get out of the game. I, I'd probably throw him under the bus at that point, too, to be honest with you. Like, I, I mean, that's five years of of not getting quality performance out of him in, in clutch situations. And, yeah, I, I probably would have broke, too. Check your brand-new seasonal specials at your local PJs, including the new Wing of the Month Pumpkin Spice, which Pat Egan tried last night. Oh, how was it? I did. Uh, interesting. It wasn't bad. Uh, I would eat it again. All right. I'm still on the What's fence your about if I liked it, though. Uh, usually hot and honey. I uh, love hot and honey. I do like hot and honey. I like the Korean barbecue. Korean barbecue is good. I mean, yeah, it, you know, I like the I like the regular barbecue. I like the parm garlic. So you like the a garlic all parm. I, I'll tell yeah. you what. I have grown an affinity for garlic parm. Every time we get wings now, the first time we got them was at Coach's Place for Stelly's. Uh, Don and I got them, and it was like, Oh my God! It opened up a whole new world. Now every and time now we get wings, oh Martin. my God, they're the, so I think good. The best one I had was probably the Coke wing. Um, well, the Captain Crunch wing really went down pretty easily too. <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> sorry guys. Oh. <laughs> Bob, you all right there? <laughs> Woo! Hey, uh, in uh, in Cooney's corner, Bob doesn't think this is coming our way on Sunday. Now, let's see what's in Cooney's corner. Yeah, we talk a lot about how you feel about the Eagles. And not so much X's and O's. Of course, that comes into play. But I think all of us here, uh, the people listening, the fans of the team, you have a feeling about your team going into a game. And then you start breaking it down. But you just have a feeling. The feeling that I anticipated I was going to have. Do I? Am I? Off subject real quick. Do you guys... Am I the only one that does this that sometimes you surprise your? I surprise myself with how I feel sometimes. Yes. Do you guys ever have yes, that? Yes, absolutely. Okay. The older I get, all the time. Okay, because I feel like I say that a lot on air, and I wonder if you You're guys also guy. feel that. You're not that I guy. I didn't say that. You're I was wondering if you guys were that guy. Uh, no, but he is that guy. Yeah, so I anticipated myself after Monday night, before going to bed after the game, I anticipated myself feeling that the Eagles might be in for a letdown. Monday night game, Jalen Hurts plays the best game of his career. Obviously, the city is all amped up. The team is, and and rightfully so. But I'll tell you what, I haven't gotten an ounce of that feeling this week. After listening to Jalen Hurts, Nick Sirianni, everybody talk. After going over numbers and all of that, I think this team is so is built so much towards not having a letdown than any other Eagles team I've ever followed. From the quarterback with all the things that he says, John, that we agree right. with, to Sirianni, the way he talks about, hey, it's one step at a time. You don't look at the top of the mountain when you're climbing. You look at the next step. You're in the moment. You don't care what people say. You care about what you're doing here and now. 
to the offensive with Jason Kelsey, the leader of that veteran offensive line, pretty much, to uh, just other players, Slay, to A.J. Brown. These are You have such a great mix of veterans and a heady quarterback. Uh, forget about his arm and all that. Just a heady quarterback. I don't think you're going to be in for letdowns much this year, and I don't think it's going to happen on Sunday. Here's what I worry about with that, Bob, with you, is that you uh, you sound like me there. Oh God! That you, I know oh, it's wow. scary. It's scary that you like like what you're hearing. I'm the one on the show that constantly does that, and when it happens, I tend to be wrong. Like I like what I'm hearing from them. Everything I like what I'm seeing, and I like what you say about the heady quarterback. Uh, the intelligence of Jalen Hurts between the years as a quarterback to me may be the thing I like the most. I mean, he doesn't have red zone turnovers. He when does. He, he doesn't make the big gag. Yeah, you know, when decisions. he when he runs, he doesn't have the tendency to fumble like the guy they're playing on Sunday does. Uh, he's a very smart football player. Um, he protects the ball really well. You know, some of that might be because he, in the past he didn't take a ton of chances in the passing game, uh, but a lot of it is his intelligence. We'll probably see that interception number grow a little bit this year as the passing game opens up, but that's just natural for any quarterback. So, yeah, he, his his between the years is, you know, it's, it's not it's, his it's, best asset. It's, it's up there. I got to tell you this, and I, I thought about it yesterday and on one of the conversations we had, Bob. When I look at Hertz, I go, I trust between the years more than Wentz, yeah. more, more than Foles, more than McNabb. I, I would and say that's so. saying something to me. Like, I think he's the most, because I've seen Nick, I thought Nick, Nick, was Nick had a great smart. run. Nick had a great run, but Nick also had some games where you just went, what the hell? What, what, yeah, what, but that's who he is. He, he's was, just a, he was pretty smart, though. Yeah. Yeah, I, like, I, I, tr- I, trust, Hurt, I trust Hurts I trust Hertz between the years more than any of those yeah, guys. Yeah, that's fair. And that's pretty wild. Yeah. That's, a, that's, that's a wild compliment. Yeah, it, it's him, and then it's, you know, you look, I think A.J. Brown and Slay, they just go out and ball. And, you know, I've been around guys like that where, um, like, you know, I know the players that have to think everything through. When I was that, I had to think everything through because I wasn't as talented. And you think, God, these guys that are so talented, they can just go out and ball anytime they want. They're going to be really good. I think that's what Slay is. I think that's what A.J. Brown is. I think Jalen Hurts thinks everything through. With Kelsey, Lane Johnson, and then on the other side of the ball, Brandon Graham and Fletcher Cox, I just think you have that really perfect mix of they're not going to let you have a letdown. I really do think this is a good mix of a team that you're going to probably get pretty much their best every week. No, it's great, Pat. They're really young, too. Yes. There's so much youth on this roster. Yeah, especially that offensive line. Oh, my God. I saw something the other day. I think they're the fifth, maybe it was, fifth, fifth or youngest. sixth youngest in the league. Yeah, I think there's four yeah. teams younger than them. That's spicy. That is spicy. And if you think about it, though, like, let's say they moved on from, like, let's say BG moves on in the next year or two. Jason Kelsey is most likely going to move on in this year or two. They've already got like, Fletcher people will on be the gone. thing that Fletcher will be gone. I mean, it's the, the, the guys, they're, they're going to get younger, and we're not going to be saying, man, there's a big cliff coming. Yeah, well, I mean, you're going to start need to see more from Jordan Davis right. um, to feel good about the Fletcher departure, even though Fletcher's not Fletcher of the past. Jordan right. Davis hasn't been great yet and you know it's a, it's a rookie in his second Expected, game right it, i think fletcher's been do no. you see who was getting roasted in baltimore this past weekend yes they were getting to the ball. point of rookies taking a while right, to come along and in that fourth quarter kyle hamilton melted he had, in the fourth he had quarter two, he had two terrible plays in the fourth yeah quarter. he, was he getting, got picked on and they were bragging God they on draft and they were bragging <laughs> on him in the first half because that's who we're always going to compare that's the Correct. rager jefferson is kyle hamilton jordan davis that's what it's going to be and rookie struggle newsflash Hey, we have so much coming up for you today, and we appreciate you being a part of the show. Jamie's got some stuff on quarterbacks in the NFL and how they're ranked, but the guy who's doing the game for Fox Sports, Mark Schlereth, joins us next. We look forward to hearing from him. It's John Kincaid Show on 97.5 The Fanatic. We love our friends at Philly Pretzel Factory. Huge congrats to them because Philly Pretzel Factory is now the official soft pretzel 
of your Philadelphia Eagles. It's great to go to a party and show up with the game day spread and you've got the big circular platter of Philly Pretzel Factory pretzels. Whether you're bringing the rivets or whether you're bringing all the great dips or whether you just bring some of the full-size uh, full size uh, pretzels, people love them too. They got the classics. They got the mustard. They got the honey mustard. They got the melted cheeses. You want to get creative? They got the buttercream and the brownie batter if you can wrestle it away from Pat Egan. They got cream cheese. They even have marinara and sauce. I've never tried that one, but hey, there's always a first. If you're having people over for the game, big game coming up on Sunday, you can't go wrong with a party tray from Philly Pretzel Factory. Whether you got a full house of friends, just a few buddies getting together, there's something for every party, big or small. Find your store at phillypretzelfactory.com. Philly Pretzel Factory, now the official soft pretzel of the Philly sports fan and your Philadelphia Eagles. The John Kincaid Show. We're like the family from hell on acid that's on steroids. On 97.5, The Fanatic. Philadelphia. Fanatic Fan Fest 2022 is Saturday, October 1st at Xfinity Live. Presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. Go to 975thefanatic.com for more details and ticket information. Fan Fest is brought to you by Let's Rally, the official app of Fan Fest. Download Let's Rally for real-time push notifications throughout fan fest and to find random things to do in and around philly anytime let's rally unthink the day hey it's cuz look up is your roof old tired maybe even starting to leak don't trust just any company that does a roof no trust anthony and the true roofing experts at labruciano roofing anthony the only roofing expert that i trust anthony labruciano his team at labruciano one of the few roofers in all of the land that has earned the prestigious honor certain teed five star select shingle master that means the best warranty to business for you 50 years from the manufacturer 25 years on the expert installation call now schedule an in-person on-site estimate you'll have the peace of mind to deal with the best call 610 265 roof that's 610 610- 265 roof or go to paroofpros.com and you can check out their beautiful new 23,000 square foot showroom in Collegeville where they're stocked with a huge variety of windows, siding, shutters, anything you need for your home's exterior. Trust me, once you meet Anthony LaBruciano, you'll see why he's the shingle master. Hey there, casino fans. I'm here to let you know that the new BetRivers.com casino app is here. It's got lots and lots of exciting slots and table games to play, fast payouts, and a rewards program you'll love. Plus, with award-winning customer service, the excitement never stops. So get ready, casino lovers, to experience the BetRivers.com difference you can trust. It's a whole new game. Download it today. Presented by Rivers Casino Philadelphia. Must be 21. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Think you know Amazon? Think again. Did you know you can get a seasonal warehouse job offered today? You don't even need to interview. That means you can make extra cash before the holidays. You can even pick your own payday. And seasonal jobs can lead to full-time, regular employment. You'll be amazed by what you can get as an Amazon warehouse associate. To learn more about all the benefits of working a seasonal job at Amazon, go to amazon.com slash hourly. Amazon is proud to be an equal opportunity employer. Hi, I'm Capri, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Grill Spicy Deluxe is the chicken. They actually put it on the grill, cooked it in the sauce. It's definitely a good grilled spicy sandwich. Hey, I'm Michelle, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Grill Spicy Deluxe is it's spicy and it's full of flavor. When you pair that with the kale crunch salad, it's just good. Order a grilled spicy deluxe sandwich on the Chick-fil-A app today. Available for a limited time. Real guests paid for their testimonials. It's not easy being the one everyone counts on to keep the facility running, no matter the weather or supply chain hiccup. But we get you, Raymond in Buffalo and Maria in Miami, Jules in Minneapolis and Stan in central Indiana, taking control of everything that's under your control. At Granger, we're here for you with experienced branch staff at over 250 locations so you get the product you're looking for. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Hey guys, Bob Cooney here. Plan your game days at Live Casino and Hotel Philadelphia, the ultimate game day watch party headquarters presented by Bud Light. Catch all the action at Sports and Social or Center Bar with giveaways, contests, and special alumni appearances. Sip on specialty cocktails at the Prime Rib. Try Philly favorites with a twist at Luck Fu, like cheesesteak egg rolls or the Philly Philly Roll. Plus, 
Enjoy $5 Bud Lights every game. Game days at Live, presented by Bud Light. To learn more, visit livecasinophilly.com. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Identity theft shows no signs of slowing down. In fact, more than $14 billion were stolen last year. That's a criminal success story and a wake-up call for everyone else. It can be dangerously easy to steal your identity. LifeLock by Norton makes it easy to help protect yourself. If you become a victim, LifeLock will work to fix it. No one can prevent all identity theft, but everyone can save up to 25% their first year with promo code NEWS at LifeLock.com. I always wanted to learn Spanish, but I never thought I'd have the time. Then I discovered Babbel. Babbel's lessons are fun. They only take like 10 or 15 minutes, and in three weeks, presto, you're speaking another language, like magic. I love that Babbel's lessons aren't just robots talking. They're voiced by native speakers, so you get the pronunciation just right. If you want to learn a language, there's no faster, easier, better way than... Babbel. 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 Go to Babbel.com to try for free. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com. The Return of the Killers. This Tuesday at 7.30, Wells Fargo Center. With special guest, Johnny Marr. Killers, this Tuesday at 7.30, Wells Fargo Center. Tickets on sale now at wellsfargocenter.com. Produced by Live Nation. Business owners, my name is Michael Schwartz. I am a certified exit planning advisor in Bucks County. Have you done anything about your succession planning? Has your attorney, accountant, or financial person taken the time to let you know that 80% of your retirement monies are tied up in your business? Have they explained your profit, value, and wealth gaps to you? That is what we do for our business owner clients. Give me, Michael Schwartz, a call at 215-886-2122. That's 215-886-2122. Folks, there's no better hour than happy hour. We know that from last night, and you know it every day. That's why FanDuel Casino is hooking you up with happy hour deals every Friday night from 7 to 8 p.m. Every Friday this September, FanDuel is giving you a casino bonus so you can play any casino games for free. Go to the promotions page in your app to claim your free bonus and start playing your favorite games on the house. Don't miss out. Happy hour deals end at 8 p.m. FanDuel Casino is America's number one online casino app featuring tons of table games, hundreds of your favorite slots, an exclusive live dealer studio for FanDuel customers only, and best-in-class customer service. So download the FanDuel Casino app today by going to FanDuel.com forward slash Bob and start getting your happy hour deals every Friday night at 7. That's FanDuel.com forward slash Bob. 21 plus and present in Pennsylvania. Bonus issued as non-withdrawable casino only site credit that expires 48 hours after receipt. Restrictions apply. See full terms at FanDuel.com slash casino. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit FanDuel.com slash RG. WPEN Burlington, Philadelphia. A Beasley Media Group station. Home of the most entertaining sports talk in Philadelphia. 97.5 The Fanatic. Philadelphia. Now, back to the John Kincaid Show. You think Jamie has some really crazy opinions? Don't worry. We do too. On 97.5 The Fanatic. Philadelphia. The 7 o'clock hour of the John Kincaid Show on this Friday morning is... uh, Brought to you by the all-new Bet Parks app. Sportsbook and Casino in one sleek, easy-to-use app in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Got to be 21 gambling problem call 1-800-GAMBLER. The 6.5 I do not like. I was the only one who would not lay the 6.5 earlier today. I'm a little nervous with that. So I want to go to the Comcast Business Hotline because every day in business is a big day. And I want to get to our co-host. Well, he just seems that way because it seems like he's always doing Eagles games now. He's Mark Schlereth, and you'll see him on your television screen on uh, Sunday afternoon. I, I think we're, we're, we're coming down with 1,200 Eagles fans, and that's just one of the travel groups that's coming down. Philly sports trips, the best of them. So we'll be in both end zones. I, I'll, I'll text you and wave. Say hello. Oh, that, well, that sounds great, and why wouldn't you? I mean, hey, listen, I'm on the bandwagon. I was on the bandwagon before the season started, and uh, I don't know why you wouldn't be on the bandwagon because – it's uh this team is legit, man. They are. I mean, I I'm glad they're giving me Philly games because I think the Philadelphia Eagles are one of the top teams as far as just pure talent. Now we'll see what happens. Obviously, 
a lot of things going to happen between now and then. But just pure talent, roster depth. There's very few teams. Like, you're either big or you're fast, usually. Right? They're, like, those are two great qualities to have, speed and size. And Philly has both. They're, they're huge and they're unbelievably athletic. I think they've got the best combination that I've seen, at least. And I haven't seen everybody. You know, I haven't studied everybody. But, Johnny, the best combination of size and speed and quickness and athleticism uh, that I've seen on, on, on tape so far this year. Well, you saw them in person on the first game against Detroit, and then you got to see them Monday night. And I'm sure you've watched the tape of that one doing your prep for the broadcast. What did you see them do differently in week two that made them look, honestly, so much more impressive? You know, a couple of different things. I thought they were really sharp. I thought Jalen Hurts was really sharp. Two things. One, the read, the zone read stuff, you know, where you're just flagging the ball in there and deciding what you're going to do with the ball, whether you're going to have your back, whether, you're, whether you're, you know, you're going to fold it. Um, the RPO stuff, I thought he was pretty sharp on that. You know, you got a couple of downfield penalties, illegal, illegal men downfield. But, you know, that, that happens sometimes because as, as an offensive lineman, what you have to understand is I don't know what he's going to do. So when he pulls it and throws it, if I'm engaged in a block and I'm downfield and I'm dispensing justice, that ain't on me. And that's going to happen with that RPO game occasionally. So you are going to get those, you know, those illegal men downfield kind of penalties occasionally. Um, I just thought, I just thought they were really, really good at the line of scrimmage, you know, and creating decisive, um, reads on that stuff, on that run game stuff. And then ultimately, the biggest difference to me was um, Jalen Hurts and his just ability to rip the ball. They were they were throwing a lot of zone stuff out there as a defense, and he just I mean once he made a decision, he was decisive, and he just let it eat. Man, he was like a pitcher, you know. He's like these guys that throw 100 miles an hour, just coming out and saying, "If you can touch it, man. If you can hit it, be my guest." But I'm just going to let it eat. And that's what he did the other night, and he was deadly accurate doing it. But I just thought the ball out of his hand was just, I mean, I thought he was just sharp all night. And, Mark, for those of us that have watched every one of his games and nitpicked every one of his games, that was a wow moment. The fact that, and you put it perfectly, and it's what my question was going to be to you, that he was zipping the ball everywhere. And there was a thing on, on Twitter of his 10 best throws, stuff that sometimes you can't see by watching it on TV. It's amazing the arm strength he showed on Monday night. Did that surprise you as much of a woe moment as it was for a lot of us here in Philadelphia? No, because I've seen him do it in practice. Like so, I've been I've been you know at practice at a Friday practice and watched him just like watch him rip it. And so I, I've seen it with my own eyes. Um, I just think I I think the thing that you get into when you're confident. And when you're, um, one, you, you, you got to be really confident, Johnny. And then two, I think when you're making quick decisions. So a lot of times inaccuracy, it's, it's just like pitching. You're like when you're, when you're late, and I always talk about being late with, as a pitcher, you know, when you're late, what ends up happening is your arm gets long because you, your body is ahead of your arm. And so you end up opening your front side, you pull your head, your arm gets long, and you either miss out and up, you know, or you, you hold on the ball too long and you, and you drive it into the dirt, right? And that's what happens when pitchers are late. And the same thing happens in football. When you're late, you're not decisive. You're thinking or you're questioning whether you're going to make this throw or not. You try to throw the ball harder. You don't stay behind the ball. You open up, and therefore you have a weaker, like less velocity, less spin on the football. Like to me, he stayed – he stayed behind the ball the whole night. He was so decisive, and he was never late. And that ball just, I mean, it, it, it just jumped out of his freaking hand. And there's even, like, you see the guys, and you know, I always marvel in baseball. When I see a guy throwing 100, and it looks effortless. You know, it just is, he's throwing, he's sitting at 97, 98, and there's just no effort behind it. Because mechanically, everything is right. And that's how I felt about Jalen. On Monday night, man, he just, he was really outstanding. It was fun to watch. And that was his kind of coming out party as far as I was concerned, because I've never seen him throw the ball with that authority. The authority that he threw with Monday night was amazing. Yeah, Mark and Ron Rivera, and and they have a little bit of a defensive problem down there. He said, you know, every time Jalen Hurts has the ball in his hand, it's a run pass option. If you were Washington and the defensive, you know, coordinator down there, What's the best game plan against Jalen Hurts and this Eagles offense right now? 
I'm a, I'm one of those guys that just believes in aggressiveness. And, you know, so for me, because you play that defensive end so many different ways, you know, there's so many people that play, hey, we're going to surf technique this guy, and what we want you to do is stay square, and when he hands the ball off, you know, if he hands it off, bend knife down in there, and then if he doesn't hand it off, you know, surf down the line of scrimmage. And that, that's such a bunch of baloney. That's like throwing a spy on Michael Vick. Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to have this, you know, middle linebacker, you're just going to stay there. And uh, if he starts running, then you know once he breaks the line of scrimmage, go, like baloney, like there's nobody in the world that can do that. It's it's asinine to think, you know, like Lamar Jackson, we're going to spy him with our middle linebacker. Are you, are you high? You guys are high. You just like it's dumb. <laughs> you're, the, you're the one. You're the one who lives in Denver. Yeah, <laughs> calling them high. Exactly. I mean, yeah. seriously. So uh, my thought, my thought process on that is, hey man, you know, have the if the deep if it's the defensive end, have him come down. And just smash. I mean, smash the ring. Or say so you're on the quarterback. And as soon as he flags that in there, go smash that quarterback. And nope. you know what? No matter what. And then, you know, and then if the running back is that, that's the linebacker's guy. If not, you know, if, if he pulls it, you're going to hit him anyhow. So I'm one of those guys that says, Hey man, give me one assignment. Let, let that guy go eat and, and forget about, you know, trying to double play the end of the line of scrimmage because it just doesn't work. Uh, you know, by the way, Stink, uh, I, I think Jamie on our show here would just love some of that stinking good chili. He's got to get onto the stinking good website to go get yeah, some of that, that was, stinking good chili. Yeah, I don't know why he wouldn't. I don't want to sit next to him on the bus, though, going down <laughs> to D.C. if he does. Yeah, well, there's no beans in it, so we're good. Yeah, it's, it's good. Just, you know, it's, just green, it's just green chili. He's going to be fine. How would you attack Carson Wentz? And would you, like, uh, we, we've seen Carson Wentz, every one of us knows here that things can melt down with Carson, especially when he's under pressure between the tackles. Uh, how do you think the Eagles will go after Wentz on Sunday? Yeah, well, if you look at, if you just go back a, a week ago to um, to what Detroit did, like the, the amount of pressure they got on him, the amount of walk-up stuff they did, the amount of pressure they got on him, um, you know, in the first half, they just it was, it was really good. I mean, it was you know, bring in blitz, bring it in the middle, like you talked about, walk up linebackers, get those one on ones, and, and all that. So, um, I, I think that's something that he has he has consistently struggled with. You know, and he's been a guy, and and I think this goes back to his last year in Philly, where he got sacked fifty some odd times. Like you, you will see ghosts. You know, you will. It, it speeds your mechanics up, is what happens. So when you see pressure, you feel like, uh-oh, got to go, got to go, got to go. And that leads, in my estimation, even if you don't get there, the a lot of the inadequacies or a lot of the inaccuracies um, of Carson Wentz. I mean, there's there's times when he throws the ball and, and it looks like Jalen Hurts the other night. And then there are times when he throws it and he's like woefully six yards over the head of the intended target, you know, or he, he's throwing one on the ground on a short back. Like you see it on a consistent basis, and you saw it over the first two weeks. Like there's a, a bunch of times where I'm just like, "Whoa, that was that looked awful." Just coming out of his hand, it looked awful. And I think it has to do with when he feels pressure, um, you know, his his mechanics speed up to some degree. And I think that's the that's the biggest issue. So, you know, my biggest thing for for most quarterbacks are, are like this, but I think with Carson in particular, man, you want to put pressure on him on a consistent basis because you'll get not only. You know, you get there sometimes, and, and you will against Washington. But I think the biggest thing is speeding up those mechanics and making him throw a couple of errant throws. Mark, with uh, mine and a lot of other untrained eyes, the offensive line from for the Eagles from game one that you called to game two seemed a lot better in game two. What did your trained eye tell you? Yeah, I thought they were – I mean, I always think they're good. I think they're a great group up front. But I thought they were really sharp. I thought they were great on a bunch of their double-team actions. Um, I thought, you know, I thought in pass protection, uh, they were great. I, I just, they're they so big and so athletic. I, I know they gave up a pressure and it gave up, I think, one sack off the edge on Jordan Mailata. So there was, there was a couple of pressures, but I thought they were really good. And I just think they're such a uniquely built group, you know, not only size, but athleticism. Um, had one long breakout run, you know, and, and there's some things that look like they make it look like read zone, but it's not. You know, it's a straight handoff, but they still use the same handoff kind of, kind of, uh, um, the same handoff mechanics that they would on the, on the read zone stuff. And so there was one where Travis Kelsey, it's just a wide handoff, but Travis Kelsey 
you know, exchanges with the uh, guard, and he pulls and pulls around the guard, and, and that, that one was a long run. Um, I had a nice, really long run, but it was great at the point of attack and at the second level, and that's what that's what makes them so unique. Like, they can play smash mouth at the point of attack and just play a gap scheme or whatever they want, just a straight handoff. But then they've got the athleticism at guard and at center to get out on the edge and uh, and really, you know, really throw people for a loop. So um, that part, that stuff was really good, and, and they're an outstanding group. I think they're the best group in football. Uh, one of the strengths of Washington's team, Mark, is obviously their wide receiver room with Curtis Samuel, Terry McLaurin, and, and Jahan Dotson out of Penn State. Uh, Eagles have some pretty good players in their secondary. What did you see on Monday night uh, from the Vikings game that the Eagles can apply to this uh, wide receiver room this weekend? Yeah, well, I mean, anytime that uh, that you can put number two and have Darius Slay just lock somebody down, I mean, he was he was exceptional. And not only, like, I, I think that people don't really sometimes understand like how good he was the first third down where he's man on man um with jefferson and you know he comes in step you know he, he won he knows they're bringing pressure right so he understands that hey man this ball's got to come out and so you're playing not only the man and man coverage but you have to have intelligence and you have to understand and have studied the game plan of what's going on so tying your coverage and how sticky you are in coverage based upon the perceived time that that quarterback's going to have the football. And so that first third down, they're just running like a little comeback, little they call it thunder, you know, a little hitch route on the outside. And he is on him man-to-man, pressed, you know, bails a little bit, then puts his foot in the ground, you know, responds to that shorter route because it just, you know, run around at the six and, and knocks that ball down. And to me, that was that was the start of him having one of the most exceptional games I've watched. Um, just understanding kind of route route concepts and what likelihood the guy is going to run on top of just being able to, you know, be incredible um, technique-wise. So, like, that stuff is good when you can move him and you can match him anywhere on the football field. And then, like, Bradbury's not a slouch. That guy's a damn good player. So I just think you're, the secondary has, has great players. I think T.J. Edwards also. Um, that underneath coverage stuff. I think that guy flies around smart and makes decisions, great decisions. So you know, those are the things, as long as you play that way, you're going to give up some plays. Um, that's always going to happen because they have talent, but and, and they're very talented. And Samuel is Samuel's a problem, you know, because he's a kind of a – that dude is almost like a Debo Samuel in San Francisco, the way they use him right now. And they, uh, they definitely are going to get him his touches. You know, he's going to end up with – you know, 10, 12 touches, uh, both running the ball and, and catching the ball. So he's a he's an issue. All right, Mark, in closing here, you may tell me I need to pipe down a little bit, but if they if they are starting out 3-0, and and I'm lo- if they do start out 3-0 and after a victory, and they're 3-0 and in the conference, and I look at this schedule the rest of the way, is it wrong to think that the Eagles could end up on top of the NFC at the end of the year? Because I'm looking at Tampa. They have a much more rugged road that they've got to go. The Packers have a much more rugged road. Then they have to go. Could is it all right to dream? Just to dream, not to yeah. say it's going to happen, but to dream about it. Yeah, I mean, there's obviously a lot of things that can happen between now and then. But um, like I said, the, the two the two teams that I have done in back to back weeks to me, and having watched a bunch of preseason games and having just watched you know a bunch of games so far this year, I always spend Monday kind of going over games and looking at what else happened in the league. Um, those two teams, and I haven't done everybody, Johnny, but sure. Philadelphia and San Francisco, to me, are physically, from a physical standpoint and a depth standpoint, the two best rosters I've seen. And so instantly, I think the San Francisco just got a whole lot better with uh, Jimmy Garoppolo playing quarterback um, because there was there was going to be some growing. It was it's you know kind of a Jalen Hurts type of story. There's some growing pains as you go through it, especially when you're constantly changing coordinators and doing all that stuff. I thought Trey Lance was, you know, he was in a learning curve and developing quarterback and winning um, at the same time is a really hard thing to do. That's what Philadelphia went through last year. And now, you know, it looks as though that Jalen Hurts, you know, has, has really learned. Now there still will be some growing pains along the way, but um, he's, he's, he's been really good. I think those two are the best, like the deepest and the most physical rosters I've watched. And I think that always goes well for you. We're going to have a lot of Philly sports trips FaceTime on uh, on Sunday in two end zones. There's going to be a lot yeah. of people in green. We're going to make lots of noise. You're going to be able to hear us. 
Yeah, I'm good. Good. Man. All I can't right. Wait. I can't wait to point it out. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Mark. You got it. Appreciate Johnny. it, bro. Thanks, Love Mark. you, man. See ya. All right, Marsh Larif joined us on the Comcast Business Hotline. Every day in business is a big day. He promised a little f- camera time for us <laughs> nice. for Philly Sports Trips crew. So nice. uh, hopefully we're going to be able to get that. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a storyline of the game. There's probably, if I had to guess right now, at least going to be six or 7,000 Eagles fans. Oh, I think more. And I think it's probably more like 12 or 13. I just don't want to come out with a hot take here. Um, Why not? But Do I mean, it, Jamie. Do it. Do it, Eagles, Jamie. Eagles coward. fans dominate that stadium. Don't worry, nobody's listening anyway. I, uh, a little tidbit here on our uh, on our chat board uh, on our YouTube from Willie Z. You from Willie. I had, What's up, Will? What's up, Willie? Uh, I hadn't heard this before, so that's why I'm bringing it up. What's well, on the internet? So it's got to be true. The last two times the Eagles started three and zero were 2014 and 2016. They missed the playoff. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. We said I it didn't... the other day. Like, oh, I, I, the I don't last pay attention time they to you. did it was the first year. I only listened to Willie Z. <laughs> the first year of Doug <laughs> Peterson. I'm glad Willie listened to the show the other day. We did this. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good topic on the show, yes. It wasn't a topic. Was it just mentioned? No, we were telling us when was the last time before Monday Night Football, if they started 2-0, and I said, well, the last time they started 3-0. How about that? Was his first year, and then. I really got to start listening. It, Bob, it's a great show. Pat, we try. Pat. Did what? you guys see the J.J. Reddick ben Simmons thing? <laughs> I mean, <it's, laughs> Pat, it is it is a good radio show to listen to, right? Uh, I usually check in for about an hour a day. See, that's good. There's yeah, effort. That's good. Attaboy, Pat. Hey, check out our friends at Colonial Marble and Granite. You've heard Anthony t- good, just bragging on him. You can fall into savings during Colonial Marble and Granite's harvest sale. Enjoy 20% off all marble, granite, and quartz countertops and get a sink and faucet package fully installed for just 499 bucks for a limited time. Philly Pretzel Factory's taking over the show today. Oh. I can almost smell rivets, and they're not here yet, but I can almost smell them. I, yeah, th- that is, <sighs> pretzels are something you can close, like popcorn for me, and you guys know I have a little snack every night, and it's usually pretzels or popcorn. Those are two things where I can close my eyes and literally smell them. Mm-hmm. Yep. Literally, John, literally. Yeah, literally. I can smell them. We can smell them. them. I can smell I, I, I can smell I them. once heard the yeah, stat. Man. I don't know if it's true or not, but the average American eats, I think, uh, a pound and a half of pretzels a year, and the average Philadelphian eats 12. <laughs> a pound and a half seems too low. I will probably you'll probably eat a pound and a half today. We could be. There's a good chance. Could be. Yeah. And we love you, Philly Pretzel Factory, the official pretzel factory of the official pretzel, the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, that's great. That's a great new honor for them. Coming up, I think someone maybe in our midst has helped to hurt the Philadelphia Phillies in 2022. I wonder who I'm going to point the finger at. Stick around. John Q. Kate Show on 97.5, The Fanatic. We congratulate Philly Pretzel Factory. They've taken over the show today, the official soft pretzel of the Philadelphia Eagles. And we want to thank Marty and Dan for making sure that we've got a delicious food drop today, too. Because you can't talk about Philly Pretzel Factory without being able to just sample all the great things from Philly Pretzel Factory. Now, one of us will have to body up. You just heard Schlereth talking about it. Someone's going to have to body up on Pat Egan. Because he loves the sauces, he loves the dips, he's trying them all. And yes, they're bringing some pretzel dogs today because Coach Camille needs to have his hot dogs in a pretzel. It's a great deal. Whatever you have going on at your house, whoever's coming over, Philly Pretzel Factory will have a party tray for you. You order it, you pick it up, and then you're the hero when you walk through the door. Whether it's a house full of friends or buddies getting together, the Philly Pretzel Factory is always the right call. I know there's one right near me out there in Chester County, and there's something for every party, big or small. Go find your store at phillypretzelfactory.com. They're the official soft pretzel. The Philly sports fan, they always have been, but now they're also the official soft pretzel of your Philadelphia Eagles. The John Kincaid Show. I know that most people find his calm leadership to be a gentle, soothing beacon at a time of great social chaos. On 97.5, The Fanatic. Philadelphia. Today's show is presented by Philly Pretzel Factory, the official soft pretzel of the Philly sports fan, and now the official soft pretzel of the Philadelphia Eagles. This Fanatic Golf Report is brought to you by Parks Casino Sportsbook app, the number one casino in PA. The Golf Association of Philadelphia's 125th anniversary was punctuated by Michael R. Brown Jr., who capped off the year with a victory at the Gap Amateur, helping him to complete the Gap Grand Slam. Michael had also won the Mid-Am in 09, the Gap Open in 2010, and the Patterson Cup in 2018. also won the PAM in 2020 and added the New Jersey Am, Mid-Am, and Delaware Am in 2021. Congrats to Michael R. Brown Jr., Gab's Player of the Year. For the Fanatic, I'm Mike Rose. Is sports betting about to become way more fun? 
You bet. Because the Bet Parks app has a brand new sports book. Live bets and parlays? You bet. Instant deposits and incredible app experience? You bet. Plus, your first bet is risk free up to $750. So, are you already a winner just for signing up on the Bet Parks Sportsbook app? You bet. Bet Parks. Gambling problem? Call 1 800 Gambler. Terms and conditions apply. Pennsylvania and New Jersey only. Hey there, casino fans. I'm here to let you know that the new BetRivers.com casino app is here. It's got lots and lots of exciting slots and table games to play, fast payouts, and a rewards program you'll love. Plus, with award-winning customer service, the excitement never stops. So get ready, casino lovers, to experience the BetRivers.com difference you can trust. It's a whole new game. Download it today. Presented by Rivers Casino Philadelphia. Must be 21. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. I always wanted to learn Spanish, but I never thought I'd have the time. Then I discovered Babbel. Babbel's lessons are fun. They only take like 10 or 15 minutes, and in three weeks, presto, you're speaking another language, like magic. I love that Babbel's lessons aren't just robots talking. They're voiced by native speakers, so you get the pronunciation just right. If you want to learn a language, there's no faster, easier, better way than Babbel. 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 Go to Babbel.com to try for free. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com. Tomorrow night is game night. Now, I'm not talking about college football, although that'll be on. I'm talking about the Bud Light Saturday game night series. Tomorrow, I will be at JJ's Cafe in Philly, 1065 East Erie Avenue. It's going to be a blast. We did these all last season. I got to hang out with Burt's fans throughout the area. I gave away some cool Burt's merchandise, but this year, we're doing it up bigger than that. Not only do we have some Burt's merchandise, we also have Burt's tickets. And if you come on over to JJ's Cafe tomorrow night from 7 to 9 p.m., you could win tickets gets to go see the birds welcome Dougie P back on October 2nd but we also have an autographed Josh Job helmet it's all courtesy of my friends at Bud Light they also have $2.50 Bud Light bottles and $13 Bud Light buckets there's no reason not to show up it's too good of a deal to pass up don't but if you can't make it not to worry you can head to the 97 by the fanatic events tab on the website you'll see the Bud Light Saturday game night series and you'll find all the locations that I'm going to be but for tomorrow night once again, JJ's Cafe in Philly, 1065 East Erie Ave, 7 to 9 p.m., and it's all courtesy of my friends at Bud Light. Must be 21 plus. Enjoy responsibly. So is this the line for Dragon's Maze? Wow, the line is really long. Mommy, we'll meet up later. How long will you wait? As long as it takes. So you guys are only going to do this one ride all day? It won't be that long, probably. Mom, can you get us food? <laughs> but wait, are they cutting? Caleb, food is so far away. Should I say something? Daddy, pick me up. Mom! Hey! There's a line here. That's like 20 people. Oh One person holds the line for 20 people? This is bull. Don't go there. Go on a real vacation. Go RVing. Learn more at GoRVing.com. Hi, I'm Patrick Fingles, owner of New Look Home Design. When you hire a roofer, you want an upfront estimate and an expert to get it done right the first time. At New Look, our roofing experts provide line-by-line -line estimates paired with the 3D rendering of your roofing project. Find out why over 40,000 homeowners have chosen New Look to do their roof. This fall, save 20% on all roofing projects and qualify for 12 months, no payment, no interest financing. Call 800-279-5300. NewLookHomeDesign.com. Progressive presents Don't Do It Yourself. Okay, read me the manual. Using a Phillips screwdriver, drain to your halba, busy fit sits. What was that? Drain to your halba, busy fit sits. Uh, this sounds like another language to me. Okay, maybe we should bundle our home and auto with Progressive. We could save big, then pay someone to do it for us. Maybe. What's next? Next, Pony Ostium Pronus and Terra. Was that one Latin? Save when bundling home and auto with Progressive and use the money to, you know, not do it yourself. Coverage from Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and third-party insurers. Bundle discount not available in all states or situations. Hellsberg Diamonds presents The Guy Who Got It Right. Tim needed an engagement ring. He did research, listened to hints from his fiance's friends. She wants a lab-grown, oval-cut, and white gold with a halo. And he went to Hellsberg Diamonds. At Hellsberg, Tim found an incredible selection of high-quality, lab-grown, and natural diamonds. He also found the ring she really wanted. Nailed it. She
she is gonna freak. Be like Tim. Find the ring of her dreams at a Hellsberg near you or at Hellsberg.com. Ask now about special financing offers. Hey guys, Bob Cooney here. Plan your game days at Live Casino and Hotel Philadelphia, the ultimate game day watch party headquarters, presented by Bud Light. Catch all the action at Sports and Social or Center Bar with giveaways, contests, and special alumni appearances. Sip on specialty cocktails at the Prime Rib. Try Philly favorites with a twist at Luck Fu, like cheesesteak egg rolls or the Philly Philly roll. Plus, Enjoy $5 Bud Lights every game. Game days at Live, presented by Bud Light. To learn more, visit LiveCasinoPhilly.com. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. If you're excited about football season but can't get excited about your game in the bedroom, you should do something about it. Stop suffering from low testosterone or ED. Call Iron Mountain Men's Health today. You've heard me talk about it, Iron Mountain Men's Health, before, and I've been doing it for a long time. i got to tell you, Dr. Avidan Appel specializes in treatment for men's sexual health. Whether you're 20 years old, 70, or anywhere in between, you'll get a customized treatment plan that is just right for you. Listen, we all know that ED can be an uncomfortable subject to talk about, but once you speak to Dr. Appel... He immediately makes you feel at ease. If you've tried pills or other treatment plans and they didn't work, it's likely because you weren't prescribed the right plan. Visit IronMountainMensHealth.com to set up a free consultation or call their office at 215-659-3770. That's 215-659-3770. Tell them I sent you Iron Mountain Men's Health, the leader in men's sexual health. The John Kincaid Show. This group of people, when they put their minds together, they can do something great. On 97.5, The Fanatic. Philadelphia. Today's show is presented by our friends at Philly Pretzel Factory. You know they're the official soft pretzel, the Philly sports fan, as they have been. But now they're the official soft pretzel of your Philadelphia Eagles. Thanks for being a part of what we've got going on here. John Kincaid Show on 97.5 The Fanatic. We appreciate you uh, being with us. Tell your family, tell your friends. We'll have a reach around coming your way a little bit later. Who doesn't like a Friday reach around? Am I that right? is on You the, know, you can't turn it down. Why that would is you? On there, no. So it's, it's you can't even right ask there. for it. Some uh, do. I, yeah. must, I, I must tell you, though, that uh, there's something that I think is hurting the energy of the Phillies trying to push for the playoffs. And it is a an invoked sort of uh, opinion that keeps getting invoked over and over again. And I'm going to blame Pat Egan and our man Andrew Salchunas. I'll throw my hand up. The crowd that just says, we just want to make the playoffs. That's all we want to do is just make the playoffs. Jamie, do you want to join the boat? Yeah, I'm, I'm, part, of the, I'm part of that. I'm part of that. We just want to make the playoffs. I don't think we sound just like that. I mean, when you're I in the I mean, desert, yeah, I think we have a little more. You have a, you have a little, little more. more. I mean, not okay, Jamie. I want to make the playoffs. Not, not Jamie currently. Say it, you know, say it. Say it. Say it, Pat. How, Pat I just want to make the playoffs. Say I just want to make the playoffs. I just want to make like the playoffs. City, the, I think, We're in the desert, John. We're dying. We need I some just water. just want a little water. I the low bar. I know what you're saying, though. The low bar. We just want to make, we sound so freaking pathetic if that comes out of anybody's mouth. No, what you want to do is you want to have a good baseball team. No, the Phillies good did this to us. Fundamental baseball. No, this isn't our fault. The Phillies yeah. did this to well, us. How come they they didn't, put us in the corner. Us. But how come they didn't do the Phillies did it to Bob and I too, but we didn't have that reaction? Well, that's a you problem. Uh, well, we may have. We may have back in 07 or said something said, yeah, I just want to get in the playoffs. I, I I hear where they're coming from. I I don't I take the word just out of it. I want to make the playoffs. I don't say just like I because that means to say going into the playoffs. You're to me. You're expecting to lose once you get there. The what the, I I am. See now here's the problem. Is <laughs> I, mean, I see <laughs> thing is though is that I see Jamie and Pat and Pat get ready to uh, launch off on me here if I'm incorrect. I'm gonna go at you. You guys are gonna be the in in with the spray and champagne crowd when this team backs into a play into like the third wild nah. card. It's just going to be nice to watch a, a bunting flag Phillies game with MLB playoff spray painted it on the field. It won't be in the Phillies, though. Well, whatever. It'll be on the road. I also don't, like, you You have this foregone conclusion they're backing in the playoffs. I don't see it like that. Like, after what I've watched this past they're like five six, Septembers. Aren't they like 6-20 and 20 in their last 20? 6? I'd have to look. I mean, they're backing in. They can't be 6. I mean, they're barely really bad. I mean, it's a bad well, stretch. They, hey, what if they hey, beat? Let me get back to you on that one there, No, Johnny. but I mean, yeah. it's a bad stretch. It just seems, maybe, Pat, it more seems that way how bad it's been. Their their offense is falling apart. 
they've had two like really streaks where you just say, man, that looks bad. Yeah. And the, now they're turn, and trying to turn it around again. Uh, the way the season plays out, look, if they take three or four here from the Braves and then they go on the road against two bad teams and, and do what they're supposed to do, uh, and then you go to Houston, who's going to be a 108-win team already and probably not paying for playing for much. Look, you can hit a hot streak in a final 13 games of a season or whatever it is, and then go into the playoffs feeling really good about yourself. Yeah, we don't feel good about this Phillies team right now because of the way they've been playing. But baseball's like that. You can turn it around. Bryce Harper could maybe turn it around. You can, we may, a week, two weeks from now, feel real good about the Phillies going into the playoffs as a 90 win team. They have a one in, they they have a one in they thrown up a one and six and an o and an o and five since September 28th. That, I mean so, since since August 28th. Yeah, they're they're 9 and 9 in the month of September. I think one of the reasons why we look at it as they're backing in or you might look at it as they're backing in is they've struggled. And it's like the one game where they finally hit their pitching like, it couldn't get anywhere. They allowed runs in eight innings of the nine. Yeah, it was incredible. I mean, they're not playing the best baseball. I mean, that, it's, hard to, it's hard to argue Jared that. Stubbs no, is their given best up pitcher. In the last, how about this? In the, la- in the last three weeks, they've given up. Uh, here, here, just the, How about this? The last three weeks, they've given up 13 in a game, 12 in a game, uh, 13 in a game. They've given up. Uh, let me see. There was another big eight, one. There's an 18, 18 in there. Yeah, 18, 18 I mean, sexy. that's that's pathetic. So you see 18, they're, they're and fo- I see the 11 that they scored, and I said, yeah, because the game was already out of hand, no, I, and I, then they ran themselves into outs on the base pass, being stupid. Yeah, well, I, I the game was out of, out of hand. I, I, it like, was seven I, five. I think I think what what Bob said is is correct. In a week from today, we could be feeling pretty good about this team. Because a week from today, if they split against Atlanta in this four game series, and they've already got one, right. And then they go to Chicago and they take care of business against Chicago. And then they start a series against a bad Washington national team. We're feeling pretty good about them. And we're not thinking they're backing in. And then you've got, you know, Houston to finish out the season. But you're probably playing the backups on Houston because they're getting ready for the playoff stretch. So you're probably feeling pretty good. Okay, a source within the Braves told me something yesterday that bothered me. And I will tell you, would you be bothered by this? That the Phillies purposely kept Wheeler out of the Brave series. And they they purposely started him for his first start. So he would be backed up. So he would start the other night. He starts again next Tuesday. And then he starts again Sunday, the day after Fan Fest. No, I'm not bothered so that at way, all. So that way they lined him up for the Friday. No, I have no problem with that. So yeah. they lined him up. They lined him up for that Friday. And uh, it's, it's also kind of his rehab. But it, no, but the thing is though they could have done it Absolutely earlier, and they staged it. So that way, if everything works out for this team, that he would be ready to pitch game one. He's on progress, regular four days rest. He pitches game one of the postseason. That's great. Exactly but, what but, you want. But if they make it. They'll make it. I, they're, I, I, obviously, they're confident that they're going to make I it. I truly have no doubt they're making the playoffs. They're very Come nonchalant. On. I got to tell you, it's, it's extremely, for a team that's done, that, as you're saying, that's done nothing in 11 years, that has choked away the last three Septembers. They're very nonchalant. They're well, just how like, do you mean nonchalant? And in, in like, what way? I mean, the fact is, you I mean, could we have complain had, about their know, over yeah, aggressiveness. Now, now I know you could have had two more Aaron Nola starts and two more Wheeler starts. If it comes down to the last series in Houston that they've got to win games to make the postseason, and you could have already had two more Nola starts and two more Wheeler starts, that to me, is, that that if they make the playoffs, do you call it right though? No, you know I what I mean. You, it's I, gutsy. I hear if you. you. Go, if you go into they're they're accepting. That's why it's nonchalance. Oh, we're making it. We're making it. Well, we can John, set up our rotation. You're the guy who, like, three weeks ago was bragging about, I'm 100% they're making no, the it playoffs. Is. And now you're terrified that Pat, you're acting I'm like they're not, on the outside looking Pat, I'm inside. not Rob Thompson. No, but, like, why I'm are you I'm not scared? them. I'm a fan. Why I are do, you What scared? I do has no, what I have or what I think has no bearing. All right, well, what, what would you have done with your strategy? You, would, would you have done the same thing? No. You had 100% confidence. I would absolutely right? have gotten... Wheeler, a start in one other Brave series and this Brave series, and I would have had it lined up that he was start to he would have been ready to pitch the last game of the season in Houston if they <sighs> needed to make the postseason. Instead of having it that he will be unavailable for that game, and they're setting it up that he's ready for the first game of the postseason. If this all works out, it. perfect. Uh, but it's, it's if you're going in, if you go into the Houston series and you got to let's say let's say the magic number is two, you're going into the Houston series magic number is two. You're not gonna feel you're not gonna feel great when the Brewers are playing the Diamondbacks at home 
and you got to win two games. Diamondbacks played well. And you got to hope that. Yeah, but you get seven versus the Nationals and Cubs, so there's a good chance it doesn't it matter. Is. And there's a good chance maybe it's one or, or it could be. Yeah, you know. So I, I, I would rather have had it's it a set, calculated risk. I would rather have it set up that Wheeler could have could pitch the last game of the year. He can if, if nest. No, he can't. He can't. No, he can't. He can play. He can pitch on on like what three or four days rest. Three days rest coming off an injury. They've just yeah. been worried. They've been wrapping him in bubble wrap for three it. weeks. He can do it. He just pitched four innings, ninety eight miles an hour in. without like any. Yeah, but they wouldn't uh, let him go know. over. They wouldn't let him go over that that amount of pitches. If, yeah, it is. There is kind of a. Not a sure. misbalance here in that, as a fan, you're 100% certain three weeks ago that they're making the playoffs, but you question them getting themselves ready for the playoffs. No, I want him to be because you're getting him ready either way. If Wheeler's ready to pitch the last game of the season, and then they don't need him to do it, he's ready to pitch the first game of the postseason. Mm-hmm. This way, he's not available to pitch the last game of the season because they're not going to pitch him on three days rest. But they may give him an inning. If they needed to get in, but you're not going to pitch it because he's coming off this injury that they've they've literally wrapped him in bubble wrap and gave him an extra like eight days. Yeah, but now he's off of his uh, his regular routine. Man, I'm telling you, it's look and and Pat, what I tell them to do uh, means nothing. No, it's what just Rob like, yeah, yeah, we know that. You were like three weeks nothing. ago, you were like, I'm the only no, one, 100. No, I am 100. percent No, Jamie you're was terrified. Jamie's 100 like too. Bitch. You're terrified because of why. Like, I, I, like because of why? I don't know why. Because of a yeah, one why? and six. Because of a one and six and an zero oh and five. Like you're ter- I'm not terrified. They're he, one and ele- they have a one and eleven. Four great innings the other night. They are getting him primed for the playoffs that you're 100 percent sure innings. three weeks ago they're, they're going they're to won. make. Woo! They won the game. They, they did win the game. Four yeah. innings. That's yeah, he's not building he's up. Not he's ready. ramping up for the playoffs. What do you expect him to do? Man, I, I don't think they could have handled it any better. Oh yeah. Nonchalant. I, yeah. I just want to be angry at the team. They're Why? I think you know what be I mean. Happy, I, get the, I get that. It. You're not ready to allow yourself to enjoy this. That's what it is. You don't want You're me to be. You're looking for something. Okay, no, here. I can already tell you. Win, no, I'll give you the right answer. Would you rather have the Cardinals or the Braves or Mets? I had said, no, 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 I said before Braves or Mets, but I I think I'm leaning Cardinals. Right, so not only are you going to get the team that no, you want to face, get that, you're also going to get Wheeler starting game one. You know you're what? only a half game. Are we right, Pat? Johnny, throw it to break, and we're going to give you a half game. Good try, John. No, there is, though, Pat, on one thing that I already am not going to be happy about one thing, and I'll tell you already in advance. What is it? When I see the goggles you're gonna and, the, and the champagne. Why is it going to upset the, you? It's, we You're f- going to be the only Phillies fan who is no, upset that they're celebrating I be, something. I will be thrilled that they make the postseason, and I will be going, you finish third. But do you maybe, see, do you maybe you save that. that. Why? Maybe That's you a you it. problem. Like, yeah, maybe like, you, you save the issue with this? That okay, is a you problem. Celebrating third place? Who cares? We like, they made the playoffs. I don't anything. care if, if, yeah. I don't care if they go home and make lemon meringue pies and that's the way they that's celebrate. Fine. I what don't about care. Key I don't like, care. Well, I'm not a huge key lime pie guy. But it's not only a Phillies thing. It's a baseball thing. Yeah, it is. I do not. I. I. I can't stand. Like, I can't imagine the Sixers win the their division, and they go in the locker room and spray each other with champagne for winning the regular season division. Well, it's. I, it's I, look. It's. It's bizarre to me. So I understand uh, why you find it annoying. I do. And yeah, it's I, not and something if I were that's in your new. Situation. Either. I would probably find it annoying with any other team but my own favorite team. Because when my favorite team's doing it, it's awesome. Because it means they're going to the postseason, and we can party, we can take our pants off, we can enjoy ourselves. Well, you'll be doing that. We're in Arizona. There are ordinances against that in Scottsdale. Pants we are will optional. Be... I was told pants are optional. No, no, you have to check the fine print. Philly Sports Trips lays it out, and you don't read your emails, Pat. I don't, but it's... Vince Rizzuto says pants on on the charter flight, and at every Philly Sports Trips event, it is a pants on event. Way different than you Vegas. You don't read your emails. Way different than Vegas. No, but you're right, though, about that. That is something that I'm not going to allow myself. I will see them clinch and I'll turn it off because that yeah, will annoy I'll, I'll me. Pro- I'll probably that will annoy turn me. it off and what what like the watching the yeah that will I I, I the, so you want non you don't like the nonchalance but you want nonchalance after they do something for the first time in eleven years yeah third third place doesn't isn't uh, champagne no, that's not and, what it, and, it, they made and the playoffs and no they, they made the playoffs I got you I third don't think play- it's going to be overly done because. They're going to have a game to play the next day, or the playoffs are starting in a. I don't, you okay. know, but like if we'll you want to grab a beer and, and chink glasses or cups or whatever, they, no, I don't care. They're free to do it. Sure. I don't have to enjoy it. You have I, to. No, 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 we're going to make you. No, Matter of fact, win, I'm bringing champagne you, the next day and I'm you, spraying your ass all over the place. When you win the division, when you win the division, 
I absolutely have no problem with it. When the team wins the division after 162, I've got no problem with those celebrations. When you finish third? What if they finish second, you weren't, second, you weren't John? even the second best team in what your division. What if the Mets and the Braves clinch a playoff spot? And it's second place. What, are they allowed to, no, no. Uh, I don't know, soda I, with, with some rum in it? No, What's the rule I, there? I will tell you. We had a, and 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 we grab the, we grab, go back and grab audio. Braves, the Phillies won the division. Braves won the wild card and clinched against the Phillies. So they clinched their wild card against the Phillies. And they did the dog pile and champagne. And the Phillies were on the field, the team that finished in first. And I ripped them for it. And said, this is ridiculous. It looks pathetic. The team that you're, 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 you're a second place club and you're celebrating in front of the first place club. And I got ki- Chipper and a bunch of others just killed me for it. Well, Say, oh, oh my God. You. Oh, no. He did mic'd up. He was mic'd up for Fox. Yeah. And he literally ripped me for three innings. I screw Larry. And, well, Larry did. So third place is even more. To me, it's it. I'm I, I consistent because when we finished third in the ratings book, you came in with with like was it champagne? You came in with a bunch of champagne. And we had to and tell caviar. You, All right, how about five this? in the morning? You gotta you gotta kick rocks with that. How about this? When we it, it, coach doesn't want us to have the uh, the wine, we can have then we'll have a little champagne so you can celebrate with. <laughs> no, coach is not gonna like that. Hey, Temple football battles UMass Saturday at two o'clock at Lincoln Financial Field. All kids eighth grade and younger can score a touchdown on the field after the game as part of the parent child touchdown toss day. Kids tickets only 10 bucks. Visit owlsticks.com. In Cooney's Corner, Bob says super confident about this. Now, let's see what's in Cooney's Corner. Yeah, be ready to come in here on Monday morning and, and everyone being Miles Sanders fans even more. I, I really think this Eagles team is going to concentrate on the running game. We've seen different aspects of them, as I keep bringing up. Different game plans, game one, game two. Well, the third game is going to be the same thing, and this is going to be a concentration on the running game with the running backs. I, I think Miles Sanders might might approach that 20 and over mark of being handed the ball. I, I really do think because this Washington defense is so horrific against the run that I think the Eagles are going to look to establish it. And as I said earlier... It very well could be a, a day of a little, couple of shit. John, bring your poncho. There could be some showers. Oh, no. It could be a little bit of a of a wet field. And, I don't have and, a poncho. Well, I have one. I have a couple that I got at the dollar store for you. <laughs> but uh, I do. I, I just think that I think Jonathan Gannon, or not I'm sorry. I think uh, Shane Steichen and Nick Sirianni are very comfortable with themselves because they have two weeks in a row come up with offensive game plans that have worked wonderfully against the type of defense that they were facing. I don't think they're going to overthink this one, and I think they're coming up with a different game plan. I think Miles Sanders goes for more than a buck twenty. I think he has himself a day. Jamie, I don't have the guts to bet that one. Uh, you could probably get some pretty nice o- odds on his Bob, alternate yards. Bob, you can yards. up those numbers on our. You know, I know the bet parks can do it. I'm sure yours can too. Absolutely. Yeah, I think Fandle last Sportsbook. weekend he was. I want to say fifty nine and a half yards over under. So if you did over a hundred on him, you could probably get some pretty nice odds. Uh, I agree with them. I think they're 29th in the NFL in, in rushing yards uh, right now. So, yeah, I expect Miles Sanders to have a big day. Now, um, that, Pat, I would celebrate. I'm not doing champagne because cool. it's only game both. three, but I'm going to celebrate. If Miles Sanders has another big day, he's also going to tell guys like me who've doubted him in the past, uh, kick rocks, dude. Kick yeah, rocks because I'm be getting cool. it done. Because I, I am I getting it that. done. And I think, he is. I think he does have a, 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 a good game on Sunday. I, I, if he doesn't he's on a good Sunday, back. he is. He, he, he's done a great, great job. Yeah, I, I really do think it's kind of the. Uh, I, I don't want to say you're showing off, but I do think that they are very pleased with themselves and coming up with two completely different game plans at work. I think they're going to say, "Yeah, let's go for number three. Let's be a run-heavy team this week." I, I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to be a lot of Miles Sanders. Yeah, their Pick. defensive line's beat up, so get all over it. The offensive line should feast. Bob's, they're going to say, "Jason Kelsey, go eat today." Bob's trying to make you money. Bob's trying to make you some money there. I'm going to look at those about. lines right now. But you know what? There's a lot going on in the NFC. So what does Jamie do? He strolls around and he gives us a reach around. Let's. To a reach around of the NFC East. Yeah, it's a double shot NFC East weekend Choo-choo. here. Yeah, two teams facing off each other. Obviously, we'll start with the Eagles down at Washington. Uh, the Eagles currently on DraftKings Sportsbook sit at minus six. Uh, the over under on this one comes in at 47 and a half. Uh, I think I do think there's going to be some points scored. Uh, I'd probably play the over myself. 
Uh, so that means fade me and take the opposite. Uh, but I'm actually back. I took the Browns last night, so maybe not. So you're back. Maybe. You're we'll back, see. We're baby. Jamie's back. back. Yeah. Tell, tell, the, tell the streets we're tell back the streets up. Tell the streets we're back up. Uh, so minus six, 47 and a half. I do like the Eagles to cover. Uh, obviously, Washington last week, if you had talked to their fan base after the first half of the game, uh, they'd be foot on the bridge, uh, ready to just send the season into whatever river down there. I guess the uh, Anacostia River. Uh, but they crawled back in the game last weekend. But the defense sucks. Uh, the questions down there, even hearing J- J.P. Finley, who covers the team yesterday on the station, uh, they want a new defensive coordinator. Ron Rivera, Riverboat Ron. Uh, he's a defensive uh, coach, and things aren't going well down there. Uh, they're still without Chase Young. They're missing Philbin, the defensive tackle for the year. So they're they're beat up and hurt. Uh, Ron Rivera said this week, anytime Jalen Hurts has the ball in his hand, it's a run-pass option. That, that tells you he's worried uh, about the matchup to me uh, when he says, you know, we don't really know how to cover this guy. I think that's a polite way of <laughs> saying that. That's a scary thought. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Eagles offensive line and running game, as Bob just mentioned, should be able to attack that defensive line of Washington. Uh, you know, they're, they're beat up and the Eagles can dominated time of possession on Monday night versus the Vikings. Uh, the, the passing attack is formidable. You know, Mark Slayer talked about Curtis Samuel. He's having uh, a resurgence year now that he's healthy. He missed pretty much the entire year last year. Uh, and Jahan Dotson, the kid from Penn State, um, you he know, looks not a, really good. Not a ton of yardage yet, but he's got three touchdowns. So oh, my fantasy team. Yeah, um, that's going to be a problem. But the Eagles secondary just shut down one of the best receivers in the league, so I'm not too worried about it there. Uh, the next game in the NFC East is the Dallas Cowboys at New York Giants on Monday Night Football. Currently, the Giants are minus one. Over under comes in at a incredibly gross number of thirty nine. Uh, that's telling you—that's hey, a really weird yuck. number. Yeah, well, that's telling you Cooper Rush and Daniel Jones are quarterback in this game. I mean, when you when you look at that on paper, okay, it's, that's a really weird. The how'd low you even number. see that? Thirty eight's about as low as you ever see. Yeah, I mean Cooper Rush and Daniel Jones. This this quarterback matchup stinks. I know Cooper Rush started the game perfect last week on two drives, uh, but after that he kind of came back to reality. Daniel Jones is. He's he's horrible. Uh, I mean, I, I'd be surprised. Uh, they probably do want to lose, so they get. What would the, you be surprised? Like, like if he made it the whole year? Like, if he earned making it the whole year? If he no, if you you mean if he earned making it the the twenty twenty three quarterback? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't okay. think he will be. I think they want to keep him in to lose at this point. Who's their backup again in, in uh, New York? Do you remember? Don't they have uh, is, is it, it Tyrod Fromm? Taylor? Where's he? Jake Fromm? I don't even know their backup. Well, yeah, I was going to say, they might go to their Jake backup, Fromm. but I can't even remember who it is. Yeah, I'll, I'll look it up. I'll yeah. look it up. Uh, Cooper Rush, you know, was pretty good last week. They hope to get Michael Gallup back on Monday night. Uh, head coach Mike McCarthy said he's hopeful that he returns. Jerry Jones continues to be another great owner in the NFC East, saying on his re- radio hit this week that he would welcome a quarterback competition. What? I mean, I think he's trying to pump up Cooper Rush there, saying, like, go for it. But why would you say that? Davis Webb. He's so dumb. Davis Webb, by the way. Oh, Davis He's the Webb. the Giants. Yeah, I don't uh, think they're rushing uh, to get Tyrod to him. Taylor. Oh. Yeah, I thought Tyrod was there. Oh, okay. Who's suing the Chargers doctors right now. Yeah. Um, yeah but, how about yeah, that? why Jerry Jones would do that, I I don't know. Yeah, why are you doing that? I mean, I mean you know, his it. explanation is understandable. Like, oh, well, if there is, it's because that means yeah. the other guy's winning, and, you know, that's all we want to do is win. But, like, if I'm Dak Prescott and I'm there, you know, Yo, like, Terry. working out, like, Yo, dude, I might knock on the door and be like, well, would you give me all that money for if you want a quarterback controversy, yeah. you dope? And, and that's probably a reason why the, the Cowboys, you know, it's a pretty big factor in why the Cowboys' Super Bowl victory highlights are on VHS and not Blu-ray or DVD. Jerry Jones is just, he's got bad vibes. Uh, I don't know, something, it's chaotic in that building. Like, why would you say that? It's just I a just weird don't even thing understand to say. Why, like, what brings it on? Except yeah. you have a radio show. Yeah. Uh, the injury list in this game is big for both teams. Michael Parsons, Trayvon Diggs. A couple guys were out with illnesses this week. Uh, another one to keep an eye on for gambling purposes. Dalton Schultz has missed practice uh, with a knee injury this week. So both teams have a pretty long list of injuries. It's a pretty gross game, if we're being gross. honest. I think the Cowboys are going to win personally, uh, but we'll see. I'd rather see the Giants win. Yes. Long they term. Would, they would be long a fraud term. 3-0 team. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I'd rather the that. Giants win. Yeah, definitely. You want the Cowboys to fail miserably, we always. Will, we will recap our uh, our picks from earlier today. 
We will give you your final chance to qualify with us for our trip to Arizona and more. Plus, Bram Weinstein, uh, the uh, voice of the commanders, joins us at the bottom of the next hour. Don't turn the dial. Your Friday morning begins with the John Kincaid Show. We're halfway home here on 97.5, The Fanatic. I know that the Bet Parks Sportsbook and Casino app is everything that I ever could want in a sportsbook. It's absolutely awesome. And a lot of you love the casino games, too. You love to be able to play a little blackjack. They even have the live dealer blackjack where you can look them right in the eyes. You can even have the little communication going on where you think you have a chance to win. Get after it. College football games, every single Saturday, my Bet Parks app is giving me like 33% odds boost if I'm willing to do three-leg parlays. Sometimes you might just want to bet three favorites, lay down the cash, take advantage of those three-leg parlays, and you're going to get bonus payouts. You will love the Bet Parks app. It's easy to use. It's fun. It's where odds, slots, bets, and games all come together. And you can get a $750 risk-free bet when you use the promo code Kincaid, refunded in site credit should you lose. 21 in Pennsylvania or New Jersey. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. The John Kincaid Show. For someone who's super, super hot, you're really cranky. On 97.5, The Fanatic. Philadelphia. Join Pat Egan Saturday from 7 to 9 for Bud Light Saturday Game Night at JJ's Cafe, 1065 East Erie Avenue in Philly. Enter for a chance to win Eagles Jacksonville tickets or a Josh Job autographed helmet courtesy of Bud Light. Enjoy $13 Bud Light buckets and $2.50 bottles. There's a reason Comcast Business powers more businesses than any other provider. Actually, there's a few. Comcast Business offers the fastest reliable network, the peace of mind that comes with Security Edge, helping to protect all your connected devices, and the most reliable 5G mobile network. Want me to keep going? I can. Whether your small business is starting or growing, you need Comcast Business. Technology solutions that put you ahead and give you serious savings. Comcast Business, powering possibilities. There's never been a better time to get gig speed internet and advanced security from Comcast Business. With our new gig bundles, you'll get 20% more speed for less. That's more value for your business and more speed to keep all your connected devices running smoothly. So get an incredible offer from the company that powers more businesses than anyone else. Call 1-800-501-6000 or go to ComcastBusiness.com today to learn more. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. Comcast Business Internet required. Actual speeds vary and are not guaranteed. Just another day, that doesn't mean you deserve just another shower. Nebbia by Moen Quattro creates four unique shower experiences. Relieve, soothe, clarify, and cleanse to give you all the escape while using 50% less water than standard showers. Making your everyday routine an experience. Water designs our life. Who designs for water? Moen. You could save big when you bundle your home and auto with Progressive, but when we just come out and say it, it feels like it falls a bit flat. So instead, we're going to hire a professional voice actor and pay him absurd amounts of money to say, I like this product. Hmm, not sure why that was better. I mean, I'm a professional too. But we didn't pay him to say the business part, so back to me. Save big when you bundle your home and auto with Progressive. Sorry, I know hearing me say it was a bit of a letdown. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Discount not available in all states or situations. The NFL action is in full swing at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. We're talking touchdowns, big plays, and even bigger wins. New customers can bet just $5 on any NFL team to win and get $200 in free bets if they do. If that's not enough, Everyone can boost their winnings with DraftKings stepped-up same-game parlays. I love these. Right now, for every leg you add, you can boost your winnings up to 100%. That's right. I've gotten lucky where I've had 30%. I've had 50%. I haven't had 100% yet. I hope I get that one this weekend. With payouts bigger than ever, why bet on football anywhere else? All you have to do is download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code FANATIC to get $200 in free bets if your team wins when you place a $5 bet on any football game. I got to tell you, so far early in the season, yes, I'm liking certain teams. Philadelphia, Los Angeles out there, and Cincinnati. I feel pretty good about those teams at this time. Get involved. That's Code Fanatic only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Must be 21 or older, Pennsylvania only. Bonus issued as free bets, one boost per eligible game. Opt-in required. Parlay and wagering restrictions apply. 
eligibility and terms at DraftKings.com slash football terms in partnership with Meadows Racetrack and Casino. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLE. Progressive presents Forced Metaphors about bundling your home and auto. When you bundle your home and auto with Progressive, you get great savings and round-the-clock protection, which is as beautiful as looking your firstborn child in the eyes for the first time. Well, that's a bit much. Maybe it's more like looking your second-born child in the eyes for, like, the third or fourth time. Point being, the savings and round-the-clock protection are really, really magical. Forced Metaphors, presented by Progressive. Bundle and protect today. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Discount not available in all states or situations. When the water or wastewater pump system in your building goes down, count on Pump Man Philly to put the go back in your flow. Managers for Philly's municipal, commercial, and industrial facilities count on the experts at Pump Man Philly for troubleshooting, emergency repair, maintenance, and pump system replacements. You can't always predict pump failures, but you can be prepared for them if you save Pump Man Philly's number in your phone right now. 833-559-PUMP. That's 833-559-PUMP. Or online at pumpmanphilly.com. Visit Barlow Chevrolet this fall and receive discounts below MSRP on select vehicles in stock. Competitive financing rates are also available to well-qualified buyers through GM Financial. New vehicles like Equinox, Silverado, and Malibu are arriving daily. So now is the time to reserve yours. At Barla, we will always order the vehicle you want with no additional dealer fees or markups. It's our goal to keep the buying process simple, convenient, and hassle-free. This fall, find new roads at Barlow Chevrolet and Del Rand or at BarlowChevrolet.com. Duncan is ready for you to fall hard. So when you hear those leaves rustling, it's time to eat, sleep, and drink pumpkin at Duncan with pumpkin muffins, munchkins, and donuts. Pair them with a classic pumpkin spice signature latte or the ultra smooth pumpkin cream cold brew. America runs on Duncan. Price and participation may vary. Limited time offer, terms apply. When you open a crisp, cold Bud Light, you know game day is here. Touchdown! You owe me five bucks. We mean every sound. Enjoy responsibly. 2022 Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. FanDuel Casino is giving you a free chance to spin and win today and every day. Introducing FanDuel Casino Reward Machine, a free-to-play game giving you a shot to win up to $2,000 in casino bonus every day. It brings you all the excitement of playing FanDuel Casino games for free. Every day at 6 p.m., you get three chances to spin the Reward Machine reels. There are three ways to win. One... Match any three symbols for an instant win. Two, collect symbols each day for a chance to win weekly prizes. Or three, win up to $2,000 if you collect three trophies. So what are you waiting for? Download the FanDuel Casino app by going to FanDuel.com forward slash Bob and start playing Reward Machine today. That's FanDuel.com forward slash Bob. No purchase necessary. 21 plus and present in Pennsylvania. Bonus issued as non-withdrawable casino-only site credit that expires seven days after receipt. Restrictions apply. See full terms at FanDuel.com slash casino. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit FanDuel.com slash RG. WPEN Burlington, Philadelphia. A Beasley Media Group station. Home of the most entertaining sports talk in Philadelphia. 97.5 The Fanatic. Philadelphia. Now, back to the John Kincaid Show. We are reinventing what sports talk radio can be. Whether we improve it remains to be seen. On 97.5 The Fanatic. Philadelphia. 97.5 The Fanatic is flying with the birds to Arizona. Call now for your chance to join us. We have 27 qualifiers already. Qualifier number 28, 215-263-0975. If you're caller 10, you automatically get a pair of FanFest tickets and you'll be qualified for a trip for two to see the birds play the cards in Arizona October 9th with us and our friends from Philly Sports Trips. 215-263-0975. It's all being presented by the Bet Parks Casino and Sportsbook app. It's everything you want in a digital casino and sportsbook. You got to be 21 in Pennsylvania, New Jersey. Gambling problem? Call 1 800 Gambler. There are only two more chances after this one for you to qualify. Today at noon with the Cuz and this afternoon at four on the best show ever. Someone will be going to Arizona with us next Woo! week. Trip for two. It's next on the week? line. No, two weeks. Now we give out the award. Oh, next okay. Week. There are 30 you made me sweat. I was like, wait, that's next Friday already? My gosh. Check your calendar, Jamie. Eh, those hey. things are overrated. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> 8 a.m. sponsor, the John Kincaid Show is our friend at Martin Law. The law firm for injured workers. Visit paworkinjury.com. I worried about you with a new phone, Jamie, but I thought that 
getting the new phone this week that it would be the opportunity for you to finally understand how to use a calendar uh, and have things on your calendar because I've never seen anyone in the technology era that constantly says, well, I scheduled this event and I didn't realize that I had something going on that day. Yeah, I'm like, uh, I'm not great with calendars. No, you're bad um, at it. In I want to say yes to everything. So I just say yes, and then my wife will be like, no, you idiot. We have this on the calendar. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I should have consulted the she calendar call first. You an idiot. Uh, I've seen Addie call you an idiot before. Yeah. Yeah. She's so, yeah, char I, I, she's so charming. I don't believe she uses idiot. <laughs> I, I have come very nice accustomed lady. to the calendar on the phone. I mean, get, I try to use it yeah, sometimes. I use it. Often. I say yes very easily. Do you yeah, have you a do. family? Do you have a the family things. calendar between you and your wife? Uh, no. Where she can put something on your calendar when she, when there's plans as a couple. Do you have anything like that, or do you have to put it on duplicated on if there's? I just sit like down that. with her like once a month and go over the and next over like it. two two months and code, next two code months. it myself. Well, just to you know have stuff that I reserve. Pat, you never seem to double conflict. It's happened before, but it's pretty rare. Like, I kind of have a good memory of what's going on. But it's usually only, like, a week or two ahead of time. I, I, and the reality is, like, a lot of times I don't have, even a month ahead of time, I don't have anything going on. Like, what's what, yeah. what, what's filling up my dance card, you know? My, my wife gave up. I, I am such a day-to-day -day guy that but she gave up. But you use paper, up. too, I, though. I, also, I have a book, and I have it in my phone. So I try to, I'm trying to get better, but it's probably not going to happen at this stage of my life. But I have to, from last night, give Pat... Egan, kudos here. Kudos. His, your son, Jack, is so damn adorable. And the way you father him is so great. Like, I, I'm, I'm being honest here. Like, it's so cool to watch you two. And how much fun did we all have with Jack last oh night? Oh, my gosh. Jack Egan is the well, best Egan. I mean, he is so personable. He's the best part such of the show. a good kid. Even him getting out of the car and saying I wasn't his best friend anymore, I was okay with that because he's just so good, cool. I, I hope <laughs> you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it'll probably be our last one. Oh, yeah? What? Uh, yeah, so Jim came over, Jim from PJ's, and Jack decided to start beating on Jim. Oh no! He and started. I tried to explain to Jack, like, dude, like this is the guy who had us out, and and just Jack didn't care. So, so you're owns thinking the place. Jim may hold so a Jim's, grudge? Jim's going to be calling up Joe Z and, and canceling a PJ's appearances from for future because of uh, my three and a half year old trying to show off his karate skills. He's the, I do apologize. He is the uh, he is absolutely adorable. He uh, he's so cute. I, I just and love everybody kids loved that age. Yeah. interacting with. Can him. I yeah. do, can I give a little uh, shout out to Skylar who's listening sure. in the car right Hi, now? Hi, Skylar. Really? And just told Addy that's Bob talking to Jamie. Wow. wow! Way to go, Skyler. <laughs> Job, Skyler. That is absolutely awesome. Uh, I did think it was uh, funny though, where uh, I think your son Pat's going to be a bit of a player. Why? Because uh, I was saying to him, "You're going to be a Temple Owl, right?" And then lovely Haley from our uh, John Kincaid Show crew was there, and so he has the pretty girl next to him yeah. who says. No, you're going to go to West Virginia. And then he turns to me and he goes, not going to Temple, West Virginia. Yeah, and I, I'm going to West Virginia. And you said, I love how you parent because I loved it where you said, no, because I ain't paying for you to go to West I'm Virginia. Not, I'm not, with all due respect to the great to Haley. I mean, look, I, I think, uh, you know, that, that John Denver song is one of my all-timers. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm not paying him to go to West Virginia. Uh We'll see. We'll see. Maybe he'll get a full scholarship. 15, Fifteen years away. It's the Ivy League in the mountains. Yeah, that's what they. That's what they say. It really uh, is. I do have to give a shout out to uh, uh, Lieutenant uh, Jay Coleman who came out. To Love the that. Experience. Yeah, he had some few nice things to say. I texted about him this morning. That. I texted really? him at like five forty-five this morning. And said thanks so much for coming out last night. Wish we had more of a chance to talk. And he texted me right back. Yeah. You think it's appropriate to text people at five forty-five in the morning? I kind of thought of that after I hit send. But he was already up. Yeah, I would have killed you if I had dinged No, yeah. because I think in our conversation last night, he told me that he's up very early every day. Yeah, yeah so. Oh, he's yeah, just it's, one of those people. It's, it, it's funny. About that, it experience. was funny. Yeah, I'm talking to him last night, and he's a former policeman in Gloucester Township. Well, I used to live in Gloucester, right next to Gloucester Township. And he was telling me about an incident that he had. And I remembered the incident like it was yesterday. And we were going, and I said, oh, yeah, that was the day you guys had to cut off the street. Wasn't it on? And he, I, I was just about to name the street. He named the street. He was involved in an incident that was a pretty big thing right near my old swim club. And you started it with the person you knew in common. When you oh, met he him. did. 
It was like he knew, yes. he knew somebody. He did, common. right? He did six yep. degrees of Right food. away. He right said, away. yeah, you know such and such. Yeah, exactly. you know this. He created that, uh, that bond. So yeah. I, I had to bring Jack because it was back to school night. And uh, and so you bring him to a bar. Yeah. I think it, that's exactly. a great. Well, it wasn't his back to school night. It was my wife's back to school night. And, uh, and she had to, you know, have parents come in. And the one parent group came in and she talked to him for about 30 minutes. And afterwards they said, Are, is your husband... On the fanatic, so I have to thank Eric McMahon because he listens every wow. day. Wow, thank you, Eric. I th- I'm pretty sure she said I'm pretty sure he, the only reason he showed up at back to school night was to me to get confirmation on on his theory that she was married <laughs> to me. Hey, uh, we thank our friends at Philly Pretzel Factory, the official soft pretzel, of the Philly sports fan, and now the official soft pretzel of your two and zero Philadelphia Eagles. Will they get the three and zero? Let's recap what we said earlier on today, and I'll lay it out for you uh, as quickly as I can. Uh, last Monday night was spectacular for the Eagles. I don't believe Sunday afternoon is going to be nearly as spectacular. In fact, I think it's going to be harem scarum. I think they're going to trail at least once, maybe twice. My guess is, is that the running game will dominate. The Eagles defense will make a few plays. Carson Wentz will have a day passing the football, but not enough to defeat the Eagles. A scary victory. I would not lay the points. I say Eagles 27-23 down in Washington to run their record to 3-0 and and more importantly 3-0 and in the NFC. Robert? I agree with a lot of what you said. I do think it's going to be a running day for the Eagles. I think they're going to concentrate on that. Uh, therefore, they might not get points quickly going that way. I still think they're going to put up a 30 spot. Uh, Carson Wentz, I'm going to say two turnovers. There could be a fumble in there along with an interception or a couple of interceptions. Yeah, uh, I think they're going to concentrate on getting after him. I don't think it's going to be as much of a struggle as you say, John, but I think there are going to be some uncomfortable moments. Uh, How can there not be after what your expectations probably are following that performance, especially offensively, on Monday night? Uh, But I think it's still going to be a somewhat comfortable win. I have the Eagles going 30-20. to Yeah, uh, no need to sugarcoat how bad this Washington defense is right now with no Cam Young. They stink. Uh, They're near the bottom of the league and everything. Uh, I think their strengths as a team match up with the Eagles' strengths, uh, so that gets nullified, and their weaknesses go up against the Eagles' strengths. So I think it's advantage Eagles. I think it's going to be tight at times, uh, but I think they'll pull away pretty handedly. I I like them to cover the number. I got them going uh, 34-24. to Uh, That's an over for the betters at home with the Eagles covering. And I think Miles Sanders has a big day. I agree with Bob's sentiments that he's a 100-yarder on uh, Sunday. I agree with a lot of things you guys said. I think it's going to be a a big day for the birds. I do think they cover. I think Carson Wentz is going to put up numbers, but then that first turnover, that 1,200 people that Vince from Philly Sports Trips is bringing down, they're going to make their presence felt. It's going to kind of get the the woogies out for, for Carson. And, uh, and he's going to kind of crumble a little bit facing his own his old team. Plus, I just think talent-wise, the Eagles are just way better than the Commanders. 35-20, Birds win it. So we have four overs? Uh, yes. What is, the, what is it again? 47 and a half. Yeah, everybody has 50 or over. So four overs, and I'm the only one who wouldn't lay the points. Right. So there we go. That's where we uh, roll into the uh, the, the Sunday action. Uh, you guys will roll in Sunday to pregame. Yeah, time out on Pine in Huntington Valley. And uh, it's funny, Dan Baxter, one of our listeners, was like, wow, this is actually 23 minutes from my house. And everybody we've talked to, it's 25 minutes or less from their house. Yeah, exactly. Jo- jokingly, I mean, I just said, yeah, it's 25 minutes from everywhere. And he sent us the Google screenshot. And it was like, <laughs> yeah. I think you're right. And it's sponsored by FanDuel Sportsbook. It's, it's phenomenal. Everybody we talk to, right, Pat? People came up there. And I'm not kidding. It was like 10 people easily. Phoenixville, me, you, Devon. Wherever. Hey, how long take you to get here? Uh, like 20, 25. <laughs> Everybody. So we'll be there on Sunday. Come on out. It's a great spot for some pregame uh, food. They got great TVs right on Pine Road there in Huntington Valley. Look That's why they call it. it Time Out on Pine. You yes, got it. Correct. Pat. And that FanDuel blew, Sportsbook is the one that's making it possible, John. Do Let's not job. forget that. And we appreciate them, and uh, we uh, thank them for that. And we hope your Sunday mornings before Eagles games, Monday nights before Eagles games are a little more entertaining, and we're having some fun with you all I think all you guys long. will have a good time down there on Sunday. Hey. There's going to be a lot of Birds fans. I'm looking forward. So you say no if, if, if Chunas offers me a gummy, which would be fine on a bus. Yeah. 
Is it is it something that would be no? Just is ask if no? it's uh, five milligrams, ten milligrams, twenty. You know, of chocolate. Yeah, of chocolate. Uh, of chocolate. Mm-hmm. Okay. So wait, the now cocoa. now I'm a little curious as I'm watching you say the the bus ride down. What does a, like if me and Jamie were on a bus ride down going to Washington? I did the trip last year. Right. We're we're, we're pounding beers and, yeah. and you know being stupid and all that stuff. Now, you're not as big of a beer drinker as no, as me and Jamie not. are. Two hour ride early in the morning going down to Washington. Two and a half hours probably. What what what's what's the what's your what's your thinking on this? He's on the because you have a lot of rules. Right. Do you no, not talk? No. Do you not talk on the bus no, similar no to a rule, plane? You're right. I do have a lot of rules. It is. I uh, know. I will. It will be. I'll be pretty quiet. Really? Okay. Yeah. Like game face on? No. Face I'll painting? Be, no. But it won't be like. Uh, it, it won't be jazzed. No. By any stretch? No. I won't like. Uh, will you have a cocktail? Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, one probably. Okay. One probably. Will you bring your own it. food? No. Right. Well, no, I, I'm, beca- I'm being honest because... People bring their own food? Bring no, their Vince, eggs? when you check into the bus last year on the trip, he had, uh, you know, bacon, egg, and cheese. Something and like that, yes. Oh, okay, that. okay. I didn't uh, know Vince that. takes care of everything. And Chuna, right. and Chuna said he has something for me that's going to make me really enjoy the day. Oh, good. Oh, you're going to be so, high we'll as a say, kite, dude. Hey, oh, yeah. Bet Parks Casino and Sportsbook app. Odds, slots, bets, and games all come together in perfect harmony right in your pocket. Download it now at betparks.com. How important is it on Sunday for Jalen Hurts to outplay Carson Wentz? The guy they chose to go with over the guy that they felt they needed to part ways with. The arrival of Hertz was really the beginning of the end of the Wentz era. If you go back to it, we just didn't know it at the time. It's not going to look good for Jalen Hurts if he is outplayed or if his team loses to Carson Wentz. That's going to be the headline all around the NFL. That Carson Wentz beats the Eagles. Whether it's fair or not, that will be the headline and that will be the number one story on Monday morning. Eagles knocked from the ranks of the unbeaten by Carson Wentz. Yeah. Yeah. That's the story. It it will be the story. I don't think it matters much to Jalen Hurts, particularly, if he's outplayed by Carson Wentz. It matters a whole hell of a lot to him if the Eagles lose. Okay. I do think they're two separate. That, like from what Jalen Hurts says and 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 seeing things from back in you know in college that he says, all the guy wants to do is win. He doesn't care about the individual accolades at and all. And he really does. And that's something he's been yeah. his entire college career. So if so if now. the game plan is what I think it might be and should be, is him handing the ball off to watch Miles Sanders run for a hundred plus yards. I think he's totally okay with that as long as they get the W. Yeah, I think uh, he's very okay with that. I, there was a uh, quote that I found from the old Joseph Santa Liquido article about their time together here in Philadelphia. And to Bob's point, I think just getting the W matters more than style points. Um, I, you know, look, Jalen Hurts is a great dude, and and he's not going to throw people under the bus. Uh, but I'm going to read this quote to you and tell me what you think he uh, is motivated for this game just a little bit. Okay. All right, so this is from the Joe's story back at the time when people said it was, you know, made up and a lie. Uh, This is from a... All right, so the story goes, part of this was frostiness was innately Wentz. He would huddle up with his pals Nate Sudfeld and quarterback coach Press Taylor in the quarterback room and ignore the others. Quote, it was like you were back in high school with the cool kids table and the nerds table. Someone very close to the situation put it. Carson was the captain of the cool kids table. He'd treat Jalen, really one of the best guys you could ever want to meet, like he wasn't even there. Jalen did his work. He kept his head down and paid attention. The other guys weren't about to lift a finger to help him. He made us all laugh, and he just got a boatload of cash. Why was he so insecure about Jalen? The other part of the problem was everybody really liked Jalen, not so much the other guy. So I I, I think Jalen is highly motivated to beat Carson Wentz on Sunday, and I think that means doing it by whatever works. And, and there were and there were times when that story came out that uh that Joe there were things about it that people wished I guess Joe had done maybe journalistically a little differently, mm-hmm. but the story ended up being spelled out checking, it was true. checking out. Yeah. It checked out and everybody in the Eagles came down to try to squelch that story, claim it was false, and it was all played out true. So Jalen was, you know, he felt scorned by, you know, most most of the time quarterback rooms are somewhat there's camaraderie. When you're kind of brushed aside by the starter, like, dude, why are you sweating me? I, I think he wants to go out there well, the and, and is, shove his face in it. Thing is, though, I look at uh, that's what that's what uh, Brett Favre did to Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, and that's what Aaron Rodgers did to Jordan Love first year. Yeah. So I mean, sometimes I, and people applaud it. Like 
They don't have anything that they they have to do. Well, they they can, shouldn't have to help. They I, shouldn't have to help a young guy come along. I think it's me and a good teammate. And I I don't applaud it, but I understand it. Yeah, I understand it. Okay, like, I, you know, I'm competitive, uh, but it's athletes motivating. are super competitive. Uh, yeah, you're coming for my job. I ain't helping you. See, well, I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not. This is my job. I have to concentrate on being the starting quarterback of this team. My helping you is you seeing me follow the game plan of what they're giving me and all that stuff. If I have an injury or something like that, yeah, I'll step in and and help you then. But no, I, I don't need to like you be my. I was going to say side piece. I don't need you to be like an extra thing that I have to do to be the head quarterback, number one quarterback on this team. I got you. I've always just looked at it in my entire career, and radio is a very the media in and of itself is a very sort of unfriendly business, I believe. And there are a lot of very insecure people in it. I've always believed help try to bring up the next generation. Yeah, I mean... Help help the young guys come along. Give them advice. Give them counsel. Uh, build them up. Give them opportunities. I've never understood the insecure people. In our business, there's a ton of them. Well, uh, that's because we can be replaced at any moment. If you're a good starting quarterback, you're not getting replaced. And also, their window of opportunity for that profession is very small. Very small. So, no... I'm sorry, and I think I'm a nice guy in general. I'm not helping a guy below me become better so that maybe he can replace me. I'm not doing anything to hurt him. I'll be a good teammate to him, but I don't think part of me being a good teammate is saying, oh, come here, let me help you some more so that when you get to my spot, no, well, that ain't happening. That, that quote from the story, I mean, told you even as a rookie how much the guys like Jalen Hurts. Well, what about revenge games? You had some numbers on some revenge games. Yeah, this us. was courtesy of Louis DeBlaze. And excuse me if I got that Say name Louis. wrong. He uh, Louis. does the Locked on Eagles podcast. Uh, he thought about the last revenge games as the Eagles were getting ready for a few, uh, you know, a former, you know, big level teammate uh, th that they were facing. And, and he what was it? He pulled up T.O., Dawkins, McNabb, Deshaun Jackson, and Shady. Uh, five games. The Eagles went 4-1 and one in those games. I believe Deshaun Jackson was the one they lost because Deshaun torched them. Yeah. Um, right off the bat. Yeah. The other ones, you know, they kind of have a good mark in these games. Not that it means necessarily a ton for Sunday, but I do think Wentz is – this is a big spot for him, and he hasn't really come up big in big spots in his career yet. Uh, so I think the pr you know one foot in the pressure cooker on Sunday goes in the Eagles' benefit. I think there's way more pressure on Carson Wentz for this game than yeah, than definitely Jalen hurts. Absolutely, so, I mean, not, which is not great record wise. Yeah, but new you're, teammate, you're new teammates. New team, you're facing your old team. The narrative has nothing to do with Jalen Hurts, and it has all to do with Carson Wentz. So there, the pressure's on Wentz, and he. He hasn't really dealt with the pressure well uh, the past couple of years. I mean, the, the Indianapolis Colts, all, were, all they, were, they were in the playoffs, and then he crumbled. I mean, all they had to do was win one of their last two games. Well, when you're facing the Jaguars, it's understandable how you lose that game. And then they came out against – then they came out, though, Frank Reich, to be all honest, though, he comes out and he loses that game. Of all the games, I could never lose. You can't lose that one. No, no. After what you just did, you can't lose that game. No. So I think, yeah, all the pressure's on Carson. All the pressure's on Carson. And I think Jalen, because of that quote, I think in the back of his mind, he would never say it because he's not that dude. He's not that guy. He's not that guy. But he wants to kick ass on Sunday. All right. I that's mean, it, this is a guy that did, gave him a cold shoulder in his career. Yeah, yeah a cold shoulder, shoulder is, that, that's just wrong. Like, you can be a good teammate yeah, without doing the things like, you know, kind of uh, helping him along in his career, whatever. You can be competitive for your job but still be a good teammate. Yeah. It seems like Carson was neither. Fletcher Cox? Correct. Fletcher Cox, and, and a very, very informed source says to me that Fletcher Cox has bent over backwards. To help Jordan Davis. Yeah, you can see that it from OTAs been, on. That he's been incredible with Jordan Davis. That's awesome. I respect the hell out of that. Fletcher's yeah. an Eagles legend. So now, it's in great that case, hear. I respect it because that is his. There's no question because he's on Fletcher's the way on out. his last right, leg. Right, 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 right. Yeah, right, right. yeah. He, it is a little bit different. He's yeah. on the way out. He knows he's on the way out. And they can but, play together a lot of times also. Yeah. He's you getting know? more playing time right now. Yeah, I mean, but you can put Fletcher Cox and Jordan Davis on the field at the same Big time. Big boys need breaks. Right. Yeah, I mean, two fatties, uh, they're obviously going to line up together and be friends. Yeah. Uh, I like that. And again, I will reiterate to you that the uh, my, uh, my Athens source, who I consider to be impeccable, says there is some pissed offness that Jordan Davis is being that anyone would float that Jordan Davis is not ready to play physically. 
That well, that, that, that that that. Well, then the other reason is he aside. just hasn't been good enough yet. That they haven't. Which, they, they're not. They're bringing. They keep saying they're bringing him along slowly, slowly. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense if the guy's on a field. And the other team can't get three yards per carry. And when he's off the field, they're getting 10 yards carry. How freaking slow do you have to bring the guy along? Put him on the damn field. That's what I say. But yeah. the thing is, is it, it's the idea of whether it's whether it's on him or whether it's on the coaching staff. And I got, I got a very good Athens source. Just says that's not that doesn't go over well in any way depicting him as a guy who's not ready well, to play. doesn't go over well with whom? I wouldn't like it if somebody said it about me, but if it was true... Yeah, but I don't think he th- believes it's true. Well, Just get to, it's telling me they don't believe it's true. Get to Carson all. Wentz on Sunday, and uh, be a good we, way we to can do bury it. that narrative. Hopefully it'll work, and uh, it'll be a big game coming up. We'll talk to Bram Weinstein, who is the uh, voice of the Commanders. He joins us coming up next, and we'll find out what they're thinking down across enemy lines. And, yes, it is below the Mason-Dixon line, despite what Connor Thomas believes. It's the John Kincaid Show here on 97.5, The Fanatic. Hey, my energy expert friends are at Beyond the Bulb. Instant revenue to your business's bottom line. They're going to help you save up to 30 to 40% of your energy costs by leveraging your energy incentives that are available to you from companies like Pico and PPL Energy right now. You're business is going to get a brighter bottom line. How? Because they've got the knowledge and the experience that are going to get you the most savings. What do they do? They get you the best products. They replace the lighting in your business. They get you the best products at the lowest cost guaranteed. And if you're a Pico or PPO Energy customer, you're going to get greener, more efficient lighting at little or no cost to you. So you improve your carbon footprint, you improve your bottom line, and you spend little or no money doing it. Why wouldn't you do this today? Go to onebeyondthebulb.com. That's the number one, beyondthebulb.com. Or dial them up at 484-246-6542 to see if you qualify today for a brighter bottom line. That's my friends at Beyond the Bulb. The John Kincaid Show. This is not a radio fantasy camp. We're on the air here. On 97.5, The Fanatic. Philadelphia. Today's show is presented by Philly Pretzel Factory, the official soft pretzel of the Philly sports fan, and now the official soft pretzel of the Philadelphia Eagles. It's the anniversary pricing event at Jeff D'Ambrosio Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram Destination Downingtown. Jeff is tired of hearing stories about car dealers overcharging and under-delivering. Why wait for a new vehicle and overpay when Jeff has over a 1,000 Jeeps, Rams, and more in stock and marked down with special anniversary savings? Jeff is the number one Ram dealer and the number one Jeep dealer in the tri-state for a reason. He always gives you more. Brand new Ram lease is starting at $199 per month. 0% financing for 72 months still available with Jeff. Savings as much as $10,000 off. The 40th anniversary pricing event is the biggest discount sales event in Jeff's history. Jeff D'Ambrosio is the number one dealer because his customers know Jeff always gives them better selection, better pricing, more for their trades, and wants his customers for life. Like me. It's the 40th anniversary pricing event going on now at Jeff D'Ambrosio Destination Downingtown. Call 610-269-9500 or gojeffauto.com. If you want it for less, you gotta see Jeff. It's time to roll out the red carpet for, well, new carpet. Right now at the Home Depot. Choose from hundreds of styles and colors from top brands. Plus, get free installation. So whether you want to brighten up your bedroom, add a little more cushion to your living room, or, yes, add some VIP flair to your hallway, you can get the perfect carpet to match your mood with free installation from the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Minimum purchase of $4.99. Exclusions apply. U.S. only. See store for details. Beasley Media Group is home to the Nemours Children's Hospital Help Our Kids Radiothon, September 22nd and 23rd. We're lucky to have a world-class hospital for kids right here where we live, and we're asking for your help. 100% of your donations benefit programs like Child Life, Art and Pet Therapy, and other great programs, all provided at no cost. The Nemours Children's Hospital Help Our Kids Radiothon. Learn more. Hear stories of hope and courage and how you can help by donating now. Go to Nemours.org slash Radiothon. The NFL action is in full swing at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. We're talking touchdowns, big plays, and even bigger wins. New customers can bet just $5 on any NFL team to win and get $200 in free bets if they do. If that's not enough, everyone can boost their winnings with DraftKings stepped-up same-game parlays. Right now, for every leg you add, you can boost your winnings up to 100% with bigger payouts than ever. Why bet on football anywhere? 
anywhere else. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code FANATIC to get $200 in free bets if your team wins when you place a $5 bet on any football game. That's code FANATIC only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Must be 21 or older, Pennsylvania only. Bonus issued as free bets. One boost per eligible game. Opt-in required. Parlay and wagering restrictions apply. Eligibility in terms of DraftKings.com slash football terms in partnership with Meadows Racetrack and Casino. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Drivers who switch and save with Progressive save over $700 on average, and those savings add up. Imagine what you could buy in the future. Hey, remember how 20 years ago I switched to Progressive? Well, now it's the future, and I used all those savings to buy this new hologram phone. Because, you know, it's the future, and everything is holograms now. So switch to Progressive and save big, because those savings can add up in the future. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. National annual average insurance savings by new customer surveyed who saved with Progressive in 2020. Potential savings will vary. It's Macy's VIP sale with an extra 30% off our latest fall arrivals and all the brands you love with your coupon or Macy's card. And get 15% off skincare, makeup, fragrance, and more of your beauty faves. Now at Macy's. And get contact-free curbside pickup or pickup in store today. Details at Macy's.com slash pickup. Savings off regular sale and clearance prices. Exclusions apply. Grab your seat at the virtual table for the World Series of Poker Online 2022. From September 11th to October 16th, you can sign up and play on WSOP.com or the World Series of Poker Real Money Online Poker app. This is your shot at a gold bracelet and a seat at the 2023 Tournament of Champions. Sign up and deposit with World Series of Poker using promo code RADIO22, and you'll get $50 in free play, a deposit match of up to $1,000 and more. Must be 21. Visit WSOP.com slash promotions for full terms. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, call one 800 Gambler. Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to find a needle in a haystack, but not with ZipRecruiter. Its powerful technology actively finds and invites qualified candidates to apply to your job. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you the needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Hey, it's Tyrone Johnson. There are two things that just go together. And if anybody wants to debate me, come on, bring it on. I'm talking about football and pizza. And now they go together even more because Papa John's has just introduced the all-new football pizza. It's a pizza in the shape of a football. It's Papa John's one-of-a-kind signature, sure-to-be-a-winner football pizza. Thin crust with extra pepperoni and melty cheese. And just like that, your game day got a little better. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Like many of you, I just love betting on the NFL, and I'm always finding new player or game props. And what's cool about FanDuel Sportsbook, in partnership with Valley Forge, is you can combine these props with other bets from the same game to score an even bigger payout. It's perfect for Sunday's game. Let's look at Washington and Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts over under passing yards. All right, he went over last week, had a whole bunch of them, but I think it's a running day. You might want to look at Miles Sanders. I'd go the over in his rushing yards, and maybe you want to go with touchdowns too. You can do same-game parlay. It's just one of the reasons I bet with FanDuel. It's so easy to use. They always have awesome odds boosts, and you get paid fast. Are you new to FanDuel? We'll get up to $1,000 in free bets if your first bet doesn't win with promo code BOB. That's promo code BOB. Make every moment more with FanDuel, official sportsbook partner of the NFL. 21 plus and present in Pennsylvania. First online real money wager only. $10 first deposit required. Bonus issued as non-withdrawable free bets that expire 14 days after receipt. Restrictions apply. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Now, back to the John Kincaid Show. This crew always says thanks for listening, and we actually mean it. The John Kincaid Show continues here on 97.5 The Fanatic and streaming on the 97.5 The Fanatic app. 97.5 The Fanatic. Philadelphia. John Kincaid Show on The Fanatic. We appreciate you being a part of the show. Tell your family, tell your friends. You're an idiot. Oh, my <laughs> life's talking, on. Sorry. Did you just call Jamie an idiot? I did. Yeah. In, a, in a kind way or not? Ah, I love Jamie. You know that. I know you do. Today's show is presented by Philly Pretzel Factory, the official soft pretzel of the Philly sports fan, and now the official soft pretzel of the Philadelphia Eagles. All coming up. 
In fact, we have a special visitor coming up in a few moments. From- Soft pretzels and Eagles football. That's what Philadelphia does. I got to tell you, during that last break, there was some hangry gentlemen out there. Yeah, I was gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we are. Outside of can on it. Yeah, we're like, we're like, it's it's like five minutes before game time, and we are ready to munch on some pretzels. That's because I'm figuring that Dan Dizio's coming in. Do you think Dan Dizio comes in and makes the delivery himself? That would be like the CEO delivering in your your Amazon package. So <laughs> Bezos yeah, shows up at comes your door. to your front steps. I don't think we're going to get Dan to actually deliver the pretzels to us this morning. Maybe. But Pat sort of said, well, if he was a real CEO, he would. I never once said that. Please don't. I thought it was. I thought you said that he would bring all the dips directly I'm, to you. I mean, I'm just happy that he's bringing dips at all. You mean he's coming? I'm a dipsman. You are a dipsman. He could do yeah. a little undercover boss, go there pick go. up the tray he and did. run it over. Did he? Uh, yeah, he was on one of the early episodes of Undercover Boss. Oh, oh is that's that right? Cool. Really? Yeah. Isn't that good? I like that show. Yeah, All right, we're getting uh, Pat's going to get Bram on the line here, and uh, we can get rolling because uh, every day in business is big is a big day, and Comcast Business gets you ready for what's next as the Eagles get ready to play the Commanders coming up on Sunday. Uh, Jamie, the scouting report again. If it was like an HGTV show, this place is like a, a fixer upper. FedEx? Would this be like, yeah, is this like a fixer upper? Going oh on? I mean, man, it is. It is a dump. You feel like you're back in the '90s again. I mean, literally the last two times I've been there, I've seen uh, leaking pipes in the concourse and the club level. I'm worried about that because Bram does his pregame show from the concourse. Uh, so do they have to have like an umbrella. Over yeah, he's, he's he's got a big thing. Like you see out by the pools, he's got a big umbrella over him to make sure it's not the case. Yeah, there's anything that it's just too big for what they draw. It's it's just a bad stadium. What, it's, do they put tarp on and everything? They did uh, cover up some of the upper-level seats there after a while uh, when they weren't a good football team. So what about now? Are they a good football team that they could open no, it up? I don't think so. No. I think Philly sports trips could literally, uh, you know. We could fill it for them. Maybe they could be, uh, maybe, commanders, maybe commanders sports trips could be a new thing where he brings actual commanders fans yeah. to the game. Bump, 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 bump. My buddy, Bram Weinstein, joins us here on the Comcast Business Hotline. Everything, every day in business is a big day. I visited Bram's show on Wednesday afternoon. I laid down the gauntlet that we were all coming. That we were coming down, and Bram couldn't have been more welcoming. You really couldn't have been more welcoming. You're, you're, you, you, you have a kind nature to you. It makes it almost like, it makes me almost dislike this rivalry. No, I mean, we, we don't mind if you guys come visit us. It's fine. I know that that's not, that's not returned in favor, for sure. Like, if we... <laughs> booked 28 buses and came up there wearing burgundy <laughs> that that might not be a pleasant experience not to suggest it won't but it's possible it no won't. it wouldn't be a pleasant experience we'll have a lovely time in our area there's a, a chance there's a chance though that they couldn't fill 28 <laughs> buses to get to the game on sunday <laughs> with people in burgundy <laughs> from the way things are going I, we, we've heard things about the stadium can I tell you something, John? Yes. So you come on my show, and then you mention, you know, that you guys are doing this, which is fine. I mean, that's sure. for motivational purposes, and I think we needed to be aware that this was happening. And then you, you tweet out that you said this, and now I'm being followed by the Philly sports fans, cruises, bus line, whatever it is, on Twitter now, and I'm like, what is happening? Well, you're a solid, <laughs> you're a solid follow, and, and you know what? Is Eagle fans, we're, we're paying attention to the commanders now. So I think that's actually, in a way, it's a Philly backhanded compliment that they're following you because they know that you are a, a good football mind and you may be a little misled by your commanders, but they but we now pay attention to the commanders because it, we believe that it's a legitimate competition now. Look, um, you know, it's funny because, you know, when, um, when the team changed the name, one of the things that I harped on a lot down here and that the team, you know, the, the new front office has been harping on too is that, just because we changed the name, we, we don't want to lose 90 years of history. It's the 90th anniversary of the team. Um, I think they played the giant. Oh, we lost Bram. Oh, I think you don't lose something like that. And the reality is, like, our two franchises are intertwined in ways that are, you know, very unique. Um, our, you know, we have two Hall of Fame quarterbacks. One of them started his career playing seven years in Philadelphia. And we are hoping, after being in the wilderness of quarterback land for 30-plus years, that your former number two overall pick is going to be the, the answer for us. Don't forget McNabb, so either. And McNabb. In a very interesting way. I'm ignoring that. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Bram, what, what do you see as the biggest mismatch in this game on Sunday between Washington and the Eagles? 
So I think the biggest problem Washington currently has is um, are they going to be disciplined enough to not allow big plays? And as you guys have already shown through a couple of weeks with um, the accuracy that Jalen Hurts has shown, which I think has been a touch surprising, maybe not to you all, but to us that have you know, watched him over the last couple of years, and the efficiency that they're running their offense, we're concerned. And so, you know, like the idea that they're not going to pop off some big runs, whether it's Hurts or Sanders or catch them uh, reading one of these RPOs the wrong way, I think would be foolish for us. We've given up more big plays than anybody. Um, so it's funny, like on the whole, it's like the coaches are trying to like paint this picture of it's only, a, you know, select few plays, but when it's six in one game and six account for 250 yards, you lose. So in watching Philadelphia, um, you know, there's a concern there, you know, like, like for sure we're going to give up something. Uh, oh, are you there, God. Bram? To get him back. We lost Bram. We'll try Car- to get him You think back. Carson hung up on him? I think Carson got to him. Yeah, killed the cell tower. Uh, we got what? you back. We got the you woogies. back now. Yeah, yeah. See, the woogies are getting in the phone line there. We lost you for a little bit there. So I mean, we're 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 getting after it. Bram yeah. Weinstein joining us here. Bram, I have commanders. a couple friends down there that are season ticket holders. Uh, I know what their feeling is, but what's the kind of overall fan uh, media vibe check here with Carson Wentz after two games? So he's really been excellent um, the first couple of weeks. I think we were, you know, listen, we heard everything that was said about him in Philadelphia and probably were on the other end of not too nice descriptions of him, you know, the way that it went down. Um, I think we were more shook when we acquired him than the fact that Indianapolis walked away after a year because that seemed like the writing was on the wall with what happened in Philadelphia, but it wasn't in Indianapolis. So. There's a lot of, you got to explain this to us, that was going on for about four to six months. Um, from all the personality stuff, it feels a little slanderous what was said about him now after spending, you know, six plus months with him. Um, that feels the character assassination part of it from Indianapolis, not necessarily from Philadelphia, but really more from Indianapolis, feels off to us, at least at this point. So we were really totally willing to clean slate all of that. And then on the field, listen, if you watched him play against the Colts and you guys lived it his last couple of years, this is an interesting decision that this guy's making on the field. We haven't seen a whiff of it. I mean, go watch him play the first couple of games and show me the bad decision that he's made. Um, he's really been excellent. He has stood up to all of the criticism. He has heard the same questions over and over and over and over. He has responded by saying, I'm a different guy now. I'm mature. I'm a family man. He seems to like living here. It's very actually rural in the area that you live. I know people don't think Washington that way, but like it is quite rural where he's out. He seems pretty comfortable with all of that. And, I mean, really, honestly, it could not have, from his perspective and our perspective, like, he's not the reason why we're one and one. Like, he's been excellent so far. And that's something that, uh, you know, you, you know you can sling it. You know he can sling it, but you also know when the center of the offensive line collapses around him, sometimes in the pocket he's been known to make some strange decisions. You know that's what the Eagles are going to do on Sunday. So how confident are you that the, the replacements on the offensive line and the shifting around of commander's talent is going to be able to be up to that challenge? I think they're going to be okay at center. Um, Trace Rulier, who's out, probably out for the year. They're saying just for uh, just short term IR now, but he he hurt his knee pretty badly over the weekend. So we're we're bracing for he won't be back. He's coming off a major injury last year, so the entire spring and summer, Wes Schweitzer hasn't been playing the first couple of weeks because he hurt his hamstring early in the season. He was the center um, throughout the entire off season. I'm not really totally worried about that part of it. Um, the offensive line is not as good on paper as it was a year ago. Certainly they did not replace Brandon Sheriff who left for whatever reason he left. We're still totally unsure why he wouldn't take their money, but he left. Um, and they have veterans that are rotating in Andrew Norwell and Trey Turner, who four or five years ago are pro bowl players, but it's four or five years of tread on the tires. So it's a concern. It's been a rotation since the start of camp. Um, down here, there's a lot of confidence in the offensive line coach, John Masco. They've gone through this for a couple of years. They've never been healthy on the offensive line, but they've been productive anyway. And, you know, like, I know the Eagles are bringing more pressure than they have. No one brings it like Team Chaotic in Detroit, who were rushing seven on first down multiple times and eight a couple of times. And again, I will go back to Wentz's, you could, you know, parse out Wentz's play. His decision-making has been excellent through the first couple of games. So I'd like to think he's not going to get rattled. 
That said, when however many thousands of people take buses down to Philadelphia for the sole purpose of jeering him on his home field, I'm not really sure how he's going to react to that, frankly. <laughs> My reaction is, that's cute. You don't think Carson's going to get rattled. We've seen it too many times here. But uh, just other differences in these team. Washington running game, If you know, obviously it's a big game for Carson Wentz. I think the way you calm it down a little bit is to look to the running game. Can Washington do that against this Eagles defense, do you feel, Bram? It has not been there the first two weeks. That's been one of the really, like, really difficult to understand, um, like, uh, starts to the season. They mm-hmm. they turned into a power run team by the middle of the season last year with Heineke, partially out of necessity because they just literally couldn't throw the ball down the field and they didn't have the weapons to really spread it out. Um, to start the season, we assumed um, that they would, you know, kind of lean on the run more than they have on the pass. It just has not been there. I mean, Antonio Gibson's averaging about three yards carry. They're not finding any run lanes. Um, it has not been a good start for the run game. I mean, they've become a very pass-oriented offense. It's not that they completely get away from it, but it's that's something that's going to have to develop for them as the season progresses. Because I agree with you. Like, they can't lean on him like he's Pat Mahomes. Like, we know that. We assumed they would be better on the ground. They had an unfortunate incident, you know, a few weeks ago with Brian Robinson, their their uh, third round pick, who was involved in a carjacking and got shot. Like amazingly, he may play in a couple weeks, but he's not playing this week, and he's not playing next week against Dallas. And he was supposed to be their primary between the tackles runner. So we thought everything would kind of be okay. I mean, Gibson's in a thousand yard back, so we thought everything would be okay. But so far, the run game. Um, it's not fooling anybody. I mean, every run gap is plugged, and, you know, he is not your traditional barrel, tough, physical runner between the tackles, and that's either going to have to change or they got to wait out until they get Robinson back. Yeah, Bram, I know Cam Curl's returning this weekend to action, which should help the secondary out. Uh, how's the sec- secondary been performing, uh, in your opinion, this year, uh, and how do you think they'll deal with A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, and Dallas Goddard? So um, that's been a, I mean, it's really the whole thing's been big plays, all of it. Like, it's a mistake here, a mistake there that, you know, they lost Amon Ross St. Brown on a play where he's literally wide open with nobody within 15 yards of him on a play up the middle. They lost him on an end around for a 59 yard play. Outside of that, you know, if you could say that, outside of that, you know, like, they're, they've been, I would describe it as okay. Um, Curl has not played yet this year. He's a big deal for their defense. This team will, and I would assume, especially with Philadelphia's run attack, that they've done a lot of this five defensive linemen, one linebacker, three safety set. I would expect to see a lot of that this weekend. Now that Curl is back and they can actually implement it, I think they're going to see a lot of it. Curl kind of turns into a linebacker. He's kind of replacing the Landon Collins role that was there from a year ago. Their safeties are very physical. Derek Forrest has had a really good start. He's second-year guy. He's kind of replacing Collins and kind of had to be his literal replacement for the first couple of weeks. Curl's an integral part in the middle of the field from just a physical standpoint and for options to get to the quarterback. He's very good off the edges to get uh, Woody Blitzen. So I think that's a big deal. Um, William Jackson the third, I would describe him, who's supposed to be their number one corner in a year plus here as average, um, and he's going to have to do better. They don't move their corners. So in general, I you know I couldn't tell you how they're going to line up against your receivers because it's really going to be dependent on where you line them up. But um, you know the corner play has a little left to be desired. In the end, though, and I think this team knows this, they've got to get more pressure. They have an expectation that their front four is going to do consistently better than they have in the last year plus. And if that starts happening, they'll be okay. And if it doesn't, it means they're going to start bringing a lot more heat, not unlike some of the other teams. They've been resistant to do it, and I think it's kind of left them hung out to dry. Bram, knowing knowing from doing shows with me on the network, uh, you know that I'm not the type to rattle cages or be a nudge. Um, but like, it, it doesn't. You you have no problem with uh, you know Philly fans coming out and seeing your pregame show on the concourse too, right? Come on down. Why not? <laughs> They're going to come and see it. They're going to come and see it. And, and they'll, they'll be we're in their a quiet bunch. Behavior. Yeah, we're a real quiet bunch. It's going to be nice and quiet. What are, you, what are you insinuating is going to happen? I don't know. I mean, yeah. it's just they like to spell. They like to cheer. They like to. Hey, Bram, we, uh, we appreciate you making time for us today. And what do you think is going to happen on Sunday? I think it's going to be a close game. Um, be, I'll leave you kind of with this. Sure. Like, trust me in, in talking to the coaches and the players yesterday. They are aware of what everyone thinks is going to happen, 
And there's kind of nothing more motivating than when you're being told you're going to get routed on your home field. And I would describe the, the feeling at the park when I was down there the last couple of days as the season officially begun, just in terms of the intensity that you can feel coming from the practices and what the coaches are saying. So I don't know whether they win or not. I'm not like they wouldn't go that far, but I expect a very physical and very close game on Sunday. All right, we'll see you Sunday on the concourse, I promise. Look forward see to you, man. see you there. Take care, man. Bram Weinstein joining us on the Comcast Business Hotline, the voice of the commanders. We shall see on Sunday afternoon. I have a feeling the buses, I'm going to lead all the bus people that we can to go to their <laughs> pregame show. He says, you're not like that to be a nudge. Yeah, you know? yeah. We're going to be nudges. We'll be nudges. Uh, the uh, Philly Pretzel Factory took over the show today. The official soft pretzel the Philly sports fan has always been the mantra. If they want to take over every day, I'm totally cool with that. You're all right with that. Yeah, oh, yeah. How about uh, the Philly Pretzel Factory now, the official soft pretzel of the Philadelphia Eagles? <gasps> Yes. As if there was any question, Dan Dizio in studio with us. Yes, excited to be here. Yes. Did you deliver food yourself? You still do this? I still do this, yes. <laughs> I wear a lot of hats, and uh, it was easier just to grab them and want to make sure they were top-notch pretzels for you guys. Oh, we guarantee that. Best. Dan, congratulations. The association with the Eagles, though. Very cool. That's a really, that's a big deal. There wasn't any other competition. One of our, our bosses said the other day, there's no competition for the Philly Pretzel Factory <laughs> well, I in this market. That. Yeah, I but, appreciate that. But being associated with Eagles is a really, really good thing. And I know you guys are a company that is involved in the community. You're uh, a company that is out there, you know, reaching out and, and, and being part of the fabric of every neighborhood you're in. Absolutely. Yeah. For me, it's a dream come true to, you know, I, if you didn't know the story, my, I used to sell pretzels on the street corner. And that's how I got in this business 40 years ago. And to think that I'd be opening a bakery up. And that's what we're not reheating pretzels over there. Nope. We're actually baking the pretzels on the premises oh. there. Um, so they're hot out of the oven when you go get them. But for me, it was a surreal moment on Monday night to go to the game and, and see a, a pretzel factory there and, uh, you know, see pretzels that's pretty coming cool. out of the oven there. It was pretty I, neat. I, 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 I'm not kidding you. I went, I think it was two weeks ago, to get pretzels at our local store, Philly Pretzel Factory. And the guy was like, yeah, I'll be with you in a minute. I said, no, dude, take your time. I love watching these guys make the pretzels out of the fresh dough coming out. Yeah. Like, uh, you, you say it. You give them to us, and they're piping hot. Like, it's hot. It's hard to carry to the car. They're so hot. Yeah, that's part of it. I mean, that's really what we try to do is these hot out of the oven, fresh pretzels, uh, different than what you're getting out of the stores. Because let's be honest, it's a pretzel, and we want to make sure it's incredible pretzel. And when you come in our stores, you're getting it right out of the oven or close to it. I went to a beer festival like a month ago, and there's a Philly pretzel truck there, and they're coming out hot. Yeah, we have a truck with some ovens on there yeah. as well. Yeah, uh, that's doing a great really deal. well. A lot of weddings, bar mitzvahs, yeah. different uh, parties. People uh, reserve it for it's awesome. Pat's about to go to rehab. Pat Egan in there, wave to uh, Pat there. Uh, uh, Pat, uh, Pat's about <laughs> yeah. to go to rehab for the dips. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll be gone. You know what's funny too. I, you won't believe this, but I'm sorry to say this. I brought the mustards, brought everything else. I forgot to grab the bag. Pat's leaving. For, uh, for the <laughs> Pat, Pat's leaving. So no everything dips. Else, but no dips. Pat I'll, controls I'll your mic, Dan. So Pat I'll controls your mic. He's the I delivery mean, driver. You think yeah. this is funny? <laughs> <laughs> you think he this is, is a game? He They're so good they can stand them. alone. They are. Um, Dan, one of the things that, uh, that's great, too, I always think about Philly Pretzel Factory is the quality control. Because I've got one now near my new home. I got one, and my mom used to go to your Broomall location, yeah. and she would go in, and Bob would say it the other day, like, uh, who was it asking the other day? Who goes in and gets one pretzel? My mom was that lady. Oh, wow. Would drop, yeah. in, drop in, just wanted a pretzel. She didn't want to get three or four. Mm -hmm. She wanted one. Okay. And she'd go in there, and they're always blasting the tunes, and Broomall's a wild location. Yes. But quality control, everywhere I've ever gone, Philly Pretzel Factory is consistent. Well, and I think I, that means I a lot really, for the brand. It means a lot to the brand myself, and I think it's a um, you know really says a lot about the training department, the ops department that we have at Philly Pretz Factory. We're surrounded with some great franchise people, and really do a great job of that and uh, keeping it consistent. So it's true, you did undercover boss. I'm sorry, Bob. No. Yeah, yeah, that's over awesome. 10, a little over ten years ago, yeah, and uh, can't believe it's been ten years already. Yeah, it's. it's it was a great experience. Did you school. fire anybody? No, I did not. Because sometimes they always have the employee that ends up getting fired. Because, or he's eating the Prada. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. that, that probably was the biggest problem. Yeah, I was really fortunate. I had really good people. Uh, maybe they weren't Nobody all Nobody recognized right you? Thing. I actually did get caught. One person, that you know, they bleach blonde my hair. Put con blue contacts in retainer, <laughs> um, so I, I think they gave up on the retainer after the first day. Because as you can tell, my pronunciation's not that great. I got a little bit of slang and <laughs> uh, slur, and uh, you know when they had the retainer, and I really didn't make sense. So I think they said, "Let's get rid of the retainer and try to." John, the enough. one 
the one location was the Broomall location. Yes, it was. Yeah. It was? So they yeah. went to Broomall for yeah. it? Yeah, there was a yeah. guy that was working there. He was like really hard worker. Yeah, and really oh, that's awesome. Marcus. How many stores do you have now? There's 170 stores. That's incredible. Wow. Yeah. How do you how do you huh. how do you keep an eye on them though? Because well, I mean, like as far as to to make sure the quality doesn't drop. Right. Because it's huge yeah, and it's successful. Course. Yeah. Well, we're we're in the stores a lot, so we're visiting stores. We have field support reps that go and visit stores um, on a regular basis, so they're in there making sure things right. are done right. Again, training, training, training uh, is part of it. So you know that is the the hard part about it, but you know that's what really makes a great franchise. Dan, I'm known for a shakedown when we have people come to the studio. So uh, look, I mean, you got Philly Pretzel Factory. Now you're associated with the Eagles. So now I imagine there's a gate where Dan Dizio just shows up and goes, "Hey." And they, like, I'm open here, the yeah. gate and he lets in. <laughs> Invite did, us anytime. But I'm selfish about the gate. listeners. Yeah. So you got to have some clout, some pull. How about doing something for the listeners of the John Kincaid Show? Well, you know what we're going to do is we are going to uh, offer two tickets to the Dallas game. What? That is That's awesome. That's awesome. That's a nice prize. Yes. All right, what, what, is there a number that you're partial to, 1 to 10? 7. 215-263-0975. 215-263-0975. You must tell Haley you love Philly Pretzel Factory when she answers your call. When she says your call or seven, you need to say, if you don't, Haley, hang up on him and go to the next one. Prime kinda, time tickets. I was kind of hoping he was going to say the number of stores that he has. Because it's uh, yeah. 170. Uh, Are you trying to do that to Haley? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Sorry, we, the 135th caller. Keep yeah, trying. we love being associated with Philly Pretzel Factory. And congratulations. Yeah, thank you, On the guys. new brand awareness. You guys do a great job for us. You really, 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 everybody talks about it when I see people. I hear you on the awesome. radio on Friday. Well, you keep feeding us. You're an easy, yeah, so, yeah. You're an easy sell. <laughs> yeah, it's a, yeah, it really is an yeah. easy sell. Well, thanks a lot, guys. I mean, thanks, I really Dan. Appreciate it. We Dan, appreciate thanks. it, and we're going to look forward to eating some stuff right now. Here's Jamie and Bob knocking people over to get out of here. I can promise you that. Yeah. Hey, we have a lot coming up in the final hour of the show. After what the Eagles did to Kirk Cousins, what are they going to do to Carson Wentz? We'll get to it next. John Kincaid Show on 97.5 The Fanatic. And you know, if you love the Eagles... And you know that we do. Be sure to get the official soft pretzel of the Philadelphia Eagles this weekend for the game. Philly Pretzel Factory. You know that feeling. When you go to a party and right there on the food table is that big warm tray of Philly Pretzel Factory pretzels. It's a joyous occasion. My favorite word in the English language. Because you know that game day and a soft pretzel just go together in this city like nothing else. And we love Philly Pretzel Factory. They're awesome. And no matter who's coming over, you know that everyone's going to love Philly Pretzel Factory. And they get a party tray that'll fit your needs. Find the store nearest you at phillypretzelfactory.com. It's Philly Pretzel Factory, the official soft pretzel of the Philly sports fan, and now the official soft pretzel of your Philadelphia Eagles. The John Kincaid Show on 97.5 The Fanatic. Philadelphia. Want to win a trip to the Meadowlands to see the birds take on New York? We are giving away a trip for four to City Field for the December 11th game. Trip includes travel on a chartered bus, awesome tailgate with hundreds of birds fans, and group seating to watch the game. Stop by the Philly Sports Trip Tent at FanFest October 1st. Register for your chance to win, courtesy of phillysportstrips.com. Travel with the pros. Is today your lucky day? You bet. Because the new Bet Parks app is everything you want in a digital casino and sports book. It's easy to sign up, fun to use, and faster to win than ever before. And all new Bet Parks app users can choose between a $20 casino bonus or a $20 free sports bet. Which begs the question is this the most rewarding casino and sports book betting app ever? You bet. Bet Parks. Gambling problem? Call 1 800 Gambler. Terms and conditions apply. Pennsylvania and New Jersey only. This is Parks. This is how you roll. This is how it goes. This is how you pop. This is how you rock. Take a chance, do a dance, little romance. This is how you. This is how you excite. This is how you all night. 360 hit me. Now we're going all in. I can feel it calling. The crowd, the light, the night, the sights, the vibe is right. Parks, Pennsylvania's number one casino experience. This is how you win. Must be 21 gambling problem. 1 800 gambler. Hey, this is Brian, and I'm the owner of Valley Grove Construction. We are expanding our team and hiring skilled and creative carpenters. As a company that truly values its talented carpenters, we prove it with top dollar pay starting at $30 an hour, a healthy work life balance an aggressive 401k plan, a generous vacation package, paid holidays, and even a $100 weekly travel allowance. You heard me right. That's over $5,000 a year to help with gas and vehicle expenses. If you're interested in a variety of carpentry work, like framing additions, setting kitchen cabinets, tiling bathrooms, 
basement remodeling, and historical restoration, then apply today at valleygroveconstruction.com and click the Join Our Team link. If you're tired of not working with great people, not doing the skilled work that you're capable of, or maybe you're self-employed and you're just tired of chasing down all of your suppliers for the materials that seem to never come in, then apply today at valleygroveconstruction.com. That's valleygroveconstruction.com and click the Join Our Team link. Progressive presents Don't Do It Yourself. Okay, read me the manual. Using a Phillips screwdriver, plain to jihauba, busy fit sits. What was that? Plain to jihauba, busy fit sits. Uh, this sounds like another language to me. Okay, maybe we should bundle our home and auto with Progressive. We could save big, then pay someone to do it for us. Maybe. What's next? Next, Pony Ostium Pronus and Terra. Was that one Latin? Save when bundling home and auto with Progressive and use the money to, you know, not do it yourself. Coverage from Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and third party insurers. Bundle discount not available in all states or situations. When Big Mobile charges you an arm and a leg, they're taking your money and your power. And your arm and leg. Boost Mobile gives your power back with an unlimited plan for $25 a month on one of America's largest 5G networks. We can't give you back your arm and your leg because we're not qualified surgeons. Unless you're an iguana who can grow limbs back. Switch to Boost and get an unlimited plan for $25 a month. Boost Mobile. Unleash your power. New customers only. One line, $25 per month with auto pay. Additional restrictions apply. See BoostMobile.com for details. Hey guys, it's Andrew. At CSL Plasma, you can make up to $825 this month when you donate plasma at any of CSL Plasma's tri-state area donation centers. That's money in your pocket for doing a great deed. Plasma donations help create therapies to treat patients with rare and serious diseases and the process, it's similar to donating blood. For locations and info on how you can donate plasma and earn up to $825 this month, visit CSLplasma.com. Walk-ins are welcome. CSL Plasma, good for you, great for life. Hey there, casino fans. I'm here to let you know that the new BetRivers.com casino app is here. It's got lots and lots of exciting slots and table games to play, fast payouts, and a rewards program you'll love. Plus, with award-winning customer service, the excitement never stops. So get ready, casino lovers, to experience the BetRivers.com difference you can trust. It's a whole new game. Download it today. Presented by Rivers Casino Philadelphia. Must be 21. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Jason Bottoms, Led Zeppelin Evening, live. An unforgettable evening of Led Zeppelin's greatest hits and deepest cuts. Saturday, November 26th, Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, Atlantic City. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. Jason Bottoms, Led Zeppelin Evening, Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, Atlantic City. Hey, it's Cuz. Kick off the fall with a new look for your kitchen during Colonial Marble and Granite's Harvest Sale. Save 20% off all marble, granite, and quartz countertops. Get a fully installed kitchen sink and faucet package for just $499, valued at $1,200. Stop in over the weekend. Get 25% off all tiles. Let their sales pros guide you through the process from selection to installation. These game-winning deals end September 25th. Visit ColonialMarble.net and tell them, Sent you. It's way too nice outside to eat dinner at home. Take the family out to PJ Wellahan's tonight. Whether you're into wings and burgers or craving a fresh salad, they got everything for everyone. We love our local PJs. Hey, this is Bob Cooney, and this is the Game Plan for Victory, brought to you by Live Casino and Hotel Philadelphia. What's your game plan this weekend? Well, mine is the running game on Sunday versus the Washington Commanders, a team that has allowed 157 yards per game on the ground so far. My game plan, give the ball to Miles Sanders early and often and sprinkle in some Kenny Gainwell and some Boston Scott also. That's a game plan for a win, I think. Do you need a game plan for a winning weekend? Well, Live Casino and Hotel has you covered with world-class gaming, luxury hotel accommodations, and premier dining and entertainment. Plan your game day at Live Casino. On Sunday, meet and greet Jeremiah Trotter at Sports and Social, where he'll be taking photos and signing autographs. Enjoy giveaways, contests, and food and drink specials every game day at Live Casino and Hotel. For more information on what's happening at Live, visit LiveCasinoPhilly.com. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. WPEN Burlington, Philadelphia. A beastly media group station. Home of the most entertaining sports talk in Philadelphia. 97.5. The Fanatic. Philadelphia. The John Kincaid Show. The show's a hit. Yes, the critics love it. On 97.5. The Fanatic. Philadelphia. 
It's been a long week. Really long week. You're a little perturbed. Maybe you didn't get the dip you wanted at work. And maybe it's time that you finally made that career change that you've been looking for. Maybe it's finally time that you embrace it. You walk in today and you dance right in the boss's face. Thrust that pelvis. And you know what you say? <laughs> I've had enough. Rusty. Rusty. You know what? What are we going to do, Bobby? Take Rusty, this baby. job and shove it. it. It's been shove a bad week. That's what we're going to tell the commander, Sonny. It's... Why did I have to drag you in here? You he know this is my favorite part of the week. He was, he was all, all pretzel pretzeled out. out. He but was he, all pretzel. out. He had a me do it again. A horrendous pretzel take, though. I don't know if he can ever recover he, from he, it. By the way... Uh, He's the only person I know that doesn't like the knot. I love the knot. The knot's the best part of the soft pretzel. I think it's a spectacular part of the pretzel. Ah, it's I, where It doesn't they taste meet. any different. No, but it's doubled oh, up. No, 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 yeah. it does. And there, it usually there. collects a good amount of salt. I think yeah. it collects the salt, and it also collects a, um, I think some of the, maybe the butter that they, yeah. they sort of pools in there. The knot's the best part of the soft pretzel. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know your knot take here, Pat. Pat What's the deal? Psych- Pat may be a psychopath. Just, I'm not a huge fan of the knot is all. That's all. Oh, what? boy. Huh. You mean you don't like it better than the rest of the pretzel? You're a fan of it because you're a fan of the pretzel. I eat it. it I don't throw it away. I absolutely He doesn't eat it. throw Especially, it away. Look, I mean, Philly Pretzel Factor, it's a premier pretzel right there, so it, it tastes great. But, but it's the knot. But I'm not like, I don't say, like you said. It's like meat closer what, to the bone. It just tastes what better. What started this was you said you always save the knot for last. Yeah. While I do that, I don't look forward to the knot. Wow. I look forward to the to He's the not that guy. <laughs> I'm not, yeah. I realize that this isn't a, a popular take. That's an odd take. take. That's yeah. an odd take. It's, a it's take. not a great one. Like, I'll admit it. But you know what? Social media no content. Listening. Some social media content on that would be good. Yeah, about, about 300 words uh, on What do uh, people think about? Do you want the middle of the pretzel? I think the middle of the pretzel, Jamie, you are absolutely correct. Yeah, people hey. can relate to that web content. It really is. It is the hottest part of a pretzel. Pew, pew. Where are you going to join uh, the uh, morning show crew on Sunday that doesn't attend the game down in D.C.? Uh, or in It's 25 Atlanta minutes from Maryland. everywhere. It's the nexus of the universe. It's time out on Pine, on uh, Pine Road in Huntington Valley. Uh, looking forward to it. I'll be coming straight from the shore, uh, but it's going to take me 25 minutes from the shore. Apparently. It really is. It's 25 yeah. minutes from everywhere. Yeah, so come out and join us. Great TVs, great food. It's a good place to... Uh, to come out and get your pregame started. And thank you to FanDuel for sponsoring us and being able to do that on Sundays at prime time on at prime time out on prime. I got my pine. 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 You're all time, out. Out. time out. Time out. Let me do this again. At time out on pine. There you go. Yeah. That's the way it goes. I had a mouthful of pretzel. Well, I mean, that, Preps, that's fine. We all know how you love eating on air, Bob. We can do that. Oh, it pisses By the Coach way, off so bad. Now they're saying scattered thunderstorm developing later in the day. Ooh. So I'm thinking that's good. What, in Washington? In on? Washington. Oh, well, well. Landover, Maryland. 3.30 is later in the day, right? Eh, hopefully it's over by then. I want Carson Wentz in the mud. I don't want to be out in the rain, so I'd rather have it be nice. Well, Thank I'll you be uh, comfortable in my own house. So, you will be. Um, yeah, I, I might watch I, the first half with Pat at timeout on Pine. Oh, can't get it out today. <laughs> it's, it's like, I can't. Just it's like a it's like a tongue twister. Pat, for I think we I think we created a you know something special last time when we watched the first half of the Eagles Lions well, game no, together. We, Let's do it again. We watched all the first quarter. And Don't poo poo it. Seven minutes left in the second. I had to be home by halftime, and good thing I was because there was police activity on my block. Yeah, it's by the way, something. Scotty does not like uh, when we eat. He says it makes him terribly hungry, and he is trying to lose weight. <laughs> yeah. Scotty goes, I love your show, but when you guys start talking, he says, all I can think about now is pulling into the Philly Pretzel Factory in Marlton area. Just do it. And going and getting One pretzel. Treat yourself. Feels, about it, just do it. Yeah. He feels tough. Right, exactly. It's so now, weekend. So now you're telling him to be a fatty, is what you're saying. No, I'm just trying. Like, he's trying to do something. He's trying to lose weight. They're I'm, like there's well, like, there's like zero carbs in these things. Yeah, they're I didn't realize they're that. healthy yeah, for you. Drink a light yeah, beer with it. I mean, you know, <laughs> the Philly pretzel is basically a vegetable. Now Bob's pushing. I'm the, growing them in my Bob's garden. Bob's pushing next summer. the beer too I, with the pretzel. I mean, as part of this for him, it's nine in the morning. He can't do that. He can't, you know, he can't. I gotta say, why not? Life's too short. Uh, right? You know, I mean, who doesn't like a good cold beer? I don't. Uh, I don't have to look at the clock to see what time it is. Delicious. By the way, the taps. At P.J. Wellahan's last night in Haddonfield, New Jersey. I can tell. I, I love draft beer. I don't really dig canned beer at all. Hate canned beer. And bottled beer I'll tolerate. I always prefer a draft beer. The taps at that P.J. Wellahan's, spectacular. I can tell a clean tap. 
I can just taste it in a drink. That is, they have sparkling clean taps. Whoever cleans those taps. Well, whatever beer. What, what were we drinking last night? The Cane uh, Head Cane High? Cane Head High, yeah. Yeah, I followed Bob on his beer order. It tasted delicious, so I'll agree with you. It yeah. was really, really good. I don't think I've ever had a... I'm not being an idiot here. I don't think I've ever had a bad beer somewhere. And I maybe really? had a beer that oh, I didn't you like. Know. Uh, you no. know, you uh, understand. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> I've never. That's a bartender. You, yeah, you can. And you Bob, know. clean you. You're. Uh, you're. You. You have to clean it, right? Yeah, I clean, clean my yours. taps at home. Yeah, we have a, a kit, and I clean the taps. Uh, yeah, we Cousin, just actually, I just did it before this keg. Cousin Ryan saying you cannot drink all day. If you don't start if you don't in, the morning, in the morning, right? Yeah. So he's it, being an achiever. He knows. Hey, the nine o'clock hour. of The show is brought to you by the Baxter. It's a dumpster in a bag. You can get yours today at Home Depot and Lowe's. And for details, go to Bagster.com. I got a question for you, and it comes from a YouTuber. Okay. Brandon. What, Brandon? What's up, buddy? It's like, is JK going to talk about the mustache growth, or what's going on here? Oh, hey, I you just... do have a little fuzz. Yeah, look at you. Now oh, you you shaved down to a goatee. I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No? No, I haven't oh, shaved. Oh, you just don't in... grow hair on the side of your face? I haven't shaved in... No, I really don't. No, I, I'm no, not making no, fun. I, like, no, uh... I really don't. I mean, it's not... Uh, I just haven't shaved since... Uh, Tuesday morning. You're going to let it go? I think you got to have the mean look Playoff going down to mustache? Washington. Do it. Now, now, you know what's the crazy thing is that... Does Christina my, like it? Prison my, John. My bride likes it when I go scruffy. And I he hate likes it. the scruffy. I hate it when I go scruffy because I think it looks sloppy. But today... Well, to us I, scruffy people out today, here, screw I, you. But today, I knew I'm going to my alma mater tonight for the O'Hara Bonner game. Oh, nice. Where I will be the uh, announcer in the stadium tonight. I'm the guest announcer. So it'll be... First down O'Hara at the Bonner 32. <laughs> that was a six-yard game by Billy Big Nuts. Did you study the roster? I, I studied I've studied the roster, and what I would like to thank O'Hara and Bonner for is that there's a lot of good Delco kids that have really normal names. Yeah. That, it, it's, it, thank God. It's simple. You got some the, Smith, Johnsons, and Murphys there? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh-huh, it, good. It, that's, that's the announcement for it now, so... But uh, Bonner, congratulations to them too. I did not, I didn't even realize, truthfully, that they had merged with Bonner Prendy now. Yeah. So it's Bonner Prendy mm-hmm. because it was uh, now. Now Bonner officially has girls in their school. Always thought they did <laughs> before <laughs> they merged, but now they officially have it. It's O'Hara Bonner tonight, and it's not feisty. I haven't even texted Anthony Beck yet to just taunt him on this game. Oh yeah. So he he he's the biggest Bonner. He's a Bonner guy that I like. Don't have a lot of Bonner. Don't cross a lot of Bonner lines where <laughs> a lot of Bonner guys that I have good relationships with. I don't I, know about I you. I don't know a ton. You're Arch Rival High School, Bob. You have guys that you're good friends with from Arch Rival High Schools. No, there's I, something I, about it. I, well, I, I mean, I have friends that went to other high schools. Yeah, yeah but I made um, friends with prep guys in college. Yeah, back in the day uh, when I coached high, uh, high school ice hockey, Teddy Dolan was the What's coach. Up, Teddy? Was the coach of the uh, Bonner program. One of the best coaches in the area. Freaking incredible coach. I loved... I got more up for the Bonner game than my kids did. Because I just had the Bonner hate. Because it was just, you know, bred into me from the time being an O'Hara guy. So I'm glad to be there tonight. And I'm wearing the uh, O'Hara pullover today. Getting ready for it. So it should be a big game tonight. Look forward to seeing some of you guys out there tonight. Uh, As we begin the 9 o'clock hour. Let me just say this. uh, That... After what the Eagles secondary did to Kirk Cousins on Monday night, they confused him. And going from the day after press conferences and everything, the Eagles did things defensively, and I'm quoting, uh, they did things defensively that they didn't expect to see. And they tried to make adjustments to them, but at times Kirk Cousins was a bit put off by it. They have a, they, Now they get ready for Carson Wentz on Sunday. Question is... How do you attack Wentz? He has been blitzed 34 times more than any other quarterback in the league. But he's produced 650 yards passing, and he's the ninth best QB passer rating in the league. And he's one of the leading touchdown passers in the league. So they're blitzing the hell out of Wentz. And he's getting the yards. He's getting touchdown passes. Is it worth going with that same aggressive game plan? Or do you play it more like you did with Cousins, where you're just not jailbreaking all the time? How do you do it? Yeah, I I don't. First of all, I don't see Jonathan Gannon jailbreaking all the time against pretty much anyone. You know, I just don't think it's really in his DNA. He's not Dan Campbell. I think what he did really well against uh, uh, the other night against Kirk Cousins was that he, he pick and chose his spots really well of when to bring a blitz. 
you know, unsuspected. Um, um, here comes kind of out of nowhere, disguised well. I, I thought he did a really good job of that. I, with Carson Wentz, I kind of go with, with what Jamie said. I'd do the press coverage. I would I would make him make the heart throws. Like Bram was talking about, he's been, his word, excellent. He's been excellent in his decision-making is what he said about Carson Wentz. Okay, you have to kind of try to confuse him then. Uh, you Maybe you, you, you uh, mix in uh, man and zone every once in a while, whatever it may be. But blitz heavy, no. Get after him has to be a priority. Yeah, I, I, I'm pressing at the line. I, Are you pressing more than they did against Cousins? Uh, that worked beautifully. Try that out until it's not working. Um, I just want Carson Wentz trying to play hero ball. Uh, and the the more covered guys are, Slay, Bradbury, and Maddox are up for the challenge of these three. Uh, you know, De- Do- excuse Dotson. me, Dotson, Samuel, and McLaurin is a pretty nasty room, as we've discussed. Uh, but I think they're up for it. And they showed you last week, Adam Thielen and Justin Jefferson wasn't a big concern. So I don't want to see that soft coverage. They have some speedsters. All all three of these guys can move. Uh, I I play man. You know, with Epps kind of kind of Roman and try to make Carson Wentz play hero ball because that's where he screws up. Why do I think Pat's <laughs> going to have a differing opinion on this? Than no. Us? No? No, I pretty much would echo exactly what Jamie said. You need to make life uncomfortable for, for Carson Wentz to make him at least, at the very least, think he needs to play hero ball because he, he plays some horrible ball when he has to play hero ball. So It I, certainly I isn't them, his strength. Yeah, I want to see them get after him, uh, make life uh, miserable for him and flush him out of the pocket and – He's going to be able to beat you with his legs because he's he's a pretty mobile quarterback. But uh, the more he gets hit, the more likely he is to uh, to make dumb decisions with the football. It's a uh, going to be a huge game, and obviously you want to see. I just want to see a good follow up from Monday night that we don't see them uh, look at. Uh, the only thing that's bothered me is honestly is the fourth quarter, late in the third quarter, fourth quarter against the Lions. Just that stretch when they went up 17. Yeah. And then when they went up 17 Monday night, I loved it. Like, even though there were a few sloppy moments, I, I loved what I saw. That's that's all I'm hoping yeah, for. Yeah, I would have liked some more second-half points. Uh, it's nitpicking after a 24-7 win, but they did uh, kind of get held in check there in the second half. I mean, Nick Sirianni even said it. Yeah, we took our foot off the pedal a little bit. Uh, so hopefully they learn from that. And, you know, if they do get out to a lead here, uh, just just run Miles Sanders down their throat until they stop it. You know, that shouldn't be surprising, though, uh, that the defense laid off in, in the fourth quarter against Detroit, that the offense in, you know, the latter part of the game laid off against Minnesota because I, I, I do think we talked about gassed and tiredness in the first game. I do think that's conscious in their minds. If they can get somehow keep them fresh during a game, and if that means playing a prevent defense, if that means running the ball and maybe only having five plays a series as opposed to blitzing, you know, not blitzing on the offensive side, but running around all over and trying to go after a defense, I think it's a concentrated effort on their part. Because with their receivers, I could see if you do the jailbreak stuff that it, it, Carson could make you pay. Yeah. That you're making it easier for him to make a big play that could make you pay. Yeah. I play a little closer to the vest. I would just try to be collapsed in that pocket from the middle. Yeah, uh, I mean the linebackers have done a really good job. Uh, the other guy that's not mentioned is their tight end, obviously. Uh, but the linebackers have been doing a really good job in coverage. So uh, you know, trust your players to make plays. I, I, I just make him throw into tight windows. Make him make him scram, scramble and extend plays because that's when you force him into turnovers. We've seen it a million times. If you're pursuing him from behind and he feels the pressure. You can get a strip sack really easily on this guy. So, you know, hopefully there's a big turnover on two on Sunday. All right, it's the final stretch of the uh, Philly season. And, you know, the final stretch in the John Kincaid show is always presented by Stretch Zone. Your body deserves a good stretch. At Stretch Zone, you're going to get a great one. Book your free 30-minute stretch session today at StretchZone.com. And literally, you just go into your Stretch Zone. You tell them you want your 30-minute free session. Call them. You can set up an appointment, get your free session. You will absolutely love it. Tell them that we sent you, and you're going to feel great. I did my second one the other day. I'm doing another one next week. I absolutely absolutely love it. I feel like I am much just looser. Like it, it really Stretching's runs. great. I don't know how to stretch. You're walking with an attitude lately. I noticed strut, it. Little, yeah, little, like a little strut you have going wide. on. Yeah. yeah, the chest one is out. My, you can uh, tell you're stretched. My New Year's resolution was to stretch before bed every night, and I didn't. 
By the way, you know you're, spo- you know you're supposed to stretch, they say, in the morning. Yeah, I got yeah. these awesome set of stretch exercises when my when my back started to be pretty bad from, uh, you know, all the playing of ball on concrete. All right. And it is really cool. And, yeah, the laziness of everyone, you get away from it and all. But when I find myself feeling my best is when I'm consistently doing my stretching in the morning at night. Yeah. It really does. It helps you out. Go into your local stretch zone. They'll take great care of you. I wanted to shift this today because we hadn't done this. Uh, the morning mind bender. According to a recent survey by TripAdvisor, oh. 51% of us never do this when we travel. Buy insurance. I never buy that insurance. Yeah, I would say that number would be that's higher. A great yeah, that's probably higher. Uh, that's never probably do this when you travel. I'll say check a bag. Oh, that's, that's good. a great one, too. Yeah, because there's so much business travel. Uh, I'm going to say tip the maids. Because I know a lot of guys who do not who stay multiple nights in a hotel and say, well, "What are you tipping maids for? They're just doing their job." Always tip the maid. Couple I'll bucks. say fly. Oh, I'll say a lot of people don't like don't the fly, fly, so they'll either train it or, or fifty hey, one. That is a lot. You're right. But like in my house, if you take the two adult, well, it's nine kids. Me and Donna, she would she would rather do anything but fly. And you save them. And my wife would rather not fly. Also, huh. what do we got, Coachy? All great answers. None of them right. Well, shut up, then. The answer is... <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, Turn your mic off. What is the answer, The answer coaching? is uh, people do not unpack their bag. They live out of their suitcase oh, that's for the just, entire time. That's serial killer I've done. No, I've done that a bunch. How I don't, long? I don't how, what, what is the stay that you don't unpack your bag? Well, like... One s- night? My Sunday night football trips would be two nights in the hotel. I, I could do that. I just no, open no, no, up no, the no. bag. I could do that. Because I didn't want to repack again at the end. I have no problem with that. You one. throw the stuff in the laundry bag, throw it back in, and you're out. I think if it's over a two-night stay... You unpack. I probably won't unpack my bag when we go to Arizona. Well, the thing is, though, we won't. I probably have... will. The only thing that's is, like four is days, we're right? not going to have any hang-up clothes, though. To me, the thing is always is I like, I, I will pack. If I pack hanging clothes, I always want to get the bag open, hang up the hanging clothes, and usually get the shoes out. Like I'll get I, the shoes out of the bag. I always unpack. I, I like unpack. I always unpack. I uh, And, all right, here's a weird thing. When I used to do summer league in, in um Las Vegas, and you're going to be there for like 17 days. I would hang up the golf shirt, have the shorts that match with them right above it. So I'd have my, I would have my uh, outfit all planned out for every day. There's a lot of distractions oh, going well. there. You making fun of me because I had pretzel in my mouth. Yeah, There's people yeah, running yeah, around. Yeah, well, you know. I got Dan caught Dizzi- off guard. Dizio's there. Are you kidding me? He's just supporting the client. That's He's just all. working out there. I mean, come on, what's going on here, Bob? I was distracted. It's- Hey. I was. I was distracted. Uh, I'm wh- trying to piss Coach on. The Phillies and the Braves, by the way. It's working. <laughs> I, saw a, him, yeah. I saw him just mouth it. You're a half game back of the Padres. You played one less game. So when you play that game against the Padres, when you play the one extra game, by the way, which will be in the doubleheader on October 1st on FanFest Day, you will catch up that game. If you tie the Padres, you're ahead of the Padres. So there's a really good chance this Braves series this weekend, you won the opener last night, those three games – that this is a playoff preview. There's a really good chance that this could still happen. You play the Braves in a best of three series, and especially if the Phillies win, I'm going to call right now. If the Phillies win two of the three games this weekend, you're playing the Braves. If the Phillies win two of the three this weekend, it'll be best of they three in Atlanta. Two of the oh the remaining the games. Remaining I'm games. sorry. All right, so three out of four. If, if they, they take win from the three Braves, out of four, you're making the you are helping the Mets win the division. The Mets will win the division, and the Braves will be your opponent. And that would be so great for the team. Now you want them to to tank? No, what I'm saying yes, is, you is do. That, no, what I'm saying is this is a this could very well be a playoff preview. This could be the team you're playing in the playoffs. Well, then you better take three or four because that'll mentally give you, you know, have you feeling good entering that series. Right now you're seven and nine against them this year. Yeah. Nobody has a right to be confident on either side. And and more importantly, they're they're game one starter. The Phillies have absolutely no issue with Max Fried. You don't think Strider would be game run even though he's a rookie? No, it would be Max Fried. If if they play the Phillies. Strider would be two. Brian Snickers, old school. He is not. I don't. I do not think he would usurp uh, under any way would he usurp Max Fried unless they had to play to the last day of the season and had to pitch right. Fried to get in to win the division. Which, by the way, would be we can all light a candle for that one. That that happens. I got to tell you, this year three game series, short series, tradition be damned or whatever. Strider has been excellent against the Phillies. He has the been. Phillies. Have confidence against Freed. I am not messing around. I'm starting Strider from Snitker. He's, I, not, he's been excellent against everybody. 
I would be incredibly shocked if uh, I and uh, knowing knowing Brian Snicker, I would be shocked that if he did that, that would be one that would be just really a break from his DNA. He uh, of how he tends to go about his business. But this weekend, give the Braves something to doubt that if they see in a best of three, especially a best of three, you have no problem going to Atlanta and winning. This team has played well in Atlanta for years. They 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 tend to play around 500 ball in their stadium. And the thing they would probably least would like to see this weekend is Bryce Harper to get going. Because then yeah. if he gets a little momentum going into the playoffs, if he's feeling a little better, hopefully, uh, then, you know, that changes this lineup dramatically when he's smashing balls in the three hole. So Atlanta does not want him to get hot. Yeah, and if you can take three out of four without your best pitcher going in any of those four games, that is. That, that's big to the Phillies. I mean, that's a... That's a nice little thing you have going into a playoffs, especially against a team you might face in the playoffs. Here's the one thing I do believe, though, is that uh, unless you take two out of three this weekend, I don't see any way that we would be clinching on Fan Fest Day. And, Coach, that's what I was hoping for. A doubleheader Fan Fest, afternoon game, evening game, that on Fan Fest Day, we actually have people like rolling into Xfinity Live to see the final pitch to see if maybe the Phillies do clinch a playoff berth. Could happen. Could happen. But you need two out of three this weekend. You got to knock. That number's got to be seven by Monday to have that happen. So you need a little help. Got to need a little help. We need the Reds to step up and do their part against the Brew Crew. And uh, maybe maybe the Reds can give you a win or two this week. 13 games to go. What's your record? Uh, 11 games to go, isn't it? Or how much is it? No, 13. It's 13? Uh, Seven and five. That doesn't equal thirteen, but good. That's true. That's true, Bob. Then I'll go eight and five. I'll go. I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll go eight. And, I'll go eight and five. Yeah, I mean the Pat. Cubs and Nats suck, and I don't think the Astros are going to be really playing for it. No. Whatever gets them to ninety-six wins, Bobby. Yeah, that that's, that that ship sailed a long, long yeah, time ago, buddy. It's officially eliminated. No, we'll add, we'll it went away some, with we'll Travis Fulgham. We'll add some friendlies on the schedule. Eight, eight and five <laughs> takes you exactly ninety. Uh, we could use that one for Stan Pat next week. But Stan Pat comes your way for this week. Next, as we wrap up, it's the home stretch on the John Kincaid Show here on 97.5, The Fanatic. We've been enjoying Philly Pretzel Factory pretzels all morning long. We love it. You might want to grab a rivet or two yourself and some of the delicious dipping sauces. But I can tell you, whenever you get Philly Pretzel Factory here at our studio, all the people from all the other stations come on over. We got the folks coming over from Preston and Steve. We got uh, Andy Summer Show coming over. Everybody jumps on in and goes and grabs the pretzel because they know it's the official soft pretzel of your Philadelphia Eagles. And if you're at the game, be sure to visit them at the link outside of Section 106. But this weekend, when you're having your parties at home, Kick off it just right in your home with a Philly Pretzel Factory tray. It's absolutely always the right call. And there's something for everybody, big or small. Find your store at phillypretzelfactory.com. Philly Pretzel Factory, the official soft pretzel of your Philadelphia Eagles. The John Kincaid Show. You can't just tag no offense on the end of something horribly offensive and act like it's okay. On 97.5, The Fanatic. Philadelphia. Today's show is presented by Philly Pretzel Factory, the official soft pretzel of the Philly sports fan, and now the official soft pretzel of the Philadelphia Eagles. Are you or someone you know looking for a school that trains you for a career in broadcast media? What if I told you there is one right here in the Philadelphia area? No, it's not a college, doesn't have lecture halls, and doesn't teach subjects that you don't need. What you will get is a hands-on education in podcasting, audio and video production, broadcast media, sports broadcasting, and more. Taught by pros in the industry and at a fraction of what a four-year college costs. Hi, my name is Jenna, and the school I'm talking about is the school that I am attending now, CSB Media Arts Center. You may know them originally as Connecticut School of Broadcasting. So, you know the name, but do you really know what they do? Well, let me tell you firsthand. They teach you skills, skills that can get you a job in the broadcast media. They give you hands-on experience from day one of starting class. The best way to know if CSB Media Arts Center is right for you is to schedule a studio tour. I did, and it was the best decision I ever made. Check out GoCSB.com. That's GoCSB.com. CSB Media Arts Center in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, is approved for veterans training. Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to find a needle in a haystack. Sure, you can post your job to some job board, but then all you can do is hope the right person comes along, which is why you should try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. 
ZipRecruiter doesn't depend on candidates finding you. Its powerful technology identifies people with the right experience and actively invites them to apply to your job. You get qualified candidates fast. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you what you're looking for. The needle in the haystack. Four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site within the first day. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. And right now, you can try ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free. Just go to this exclusive web address, ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Hey guys, it's Bob Cooney, and this is the Game Plan for Victory, brought to you by Live Casino and Hotel Philadelphia. What's your game plan for this weekend? Well, mine is this. The Eagles need to run the football on Sunday against Washington. Why? Because they're a team that's allowed 157 yards on the ground per game this season. Give the ball to Miles Sanders early and often, and sprinkle in a little bit of Kenny Gainwell and Boston Scott. I'm telling you, it's a remedy for success. Need a game plan for a winning weekend? Live Casino and Hotel has you covered. With world-class gaming, luxury hotel accommodations, and premier dining and entertainment. Plan your game days at Live Casino. On Sunday, meet and greet Jeremiah Trotter at Sports and Social, where he will be taking photos and signing autographs. Enjoy giveaways, contests, and food and drink specials every game day at Live Casino and Hotel. For more info on what's happening at Live, visit LiveCasinoPhilly.com. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Realtors abide by a code of ethics. This is Article 9 in action. Beth, a first-time homebuyer, knew nothing about the home buying process, except that she wanted to buy a home. But her Realtor had the expertise to make sure Beth understood every document, even giving her copies to review with her lawyer so Beth could close on her first home with confidence. Complicated things explained in simple terms. The difference between an agent and a Realtor is real. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. That's who we are. Hey guys, it's Andrew. At CSL Plasma, you can make up to $825 this month when you donate plasma at any of CSL Plasma's tri-state area donation centers. That's money in your pocket for doing a great deed. Plasma donations help create therapies to treat patients with rare and serious diseases. And the process, it's similar to donating blood. For locations and info on how you can donate plasma and earn up to $825 this month, visit CSLplasma.com. Walk-ins are welcome. CSL Plasma, good for you, great for life. When you hire a lawyer, two important factors are experience and trust. And Philly residents have trusted Rosenbaum Injury Law for over 30 years. What might surprise you is John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan is from Florida. While he likes to brag about all his results, what he doesn't tell you is they're not from Philly. That's because he just opened a Philly office in 2017. Rosenbaum Injury Law. Experienced in Philly and results in Philly. Grab your seat at the virtual table for the World Series of Poker Online 2022. From September 11th to October 16th, you can sign up and play on WSOP.com or the World Series of Poker Real Money Online Poker app. This is your shot at a gold bracelet and a seat at the 2023 Tournament of Champions. Sign up and deposit with World Series of Poker using promo code RADIO22 and you'll get $50 in free play, a deposit match of up to $1,000 and more. Must be 21. Visit WSOP.com slash promotions for full terms. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Citadel Credit Union has a checking account that's built for you. For a limited time, get $300 when you open a new checking account at citadelbanking.com slash radio. Citadel Credit Union, building strength together. Federally insured by NCUA. By the time you're finished listening to this Pepsi Zero Sugar, you'll be 15 seconds closer to kickoff. Stock up now because game day is so close, you can almost taste it. Football watching. Better with Pepsi. Hello. Whether you're at home or on the go, listen to 97.5 The Fanatic on Odyssey on your smartphone, Roku, LG Smart TV, Waze, and more. That's Odyssey, A-U-D-A-C-Y. Check it out now. The NFL action is in full swing over at DraftKings Sportsbook because they're an official sports betting partner of the NFL. We're talking touchdowns, big plays, and even bigger wins. New customers can bet just $5 on any NFL team to win and get $200 in free bets if they do. If that's not enough, everyone can boost their winnings with DraftKings stepped-up same-game parlays. Right now, for every leg you add, you can boost your winnings up to 100%. With payouts bigger than ever, 
Why bet on football anywhere else? I don't know. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code FANATIC to get that $200 in free bets if your team wins when you place a $5 bet on any football game. That's code FANATIC, only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Must be 21 or older, Pennsylvania only. Bonus issued as free bets. One boost per eligible game. Opt-in required. Parlay and wagering restrictions apply. Eligibility in terms of DraftKings.com slash football terms. In partnership with Meadows Racetrack and Casino. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Now, back to the John Kincaid Show. No, your radio's not broken. We sound like this on purpose. On 97.5 The Fanatic. Philadelphia. The home stretch of the uh, John Kincaid Show on 97.5 by the Fanatic. On uh, what is supposed to be a beautiful Friday, except for the wind. Yeah, my it wife's is blowing in. Win- winter is trying to blow in right past fall. Come on now. It is. We need it to calm down around the three o'clock area, though, John, because my wife's best friend's daughter. Is getting married. What do you say, wife's best friend's daughter? And Shannon, good luck. Shannon, Shannon and Zach today. We wish you luck. But, yeah, so they're having an outdoor wedding today at 3 o'clock. So hopefully the winds are died down enough so it's just perfect for yeah, them. Yeah, make it perfect for them. Yeah. That 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 works out well. That's all we want. Yeah. yeah that's all we need. Absolutely. So we got to try this big time. So, hey, today's show, again, presented by Philly Pretzel Factory, the official soft pretzel of the Philly sports fan, and we appreciate them so, so much for being a part of everything we've got going on today and um, here at the station. They're the official soft pretzel of the Philadelphia Eagles. That's a pretty good thing to be able to have on your resume. Yeah, I like Eagles, and I like Philly soft pretzels. So, to me, it's a winning combination. Okay, section 106 down at the link. So now they have the the stand right in there. Oh, nice. So you'll be able to go right in there and get your Philly soft pretzels. Not much goes better with beer than pretzels. No. I'm thinking that mm. I gotta think this screws up. Goes. <laughs> I gotta think this screws over the pretzel sales at every other stand, though. Is there other stands? I don't even there know of any stands, other stands. But there are other stands oh, well. that, that have there are other stands yeah, that have they pretzels. Should just give up. Like pre- Maybe they should Honestly. suck. Maybe they should just roll over <laughs> and just say we give up on selling pretzels. Yeah, because they're not going to be Philly salt pretzel. It's I a mean, Bobo the way pretzel the down pretzel there. Does, so now it's a legit one. There we get it. Uh, speaking of legit. Let's get down to business and find out what Pat has to say this week in Stan Pat. It's time to Stan Pat. Here's Pat. Hello. Hi, Pat. Hello, Patrick. I'm not a happy Pat because half the stuff that I asked Connor to grab, he didn't. You know? What? So it's one of those call by oh, you. Wait oh, a no, minute. No, I got it. I got it. And then you go in to pull the stuff for Stan Pat and half of it's not there. Come so, on, Connor. Yeah, and I'd like to yell at him, but he's halfway to Vermont right now thinking he's going to get to six states in Well, I hour. guarantee you he's listening. We'll discuss this when he gets back. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, he's sandbagging me. But it got spicy on the John Kincaid show earlier this week. We try to be a family program, <laughs> and sometimes we fail at it. So uh, sometimes it gets a little uh, NC-17. Here's what happened. John, I come at you because you can take it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that is a little. Not edited at all. It's John, a little provocative. You because you can take it. That's not edited. It just uh, sounds a little provocative. I, I wouldn't even know how to edit that. That's just two men. Talking about being extracurricular real? activities. Okay. That's just saying. I mean, at that point. Guys being dudes? That's guys being dudes. That's it. Uh, but we had to talk about stuff like that because John was having a rough go of it this week. He was, I did. Uh, he was getting tricked into doing things that he wasn't a fan of, like the previous clip. And then there was other things that are more suitable for work that he was getting tricked into, like this. You're not going to find nine losses. I'm given one of the Giants games. Okay, that's eight. And now one you, of now the you got an eight. Game. Okay, that's seven. You're given one of the Washington games? Yes. Okay, that's six. So they're losing at Arizona, I'm assuming you'd say. How'd you know? Okay, no, no, no. So, so are they losing it? Are they losing <laughs> in Indianapolis? There's not nine losses on this schedule. Keep talking. They're losing to the Packers. Okay, they could lose to the Packers. I'd absolutely see that. No questions asked. And I have them tying the Colts. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a good one. He got you, John. He wanted yeah, yeah. W's and L's. He did. Way to go, RJ. You did, you did W's and L's. He didn't do just W's and L's. He did WL's and ties. He did WLT's. Yeah, he took it a step further. He took it one step further. 
He put a tomato on it, Bob, and you hate tomatoes. I hate tomatoes. And right, ties. Bra- bravo on that yeah, one. The show that, does, that doesn't do W's and L's. Bravo, we throw bravo, bravo on RJ, that one. Got your ass. There you go. Uh, and as I said, look, it's a John Heavy segment this week. Uh-oh. Uh, you were flustered. And uh, it goes from NC17. Because NC of the WLT game? Well, it goes from NC17 to PG and back to NC17. Johnny had uh, Johnny was harnessing his inner Doc Rivers, if you will. His little <laughs> his inner Emmy. And uh, here, here's what happened during a read. Get the Bet Parks Casino and Sportsbook app. You got to be 21 in Pennsylvania, New Jersey. Gambling problem? Call 1 800 Gambler. Download it right now. Odd slits, uh, slots. Sorry, what was that, Johnny? I couldn't tell if it was nasty girls, sluts, or slits, or I don't know what I said. No, the the the, the former are the people you hang with. Oh, I the see. latter slits. The latter, I don't know right. what you were. Slits on dresses. Slits or something else. Odd uh, slits. <laughs> I, I can't tell. That was a little. That was a little rough. That was a little yeah. rough. I was, and I apologize to my friends from Bet Parks on that one. Yes, word problems. Call one eight hundred gambler. Um, all right, uh, we'll we'll wrap it up with with Bobby. <laughs> Me, Bobby, you you have this, and I think all of us have it on the show. But you just you don't like somebody, and no matter what happens and how good they are, you you proceed to not like that person, and you take digs at them. Okay. Oh, I thought this was recorded. I'm thinking, like, no, when did this no, happen? No, it's not. It's not. Okay. No, this is just me setting it up. Real okay. time. Uh, I don't like Doug, people. Your hatred for a man that brought this city a championship is absurd. That's not true. It's not and hatred. you finally admitted it to the Delaware Valley earlier this week. And if you want proof, here's what happened. Before it all comes out, I hate Doug Peterson. I don't think he's a genius. Really? Boom. Really? You're going to put that out there like I mean, that? Doug's going to be upset with that because he thinks Bob's his boy. It's pretty cut and dry, Bobby. Uh-huh. I mean, once again, really? Before it all comes out, I hate Doug Peterson. Now, way to take out not. He's a genius. Nope. Oh, I must call you. <laughs> I mean, that is a... I must call you that, a that, that, Pat, that was, ag- the, Pat yeah. that was aggressive on his part. I didn't say the words, Bobby. You did. I said those words that you just played, but there was another word in there that you took out. It has to be no. known. Let the truth be told, Pat. We don't edit things in radio. And you we do. We certainly don't in Stan Pat. That's what you said. I think you need to own it. You hate Doug Peterson. I do not hate Doug coach. Peterson. And I don't know why. He brought you a championship. I do think he's a very mediocre coach. Now, the thing is, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. You've changed that. Then. Yeah. Huh. Mediocre coach. No, he had a great he... season. You said you thought he was just a good coach the other day. Now you're saying mediocre. So I think no, mediocre... he's a good coach. He I think a, mediocre is a, great, a put down. He had a great year the year he won the Super Bowl. I he think did. the rest of his career will play out that he's in... Okay, if you want to say good, okay, a good coach. No, I don't but think not, he's. I don't think I'll he's. Bet you, I'll make this bet. I'll bet you he finishes his career at about five hundred. I think he is a a good coach. I do not think he will ever be considered a great coach. Yeah, so that's I'll fair. That he's assessment. in a club of about probably forty ever that have uh, won a Super Bowl. But so I will right. absolutely. It was a great club. year. That was a great year. How about he this? gets a lot of credit for? It. He gets think, a ton of credit for it. No question. I think he's going to end up being a better coach than John Gruden. I agree with that. I agree. Yeah. Is Gruden, what's Gruden like? A Gruden's career like 500? A 500 coach, he's, right? a, he's yeah. the most overrated coach ever. I completely agree. With you. I think Gruden is one of the most overrated. Gruden couldn't draft to save his life. He would choose like Bruce Gradkowski over drafting Aaron Rodgers because you know when Cadillac didn't Williams like, was sitting there, he you didn't like take the young Williams. players. Yes, he was this. He the the anti the anti young player thing. I always just think is so short sighted. And it just it's it's like earlier this year. When And I'm glad because it played out this way, not because of me complaining about it, but I think it played out that I wanted to see Stott and Bohm playing every day from day one. Put them in, play them every day. We went with this D.D. Gregorius thing, which was just freaking stupid. Anybody could have seen that D.D. Gregorius didn't have it. And we, we and thankfully, though, we didn't stunt the growth because D.D. ended up not being ready to go and, and everything worked out. Stott and Bohm. I'm so excited about their futures. So then you're you're all about Andrew Painter being on the big league club next year. No question. Yeah, so am I. No question. Look, the, bra- the you have it, you have it, and have, it'll translate. Here's what I would say: is don't you want to do? You, you watch organizations like the Braves. You, they're, they're in your division. You watch them year after. Do you not want to say, okay, what are the best practices? What are things we could do to be more like the best organizations? They don't coddle their young. They feed their young to the wolves. Well, they're young, are superstars though. It is the and truth. hopefully that's what you know a painter might be. But yeah, they. I think it goes back, like Jamie said before, it goes back to drafting better, getting better guys that you say I got to put him up if he's nineteen. I don't care. 
Uh, Painter could be that guy. Let's hope that he is, and let's hope they have got some opportunity. Let's hope he is that guy. Exactly. Exactly. Do you think he will be that guy? I do. So do I. His numbers are freakish. I'm really excited. Like, better than Cole Hamels. Like, he's a bigger prospect than Cole Hamels, in my opinion. Not saying he'll have a better career, but he's a better prospect at this point. Hey, staple stores are a new world of possible. They've got innovative tools for small business, remote workers, and learners. You can explore more at your local staple store. Visit staplesconnect.com. In a linchpin, Jamie wants to talk about his gut. This is the Lynch What's pin. wrong with your gut? Not my beer gut. No, nothing wrong with your gut. No. You're good, buddy. My my sports gut. Oh, so, your sports uh, gut. So I listened to the podcast yesterday with JJ and Ben Simmons, and I was uh, I was pretty unmoved by the whole thing. Like, I didn't really have the anger I thought I might. I didn't really believe a lot of what he said, which I knew going into it. It was just kind of overall, like, milk toast, like my reaction. Uh, but the one thing I did leave, and I'm not going to sit here and lie to you, I did get a little bit scared of the possibility of the Nets. Uh, and, of course, he's going to pump up his own team. Duh. But if he's a point center ball handler with Kyrie and KD, um, you know, outside, he brings that defense to their team, which they've missed sorely these past two years. And then you have, you know, Seth Curry's and Joe Harris's and a bunch of other dudes that'll probably be trying to ring chase. My gut takeaway from listening to that podcast yesterday was, man, people are sleeping on the nets. And I don't like that uh, because I like where this, I really like where the Sixers are. I think they're very well positioned to to make a run at this. But I did leave it going, oh, man, the nets are going to be tough. And. Uh, that kind of surprised me that that was my reaction listening to the podcast. So you're buying into Simmons being back and being a real contributor. Yeah, I kind of was. Wow. I, I got to tell you, last night after watching that, James, uh, he seemed more interested in basketball. Yeah, he did. And I think that's and where it comes winning, from. Yeah, than, than I imagined he had in him. Mm, same. And that's probably yeah. why, you know, look, uh, they, you know, JJ asked him about being the point guard and this and that. He's going to be a point guard that probably covers centers. That's a that's that's a tough matchup. For, you know, he's probably not going to play Joel. He'll probably take Tobias or something in in a series here. But um, it's going to be tough. And KD and Kyrie, if they can balance out the weirdness that's kind of been anchors to both of them, uh, or at least to Kyrie, that's going to be nasty. I can't believe you're buying into Kyrie not being weird, Simmons not being weird. Durant, I said if. Durant, I did be, say Durant if. being focused. Well, no, Durant's not the issue. No, you said you think you're more bought into them being. Yeah, I think Ben's bought in, like, to the Nets. This, You guys are sounding like me now. You're buying into stuff on, on, I, a, guy, I, on a guy who is a has shown you. He, I know, but that was my takeaway. I surprised wow. myself because I was sitting down listening to it, constructing my email, and I went, this is so weird. My biggest takeaway from this interview is the Nets could be nasty. He seems bought in to, to New Jersey for some reason. Whether you can trust that or not. he can, hide. He can not. hide up there. Yeah, whether you can trust that or not, I don't know, John. You're right. You have, I mean, you have to wait and see. And and Kyrie's Kyrie's well, we're talking about Durant, yeah. the most, one of the, the most insecure superstar potentially ever. Yeah, but okay. also, with this, with insecure, this, also yes. one of the best players. Maybe the best guy, player in the league. But a guy who can check out mentally from time to time because he's so worried about people criticizing nah, him. Nah, 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 got, right, wait a second. But, it, but you have to add on to that. But the best player in the league. Oh, he's fantastic. He's yeah. absolutely fantastic. Well, his insecurities, but the I thing couldn't is, care less about if he's the best yeah, but, player in the league. Yeah, but you're mixing that in with a toxic stew of Kyrie and Ben Simmons. But Ben hey. doesn't have to do a lot with this team. Misery loves company. He has to push tempo and play defense and get the balls to scores. It's kind of, I don't want to say an easy role, but it's what he's good at. I, I know. I, look, I, I, I'm, I'm shocked you're doing this. I know, but that's that's what I was writing. That's what went to my fingertips listening to the podcast, writing my email yesterday was, damn, I think the entire league's kind of sleeping on the nets a little bit here. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, look, I, I'm, I, I'm shocked. I'm, I, I got to say, I'm more shocked, Bob, just to sort of back it up. Look, those are three really talented players. We, we know what Ben Simmons is and isn't, but... The NBA said he was an all-star for, three, what, three times? Three yeah, years. all-defensive player. Uh, all-defensive player, a, a really good upper echelon uh, passer. 
uh, a guy who Kyrie Irving and the likes of Kevin Durant probably can't wait to play with, knowing they're going to get the ball where they want it. And J.J. Redick did talk about that on the, on the podcast last night, about how great it was to get the ball where he wanted from someone like Ben So Simmons. to that point, I, the, one of the other takeaways I had was he didn't like playing with Joel Embiid. Because he kept talking yeah. about the Marco Bellinelli, Irsan Ilyasova days where they could just run and shoot. And he kept saying, that's how we grew up playing basketball in Australia. I I, I don't think he enjoyed playing with Joel Embiid. Okay. And, you know, take it through the grain of who's presenting it. But that was another takeaway I had was he, he wants to run, pass, and, and hit shooters. Like, scoring to him isn't important. Well, they asked him, what's more important, scoring or, or getting an assist? And he said it really doesn't matter it's either or as long as we either. score. Yeah, so... Uh, if he is interested in playing basketball, look, we saw how good he can be. And if he's interested in playing and he has two of the uh, you know best players in the league around him, something he never had before, yeah, that's formidable. I don't care. I don't care. Attitudes, I don't care. Yeah. Are there, is there much craziness up there? Oh, it's no a powder question. keg. Well, well, I'm yeah. going to tell you this. If I ever have to even articulate the words, if this guy wants to play, he's one of the best in the in the world. The minute that I have to articulate that, I'm never counting on them for anything. I'm never going to count on you for nothing. If I have to, well, you know, when Jamie wants to show up for the show and really wants to be there, he's pretty good on the air. If oh, I have thanks. to say, if I have to say, I only say that behind the scenes. <laughs> I'm um, big Woody. I mean, I would. Uh, t to me, the minute I have to say that about somebody as a professional, I hear you, and everything you're saying is legit. And I there's three years him. in a row of KD and Kyrie, and it, it hasn't worked yet. But if they get it on track up there. It's, Remember, it's, hey, it's nasty. Katie told you he wanted to be away from these two. I know. He couldn't stand being with them. He tried every power play he could, and the Nets went, ha ha, you're not pulling a LeBron. Yeah. You're not forcing our hand. We're doing what we want to do. But he's in between the lines yeah, of now, a basketball court. Yeah, but now he's going to tell you, oh, I'm okay. Now we're okay. Now we're boys. Yeah. No, BS. You couldn't wait to be rid of these two. You didn't want to be part of them. Your little power play failed. Doesn't you mean you think all work. teammates get, like each other? What? What do you mean? I like in in sports. Do you think all teammates teammates like each no, other? No, absolutely not. I've yeah. seen that absolutely. Uh, yeah, 100%. And, and like you, you've heard of guys come out and say, "No, I absolutely hated him." Uh, but their success doesn't really rely on their feelings towards each other. It relies on their skills on whatever field, court, ice they may be. Okay, I've rarely seen one though, Bob, where the person says. I per I'm going to do everything in the book to try to get people fired, try to get my butt out of here. Oh, and now I'm going to come back and everything's going to be fine. Well, I've never seen it, so I don't know if people have come back and and been fine. That's because nobody does what Durant did this offseason. Exactly. So we don't have any we don't have any uh, um, examples of people doing it and not playing well the next year or playing well the next year in didn't, spite of didn't it. Didn't Kobe once do it to the Lakers? If yes, I recall, yes, he did. He, he he demanded a trade. Yeah, he demanded a trade and came back and was successful, I believe. But yeah. he wasn't doing it because of his teammates. I think Kobe it was, wasn't though. picking I out. It, I, I, think know, it, I think it was. I think it was. Why else would Kobe leave? I'd have to look it up I again. I thought it but was not... the, the, the roster construction that they disagreed yeah. well, that's with. That's his teammates. teammates. No, he wasn't talking about two teammates that were I don't literally like, well, like, I mean, weren't, we're weren't showing up for work. Now. No. Kobe didn't have teammates that weren't showing up for he work. He demanded out like and returned. Kyrie. No, his problem was the teammates were showing up, but they weren't good enough. So well, he wanted out. I mean, he still demanded a, out and came back. That is a whole other issue. I don't like Kwame Brown. I got to get the hell out of here. Oh, Kwame could ride a stationary bike better than anybody I ever saw, man. His form? They named one of the stationary bikes at Pecom Kwame. <laughs> I swear, I kid you not. I swear legend. to God. He had like a, at least he wasn't doing 110 in that. So yeah. he was uh, known, known as a little bit of a lead foot down south, Kwame. He was known as a lot of things. Yeah. Sort of not, uh, not always the good ones. We put a big bow on the week. We all have the Eagles winning. I have the Eagles not covering. I so like him to cover. You yeah, like I, think I got a 30-20. I think it's going to be tight at times. It's a divisional game, but I think the Eagles will either protect a lead well enough or pull away late uh, where they cover the number. You know, if the uh, things are really going to go on wildfire if they win. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's three, irrational three time. 3-0, oh, oh, people start getting irrational, and then you got the Jags coming to town. Well, when you have the easiest schedule remaining on paper, I get the irrationality. Yeah, you understand it. Yeah, I mean, it's the easiest schedule in football. Uh, here on out, and they're already two and zero. Oh. If you pad that, whew, I mean, you could be looking at a thirteen win season, which is typically the best in the NFL. Bob, you and I felt mm. twelve before the year. Yeah, 
And honestly, you want me to go through it? No, no, no. Yeah, they go pick yeah. up. No, you already three. changed. He changed week Doesn't two. Doesn't matter. Already. I already. I, that was my preseason prediction. You have to reword it so he he. Falls he doesn't in the get track. it. I should call oh. in. I should come in there and call yeah, in. Like, hi, this yeah. is RJ. This is Bob. I have a tie in week seven. Now, I, look, I mean, you look at their schedule, and they have a couple games where you go, okay, there's a possibility of a, of a loss. Really, the first game though, where you go, can honestly see them losing this game is week twelve against the Packers. No. Arizona. No. You think Arizona? Arizona's lives? legit. Yeah. I think Arizona's legit. I don't think Arizona's legit only because they're going to be without DeAndre Hopkins that game. I I'm going to tell you if I, I'm going to tell you if they're if, but, if they're if they're unbeaten going into that game. You know what game looks easier than it did in the beginning of the season? The Colts they, game. The Colts game. Yeah, yeah Matt Ryan uh, might be. The might Colts be look atrocious. Yeah, it's not good. And there's talk that uh, Frank Wright could be gone. Yep. They He's might pull the probably ball. on the hot seat. So now we don't have to say that Frank Reich was the genius behind the Super nope. Bowl win anymore. Well, no, we don't. Especially uh, once uh, Doug. It was all Doug Peterson. Yep. There I you don't go, believe Bob. that, though. I, don't, I believe a collaborative effort occurred. Great coach. By the way, someone asked me the other day in an email here. Look at how sarcastic you are. I'm not sarcastic. You can't uh, even give I'm the giving him credit. credit. Uh -huh. yeah, I, I, I love him. He goes, why did you guys <laughs> not bring up in your discussion of John Filippo the other day we that did. Nick Foles did not thank John Filippo in his book? Really? I forgot about I'm that. I'm like, I well. didn't even know. Yeah. I said to him, I said, the reason we didn't bring this up is because I didn't know it. John Filippo was a throwaway comment by me as a joke. Oh. Um, why? Because he says, yeah, how come oh, when you guys talk about John D. Filippo, you didn't bring up the feud? And I, and, he, and, I'm, and I read further, and he's like, Nick Foles didn't even thank him in his book. And I'm like, that's okay, John D. Filippo, that's John D. Filippo knowledge that's way over my head. Yeah. That was, that was, that was, I didn't even realize. Is John Filippo still in the league? Remember, he went to Minnesota and then he got canned. And then he went to Chicago. Did he get canned there too? He got canned there because uh, Matt Nagy got fired. Oh my gosh. If only there was a website we could go to. Go ahead to 975thepanac.com like and pew, I'm pew, sure pew. the answer will be on that. We have lots of uh, online content for you. There's you even a reach out. around up there. On on the website? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You can go to the website and get a reach around. You have it's to, right there. You have to, you have to click check it out. Box published by Jay Lynch. 18, but yeah. Yeah. Courtesy of Jay Lynch. Mm -hmm. There you go. I'm a giver. We hope everybody has a spectacular weekend. We'll be back here Monday, hopefully after a big Eagles victory. Support life-saving cancer research. Join us and our generous partners, H&H &H Heating and Air Conditioning. Make a donation to the American Association for Cancer Research today. Go to 975thefinite.com slash AACR because cancer research saves lives. We'll be back on Monday after a big victory, hopefully. Cuz Radio comes your way from Malvern next at the Chickies and Pete's where... Bet Parks has their casino set up right there for you, the sports book. Check it on out. We'll talk to you on Monday, everybody. Have a great day. Hey, have you ever gone to the bathroom at the office? You've had a mild panic attack when the flush seems to be in no rush? Well, don't feel any bad about that. It's not you. 